Hello. 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 All right. Hello. So hopefully everything looks good. I might have to quickly do some shuffling around because I forgot to fucking screen capture or screen share the fucking. Right. Yeah, we were literally just saying that. Tail Started but, doing it. But uh, I, I think, I think I fixed it like with Studio Mode because hey. because Studio Mode is very tiny. I might have missed. Yeah, some it's corners, hard to see but... the, the finer details. We'll fuck around and find out, gamers. Hello. How does that look so far? That That's really a is our tagline, huh? Can mm -hmm. people but not fuck see? Hey. Dungeon select. Up, fuck, fuck around, around and, and find, find out. out. Literally, we say it every week. I can't wait <laughs> every for single week. to say yeah. that in character. Fuck around and find out. Uh, have a look, see. Dude, I'm gonna... I feel like... I'm gonna <laughs> Welcome to Dungeon Select, like, where we fuck around and find out. <laughs> what do you mean you're gonna punch a dragon to death? Listen, I've done a, a whole lot of fucking around, and I haven't found out shit yet. I, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're just stupid. Oh, rude. Right, I think it that looks like good. A I think that looks all right. Everyone is in the right spot. Yeah. We're good to go. Hell right. yeah! Hello, hey everybody! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Uh, I'm not dressed Halloween. up because I just did not have the budget for it. But no, look know, at these guys. Like they are. Um, <laughs> you can say all... you're dressed up. You hmm? can say you're a you're a serial killer because they look like everybody else. True. You can do ah, oh, the orange fedora. On hey, Wednesday. Then... <laughs> no, dude, the, the, the fedora's gone. I don't know where it is. Like, I'm very ass. upset by that. Yeah, that me too. Makes me I've, I've got it hidden um, somewhere. So, we have no Soko today, unfortunately. Soko uh, has to sit us out due to some. I mean, we do. Look at them. Circumstances. But. <laughs> Yeehaw, brother! But. We have a guest. He can't do that. It's a Vincent. Oh. Or Pr Prutes. Uh, Vincent, would you like Hello. to uh, give a little introductory spiel? For those yeah, that sure. uh, may not know who you are. I'm Vincent. I'm French. I work in a chocolate factory. And... I don't like chocolate. It's great. It's fucked up, dude. Hi, Vincent. I mean, I think I'd be twice the size I am now if I did like chocolate. That's fair, actually. <laughs> do they pay you in chocolate? Is that why you don't like it anymore? <laughs> no. Well, my boss is just like, you can eat as much as you want because everyone used to taste everything to sell it. That's lit, dude. That's dangerous, but also very fucking lit. Yeah, it was, the, it, it was the same when I worked in cinema. It's like you have to taste a bit <clears throat> of everything to make sure it's exactly. okay. And by the end of like 12 hours, you're like, I don't want to eat any more popcorn. <laughs> exactly, you're just done. <laughs> Fair. Alrighty. Uh, so today we're doing a uh, special one shot uh, called The Horror Within published by the arcane library they have a lot of um, cool shit a lot of horror -y shit as well like a lot of spooky stuff so if you're run looking to run some DD games uh with a bit more of a dark story to them i suggest checking them out uh, like this one cost me three whole euros to buy so it's like it's very affordable if you don't want to write stuff yourself and you're looking for some some cool adventures to run and i think if you sign up for the newsletter you get a free like one shots just boom there you go uh, just for signing up for the newsletter. So if you're looking for some stuff to run, check them out. They're pretty fucking dope. Um, hashtag not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. But we could be. <laughs> but we could be. <laughs> you give um, us sponsorship, we give you weird content. My mustache. Nice me? mustache. Okay, so let's, uh, for the purposes of this, since we're all, uh, you're all kind of, you know, dressed up, looking, looking schnazzy. Let's do a quick, quick round just to, you know, to, to explain your outfits. Uh, we'll start with Laura. Oh, okay. Um, I am obviously a vampire, but I'm a specific vampire. Uh, excuse the lisp. I have fangs in, and one of them wants to stay, and one of them doesn't. Um, <laughs> her name is Maya. She is the primogen of the Toreador clan in Vampire the Masquerade. Basically, she is the leader of that clan, and she's pretty cool. I also have pictures of this cosplay entered in a cosplay contest, so if I could post the link to the tweet in the chat and y'all yeah, sure. could like it, I could maybe win $200. Hell yeah. Yo, Spend on more vampire cosplays. It's, well, Spend it, it on dungeons. It, it, well, it says it, it's <laughs> supposed to be, it's intended to use towards future cosplays. So that's the point. Hell yeah. I'm psychic. Awesome. Uh, Belle. Uh, I'm dressed up as Shigo, but I didn't want to buy the jumpsuit. So it's casual Shigo. <laughs> my, my, my shirt is actually green. It's just very dark green. So you can't really tell. Fair enough. Fair enough. But I'm Shigo. Duke. <laughs> I'm uh, a Still metro, a metro character. I, 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 you could, I could be. Let's just say I'm Artyom. If I'm Artyom for Metro 2033, right? I got the fucking, I got the quest board. The pencil fell off. <laughs> I don't oh, have no. a bullet. Oh no, comrade! I have lost pencil. Every time I do this, I'm worried I'm going to set it on fire. But you know, whatever. I'm Artyom. I'm Artyom. They actually changed the voice action in the Redux. It's cringe. 
Oh, really? Ooh. Yeah. Gross. Alrighty. Uh, Koiba. I am. Um, I raided my costume, uh, like, box for five minutes. But we'll call it the modern incarnate of the devil. Why not? It's business. <laughs> This is man. <laughs> Gotta keep it up for modern time, baby. baby. Gotta keep the on the modern time. Devil. Capitalism. I should have been Jeffrey Bezos, but here we are. Yeah, you true. are just Jeffrey the mustache, Bezos. Hey. <laughs> All right, uh, Beanie. Hello. I'm dressed as because I couldn't afford 500 pounds of armor. A casual Aberan. I have yeah. a little nose ring, which I will probably take off before the end because it makes me want to sneeze. Casual I swear brand. to God, by the, end, by the end of this, like, the fangs will be gone, Duke's helmet will be gone, Koiba's <laughs> mustache will be gone, your nose ring will be gone, we're all just gonna, like, start stripping off the annoying bits of our costumes. Vince will so have hang around, fucking, Rose. Vince will have taken his fucking overall off. <laughs> we just well, get one, one button yeah, part, I don't know about that. Button <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vincent. Uh, I kind of did, like, Koiba, I kind of looted my, the back, back of my closet trying to find anything, and I had this, so... <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> also had the hat. The only of the hardest part to find, like uh, Dick said, was, was this. This is the hardest part. Nice. The Yeehaw. fucking Yeehaw, brother. Yeehaw, and that's it. And turns out I look like the redneck from uh, the Hunt Showdown, so it's perfect. Mm -hmm. You do. That's yeah. what I'm doing. Um. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. I'm excited. This one shot's gonna be uh, fun. Something a little different. Uh, before I do anything else, before we get started, and I set the scene. Could you all provide me with your wisdom score? Not your modifier, oh. your score. Oh god. Yeah. That's not a good way to start. Mm-hmm. Who do you want to start with? Do you just go? Uh, um, Laura. 14. Okay. Bell? 11. Okay. Duke? 13. All right. Kweba? 13. Okay. Vincent? 17. Ooh, There's okay. our wise boy. I'm and so wise. Ethan? 14. I thought he was going to say four. I thought he was like <laughs> four. Okay. Thank you. Good to know. Good to know, good to Thank know. You. Um, With that said, let me just open up everything I need to have open. The adventure begins in the large city of Daramuth in Segalia, in the Empire, roughly 200 oh! years before Dungeons Like Campaign 1. We're in our own world, that's so nice. This city is home to a large university, and your characters find themselves sitting in the book-filled parlor of Professor Hiroshi Leng, his homestead. The professor is an esteemed occult expert. You are there for one reason, um, to talk to Professor Leng's wife who has seemingly called for your aid. So you're sitting in his room, bookshelves with books stacked to the brim. Quickly, just so that we have an idea of what your characters look like. Laura, introduce your character for us, please. Um, my name is Drusilla. Originally, I was going to have a southern accent because Soko is going to be here and we are going to have kind of like a tandem thing going with our characters. But between my uncooperative fangs and Soko not being here, it's much <laughs> far more appropriate. That's not happening anymore. Um, fair enough, fair enough. Because originally her name spelled the way because going to be like Drusilla, like really, but that's not <laughs> happening anymore. Um, uh, she has hair that's obviously dyed black, was not naturally black, and it wasn't done very well. Um. <clears throat> Very pale, ashy looking, um, average height human. Um, also has like chipped black nail polish on her hands and just wearing like all black head to toe. A necklace very similar to the one I'm wearing right now. Kind of looks like she should be going to a costume party, but that's just how she dresses all the time. All right. And lots of just like vague, non specific occult imagery around her, like ensemble, like on the decor, like on the belt and like a bracelet, just stuff like that. Okay. Bell. You're muted. Oh, muted. You're muted. I forgot I had it muted. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, my character's name is Rexic. She is a Simic hybrid. So she is kind of bluey gray. Uh, she doesn't really have hair, basically tentacles, 
think Medusa, but tentacles and not snakes. Um, That's sick. And she has like kind of webbed hands and feet. Okay. At the point it is, and that's about it. Um, for the purposes of this, because I know that you guys got a bit of a gimmick going on, Koiba mm -hmm. and Duke, would you like to collectively mm -hmm. describe your characters? I mean, please? I'll go. I'll go. I'll go first. Yeah. Um, you see this hulking big seven to eight foot tall warforged, big shield and a battle axe in this sort of plate armor. Like it looks like plate armor, but it's def just how it is put in with a red gem there and a big sort of like diver's helmet head. Think almost like a big daddy from um, Bioshock. Mm -hmm. Very similar sort of design to that, but just big bulking, just like massive machine. Uh, sitting within this globe-like diver's helmet is a roughly two to three foot tall kobold. Oh my god, um, you're in the helmet! Long, like a long snout, sort of like frizzy, kind of white strands of hair sticking out here and there. Um, an odd sort of aura, like a, a, a kind of magical aura about him, and several sprockets and cogs sort of floating about his his... Uh, his person, as he sits clutching onto some large levers and surrounded by buttons and pull cords in the helmet of this <laughs> massive warforged. Hell yeah. Wow. Uh, Vincent? Um, Chonk is a tabaxi, a snow leopard pattern for the, for the fur. Very lean, thin build. Uh, six foot five tall and uh, very fluffy and he's got a belt with just two daggers and a crossbow and then wears some light gray robes very baggy like the pirate pants and pirates top just extremely light and baggy and uh, that's it Bam. Beanie Bremnir is a very tall uh, Leonin paladin in Full dark metal armor, carrying a very elaborate spear with the gold tip, uh, a long sword, a bow. Uh, his mane comes all the way down to about his chest with braids in it throughout. Uh, there is a corner missing out of one of his ears, but otherwise he looks like a humanoid lion. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, you six... Sit in this room, around uh, a pretty pretty large table, a lot of lot of sofas. Like this is like a library slash reading room. There's a bunch of like big cushions and comfy sofas and couches. And you are sitting around this table, and across from you sits a human woman, black and silver hair, red rimmed eyes from from clearly having cried a whole lot uh, very recently wearing a big pearl necklace. And she uh, has introduced herself as Olivia Leng, the wife of the professor whose home you're in, and offers you uh, something to drink, a biscuit, um, and sits you down before breaking down again. A lot of her, her speech is very slurred, and it's very hard to... Hard to um, really make out what she's exactly saying and as she calms down she looks at you all uh, my husband he went to the opening performance of the horror within three days ago at the monvo theater but the man who came home that night wasn't my Muslim, wasn't my husband he's merely an unrecognizable shell and he's not the only victim of the monvo theater that needs help dozens of people in the audience of this show at the opening night went mad some are still missing the city watches unsure of what to do and declared the theater forbidden zone, but the one investigative team they sent in never returned, and I I want my husband back, and this is why I I I, I looked for help and I found you. We're just such a like <laughs> such a weird lot. Like I mean, that's as always. In general, dude. <laughs> Lion man, snow leopard man, <laughs> robots. It's a lot more normal Vampire. in these parts than you know. For us, this seems weird, but like, it's fantasy. Oh, it's yeah, sure, normal, as yeah. normal as fuck. <laughs> Is your husband here by chance? 
Yes, I um. He's in the cellar. It's the. It's the only room in the house where. You won't be able to hear his his what his maddened screaming throughout the entire place. Oh dear. Ha has he been screaming ever since he he got home? Yes, in some weird guttural language that I don't understand. Might be able to translate that for you. Um, Waldo here, he he knows he knows a lot of languages. I do. Maybe it's I could figure it out. Sleeps. Um, is, would you like to see him? Speak to him, perhaps, if you can. That seems good. Okay. Um, follow me. And she gets up and she guides you through through the house to the cellar door and immediately as you approach this door you can just hear muffled screaming coming from below um this should be uh, interesting i will cast comprehend language uh, you, you, you can't quite tell from where you are now like you're still outside the cellar. i mean it lasts it lasts an hour oh, okay fair i'm enough. just gonna like fair activate enough, it now i'm gonna take okay. my helm and just... all right um i'll open the door and you can you can go down just um, what you're about to see is very upsetting, and uh, I, um, to avoid him from hurting himself, uh, we had to wrap him up in, um, some, some, uh, in a sheet with leather belts binding his limbs so that he doesn't scratch his own eyes out. He's tried. Ooh. I'm sure we've seen worse. Open the door. <laughs> Before no we go in, has he only tried to harm himself, or has he tried to harm you? He's tried to harm himself. Just himself. Mm -hmm. That's generous. Oh, then we're fine. We hope. And she'll uh, get a key from her pocket and unlocks the door and opens it up. And as the door opens, you immediately just hear, <laughs> Which, um, Waldo... Comprehend languages. Um, mm -hmm. Let me quickly check the specifics. You understand the literal meaning of any spoken language that you hear. You also understand the written language you see, but you must be touching the surface which words of the page if it's okay. written. Is it the language? And it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't decode secret messages. You intent. hear the writhing clots that blackens the stars, the inky tide that swallows the light. Just over and over and over I and will over again. I repeat that out like a recorded message just like okay the inky black the, yeah it's like very much text <laughs> speech like yeah the google translate out yeah, the light. The... Repeat. Just, it's just that same that same phrase over and over i, over I repeat again. like three times you just go you I mean... you get the you get the gist <laughs> <laughs> Mustache. Must see, I fuck it. The mustache is gone. Has <laughs> 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 been last long enough. How long? Nah, enough? Half an hour. Can half be fun. I wish, I wish I could job. put mine on and take mine off. I'm not the first please. one to ditch part of their costume. That's all I care. There about. you go. <laughs> it's fine. I'll be adding. I'll be. Um, I'll do you guys <laughs> proceed into the basement or the cellar? Yeah. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Sure. Okay. Feet down. As you descend the staircase, you can see a man. Um, Wrapped in a white sheet, leather belts binding his arms and legs, sitting in a corner, eyes distant, and just shrieking and gibbering in this, this guttural language, just rocking back and forth in the corner, just repeating the same phrase over and over and over again. And he doesn't normally do this? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh... I don't think folks usually do this sort of thing. I mean, uh, hey, well, well, don't give him, give him a poke or something. <laughs> we think okay. it may be a curse or a disease of some kind. Perhaps. I, I that's, like... That's something I can try. I mean, I walk up, just like Big Hogan, just like pat his head. Just... Um... <laughs> slightly. He does not seem to respond at all. He just keeps rocking back and forth. The same guttural noises just does not seem to pay you any mind whatsoever. Seems ineffective. I want to, without getting I'm close enough so I can see, like make out the color in some of his eyes, mm -hmm. but then just use my mage hand to do the thing where you like open up someone's eye kind of wider just to see like 
Is it bloodshot? Is it dilated? Is it a weird color? <laughs> what do his eyes look like? Uh, well, you can definitely see traces of him trying to gouge his own eyes out. Um, mm -hmm. You can see, like, part of his eyes are kind of like, you know, like the, the pretty much the, like two, like, corners, I guess. Uh, definitely have bled and are still very irritated mm -hmm. from probably where he tried to put his fingers and pop them out. Mm -hmm. um, other than that, like, besides, you can see, you can definitely see the madness in his eyes. Like, his, he's just in a distant stare, very blank expression. But other than that, seems fairly, like, like normal, given the circumstances. Hmm. I, I just go, like that to... looks painful, and drop the mage hand and just back away. I would like to go rooting in my back and pull out a number of things. Okay. Uh, the first thing I want to try... I'm going to hold my holy symbol near him. Okay. Oh. Does it seem to have any response? Nope. Okay. Um, I'm going to try splashing some holy oil on him. Some holy water, sorry. Also, like he he stops his shaking back and forth a little bit just upon the impact of like this this liquid hitting him, but that that lasts for like less than a second before he goes back to his to his rocking back and forth. Oh, you want to try leaning him a while yeah. you're at it? Does he have a reflection in my steel mirror? He does have a reflection. Yes. I've tried everything I can, and I pull out a stake. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you do? If doing? he has a reflection, what do we need the stake for? Just holding it in case. Hmm. I kind of look a bit uncomfortable and like inch away when he pulls out the stake. I went through the list. That's holy oil, holy symbol. <clears throat> any it's... any past? So I don't know what it is and can't fix him. So I'm keeping this ready. As you can Sticks see, sticks aren't just for vampires. You understand that? Uh, yeah, but I mean, you got a sword or something, right? You just... with her. Oh, we probably shouldn't talk about this in front of his wife, though. The the the, oh, the, the wife just looks at you all and, well, as you can see, nothing can be learned from him. Something's happening at the theater, and, well, the last investigative team sent by the guards never returned, and as a response, they've made it a forbidden zone. But whatever's happening in there is still there, and somebody needs to do something about it. So, would you? be brave and willing to find out what's going on and stop it? Sure. I got a couple things I can try, but I don't really mm -hmm. want to waste my energy. I mean, not to, you know, no offense or nothing, but I, <laughs> if we're going to go dealing with big monsters, I probably don't want to waste my energy on this guy. I mean, I, for one, find this fascinating. I'm, oh, me too. I'm definitely in. I am I'm also in. I wonder if what it, it has some kind of thing I can use. That would be good. I also kind of want to write down what he was saying, because it sounds very poetic. Like, could be the start of a nice novel, you know? You read weird I'm books. Sure, I'm sure you'll sell millions of copies when this is over. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I guess we have an evening at the theater ahead of us then, huh? Seems that way. Indeed. I don't also, know if they'll be putting on any special plays or nothing, though. Well, if... It's not special, then how did he end up like this? Does a theater normally do this? Uh, yeah. I've never been. That's fair enough, then. Unless, of course, you take gradual to combat as theater, then no. Well, I suppose I, you know, that we performed in that. I don't know if we consider that like a night at the theater, though. <laughs> night in a theater? <clears throat> it's a former theater. A very violent one, though. Well, I mean, this looks kind of vile. Hey, hey. This seems like my kind of show. You know, I take it back. This seems like my kind of show. Let's go figure out what it's all about. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Sounds so with perfect. that, um, Olivia let, guides you out the basement, closes the door behind her, locks it. Uh, wipes some more tears off of her cheeks and like from under her eyes and guides you to the front door of the estate. And uh, you leave 
heading towards the Monvo Theatre. It is a bit of a dreary night, about 7, 8 p.m. at the moment. It's, it's, it's already pretty dark, um, a slight bit of fog kind of, kind of decorating the streets as you uh, travel to the theatre. And the closer you get to where the theatre is, the less and less people you see. Um, you can see a patrol of guards kind of generally guarding the area. <clears throat> but once you reach the theatre, you can see a structure with crumbling columns and gargoyles to decorate the decaying facade of the two-story Monvo Theatre. Iron bars cover the murky half-moon windows. The marquee has been ripped down, but the lingering scrap says, penned by Bertrand Gilliard, rising star of the stage. Anybody here? Proficient in history. Ooh. I am. Those of you who yes. are, make a history check, please. I oh. have advantage. 16. Nice. Uh, 22. 15. 15. Okay, all three of you know uh, that you've heard of Bertrand Gilliard. He is a young, talented playwright sponsored by the Monvo Theatre. His debut play, The Threads of Fate, was a dazzling success that instantly propelled him into fame. The Threads of Fate. Um, as you approach the front door of the theatre, you can see that it's boarded, boarded shut, and a sign says, Closed indefinitely by order of the City Watch. Trespassers are arrested on sight. Are we trespassers? Mm. Yes, technically, by the eyes of the law, yes. Where yeah. the gap? I'd like to see them arrest us, but... Not sure they could if they tried. <laughs> I mean, they it might let us in. Like, it sounds it like people are avoiding the place anyway. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Yeah, who? Yeah, who is even here? Can I, can I look around? Who in that right mind? Make a perception check. Perception. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. You here, near um, a pile of rubble next to the front door. Suddenly, you hear this like, <laughs> is this 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 laughter? And as you kind of go and take a look, you see. A human man sitting there, wearing fine silk clothes that are now ragged and scuffed, wearing a dented bowler hat on his head. Next to him, you can see a city guard, dead, just lying down, lying next to him. And this man is just... <laughs> is, he, is he sitting? Is he like... He's just kind of sitting or... and like, kind of like trying to hide himself behind the pile of rubble because he heard you approach. Well, that's not something you see every day. Uh, um, I don't. Uh, <clears throat> did, did you do this? <laughs> and as you as you uh, call for his attention, his eyes kind of widen and he and he gets up. Hello. Good evening. My name is Robots. What can I do for you? He hello. I mean, there's a dead guy right here. Yeah, it's my friend, Garvin. I was just telling you a good that. joke, huh? Dude, look at him. He's, he's he's my friend, and he kind of like starts puppeteering the dead the, the dead guard, kind of like okay, moving his hands. Uh, would you all please make a wisdom saving throw? Oh, 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 oh! Hang on, before everyone does that, huh? Let me just check a thing really quick. Okay. Uh, do, 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 oh, but do, I rolled do, really do, well. Do, do, do. You get to keep that roll, but I don't okay. want... Okay. Uh, while you're con everyone within 10 feet of me gets a plus 3 bonus to all saving throws. Oh, hell Ooh, yeah. Oh, wow. 13. <laughs> 23. Natural 20. 16. 16. <laughs> okay. So who rolled 15 or lower? Just Bell? Rolled 31. Jesus. Um, okay. I love my life. Not 20, but... Um, Bell? You? Oh, no. Upon seeing this, this strange and quite sickening display, um, lose some of your sanity. Oh. And... How much sanity boy, you, do I have? Um... One no, less no. than you did a minute ago. 
Can everybody deafen real quick for like just five seconds? Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Be good, because I can't actually check. Is everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. yeah, they're gone. You become convinced that the next person you see is actually a hideous creature wearing that person's skin. Oh, no. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Does that include everyone else? No, not, not the next new person. Okay, 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 okay. Fucking even in one shot spells make us deafen at the start. <laughs> <laughs> it's my talent, what can I say? Okay. All right. So you have um, Robalt just, just dangling the corpse of his guard. Just, just, but he seems very nice, strangely mm -hmm. enough. Which is, it's, it's weird. Because he was, was kind of cackling to himself pretty maniacally before, um, you know, when, when Waldo initially spotted him. But as soon as you, like, mm -hmm. started to speak to him, his, like, entire personality kind of shifted to this kind, welcoming, perhaps a bit pretentious mm -hmm. uh, individual. You know, it'd be more impressive if you could do that without the strings. Well... We all start somewhere, don't we? True, it took me a very long time to learn. So, uh, what are you doing here? What did the theater's closed, you know? Was he... was he like this when you found him? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Slowly on, reach for one of my hold weapons. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, that well says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Just like, well, yeah. well, I mean, I mean, he was certainly less limp and lifeless, but he had a terrible Dull, attitude. Limp, lifeless. Does it look like the guy has a, a weapon on him, by the way? Uh, the make a perception check. Dude. Oh. Ooh, a seven. Natural one. As far as Ooh. you can tell, he's unarmed. He looks at you all. Well, he... I had to kill him, but he's not <laughs> mad at me, isn't that right, Garvin? And he just, like, continues the puppeteering again. Well, that's okay, then. Why did you Why have did to you kill him? Have... Yeah, yeah, same question. I don't know, it just felt like it, strangely. That does not sound like have to. I think you well, need to double-check There was just this, this, this voice in the back of my head, you know, who really wanted me to, to kill him, so... I listened, and I did. I believe that's for the conscience. Could be wrong. I mean, most I'm of us sure hear that voice all the time. We just don't people. act on it. Hey, speak for yourself. <laughs> but it must be a different voice then. This one is very convincing. I, I, I don't suppose you went to a show at this theater or something. Yes, I did. Opening night. Ah. It was marvelous. What was it like? We, are, we're, we really wanted to go. We're so bummed we missed it. It was the best show I've seen in my life. It was scary and compelling and I'm pretty sure some people passed out but it was it was it was, it was marvelous did, did you hear something story? about like uh, uh cl so, something about a rising clot or uh uh so, so, what, what 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 was the guy saying uh Waldo I, I'll, I'll just, again, out the light. I will I will again just like repeat it like the fucking text to speech straight away um, just like do you know what now that you're asking for details I I don't really remember much. Huh. Well, Funny that. Very helpful. I'm sorry. How long ago did you Try see him? the theater? Maybe Garvin knows. Garvin? I don't think Gavin knows too much. Seems the shy type. What he knows he's not sharing. Do we think this is a disease of some kind that I might be able to cure, or do we think it's something worse? I think it's something worse. Because this seems mm -hmm. really something something that's If you thought there's a chance nature. of curing it, why don't you try on the professor back at the house? I mean, he pulled out all his doom. I did, I did suggest it, but we were more... I thought you suggested killing them. Killing him. <laughs> I, did, I, I, did, I did suggest curing That's your we cure? More... No. I mean, it does cure 99.9% it is, it's, it's of everything. It's true. Yeah. It cures that pesky ailment known as living in this world. Mm. Well, there's no need for to, to cure me of anything. I'm fine. Can't you see? I'm not just... I'd like to insight check this man's. <laughs> Make an insight check. <laughs> I, I, I'm waiting for Dutch to be like, he believes he's fine. Eight. <laughs> Six. 
say that. Hey, yeah, I mean, he says he's fine, and you know, other than having some peculiar, having a peculiar dead guard as a friend. You see the like, you hear this like, clockwork, just get a little bit louder, just as they, <laughs> <laughs> and then the little red gem that's on Waldo just get a little bit brighter as well as you hear this clockwork kind of just speed up a little bit. <laughs> Processing power. Yeah, it's over talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, do, do you know any way we could get into the theater right now? Well, there is, of course, the main entrance, if you can make your way through some of those boards, but there's also a latch on the roof that takes you into one of the uh, private boxes. Ah. Don't tell anyone, though. Mm. Secret safe with us. I've always wanted to sit in one of those. I can never afford one. I, I was hoping for box seats, so that's very useful. Thank you. I say we go box seats. Why not of treat course. yourself? Exactly. So how do we get onto the roof, funny man? Climb? Yeah. Yes. I'm you just going to go, oh, like angles. this. And I'm going to start walking up the wall just to find gravity, because I can do that without using my hands. <laughs> just pulling um, a Dracula and Van Helsing right now. Yeah, you uh, walk up the wall. It's about a 40 feet climb, and you get to the roof. Uh, and you can see that there's indeed a, a, a latch, like a trap door, like on top of the roof. Yeah, I'll, I'll climb up. You, like fly or something? Yeah, I'll follow like, as well. My climbing speed are the same as my walking speed. I know this. You're my robot. What am I talking you about? You just slide. Yeah. Oh, 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 you have like, innate climbing abilities as well? Uh, yes. Instance? They have okay. a climbing speed. Yeah. Well, like, yeah I have those those I are the climbing speed. You, yeah, you can just scale the wall. I will, I will kind of ask uh, Cog, like, shall I just climb or do you want me to use my leap? All right, let me buckle in. I got a fucking five point <laughs> harness. All right. I love it. Let's get up there. I are you, are you asking me to climb or leap? Leap! Soar! And you see, like, I take a step back and then oh, just love, run, so and much. then I will use my uh, uh, telekinetic adept uh, thrust ability. No, not thrust, what is it? Wherever it is. The fucking whatever it's called. It's one telekinetic of thrust. It's one the of these things. I'll do the thing, uh, and it means I can. I've got. I do the a, thing. Where the fuck is it? It's, oh, no, my psi powered leap. Oh, there you go. So my f I got flying speed equal to twice my walking speed until the end of the turn. There you go. So, so I you... just... <laughs> nice. Uh, so everyone kind of like has these like very creative ways of climbing up and everyone's already gone and I, uh, Gremnir, you're just kind of standing there and uh, Robot looks at you. You're going to sprout wings next? I'll put on my claws and I just start climbing. Do you also have a climbing uh, speed? Nope. Make an athletic check. <laughs> I should win these, though. I forgot that. Uh, Twenty-four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 24. you uh, with ease also like using your claws to kind of dig dig yourself into the wall a little bit, climb up as well. And you you all stand on the roof and you hear from down below just just robots yelling, "Goodbye, see you next time." I don't kill anybody. Take care. I look over at Grimnir and I go, Apologies, I should have asked if you wanted a lift. <clears throat> I walk past him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where's this hatch? Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty obvious where the hatch is. You can see it. It's uh, kind of towards the, um, the western uh, side of this rooftop. Um, do you approach the, the hatch? Does it look trapped in any way? Make an investigation check. I have an advantage on those. Don't fuck it up. Oh, hell yeah. Seven. <laughs> uh, 23. Uh, does not appear trapped to you. Sick, I'm gonna pull it open. Now yeah, you pull it open and you can see kind of inside, you see uh, the inside of one of the private boxes. Uh, a red velvet lined box, about an eight foot drop to the floor, uh, you, you estimate. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna jump in. Okay. I'll jump in too. So as you all uh, enter mm -hmm. through the hatch, you find yourselves in one of the private boxes. You can see that it overlooks the stage. Um, the stage, like down below, uh, a lot of seats also, like on the main floor. Um, like I said, this this box is lined with velvet, about eight foot eight foot high. Um, quickly 
let's see how approximately how big um, one of these boxers is. Uh, about like a like a like like four by four feet. Uh, as as far as space goes, it's not it's not terribly big, and all six of you being in there definitely makes it a little crowded. But, four um, by four feet, or four by four, four. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Twenty by twenty. Sorry, four by four. Oh, okay, I was going to say <laughs> four by four squares. Yeah, sorry, that was my bad. Uh, so it's still like pretty a little crowded with all six of you in there, but um, pretty pretty snazzy looking, pretty fancy. So we can see down onto like the main, the main like stage and everything. Yes. Is is there anything else like in here? Uh, do, I mean, do you wanna do you wanna search the room? Yeah, I mean, well, I just want to see what like what do we see from the balcony if I if I have a good good sort of look around. Um, from the balcony, you can look down. And you can see several rows of seats, kind of in this big hall, big, in this big uh, hall, very large stage at the northern end, which you have a perfect view of from these boxes. Um, it seems like some people are still sitting in their seats down below Ooh. um that's creepy and if you want to like actually like investigate the, the the box you're in uh i would like for you to roll an investigation check if there's people in the seats below us i'll check out uh, the box can i divine sense sure <clears throat> are they celestial fiend or undead no is can this I... ground is this ground hallowed What's the range on your divine sense? 60 feet. 60 feet? But if they're in full cover, I won't. I won't know. Mm, no. Okay. I want to start just walking down the wall again to go look at some of the bodies. They're still in seats. The people still in seats. Okay. Is, is there a door? In this, I rolled in this 19 to check the box. Uh, there is a door that leads out to probably the hallway and several other boxes here. Yeah. Uh, 19 to check the box? Um, yeah. You find um, a document. Ooh. With on that document, I'm quickly find it for you. You find uh, a playbill outlining the three acts of the play. Number one is called the drawing. Number two is called the sacrifice, and number three is called the summoning. Oh dear! Interesting. Um, are you investigating the bodies in the in the in the seats, uh, mm -hmm. Drusilla? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, Drusilla. Make a medicine check. If I see Drusilla going down, mm -hmm. I'm gonna jump Ooh. down as well, just so she's not on her own. You're gonna jump down. 18. How far is it? It's about a, it's about a, it's about a, it's about a twenty foot drop. Because I, I can jump. walk on walls, so I just You're jumping? walk down. Right. Yeah. I'll okay. also jump down. I'll follow. I've got slow fall. You got slow fall? Yeah. I don't. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'm cat gonna, man. Uh, I'm just going to climb down. Um, Fair enough. Uh, you take six points of bludgeoning damage, Grimnir. Just okay. one impact. I um, heal it with uh, Leon Hands. Fair enough. And I rolled an 18 for my medicine check. Okay. Uh, oh, these people down. are definitely dead. Mm -mm. <clears throat> and I want to see what's out of that door. Okay. Oh, you're right. uh, do you determine that they've died of a heart attack? Oh. Okay. And it it's, a total, it, it's a total of six bodies that all have suffered the same fate. And you can do see, they have... you can see oh, in their faces, just like screams of horror are locked in their face. Jesus. Hell of a show. Yeah. Um, I am. Just let me read. There's so much text to this spell. <laughs> Make sure I'm reading it correctly. Um. No, I want that one. To maintain control. It doesn't say if they can talk or not, which isn't helpful. I'm, I'm trying to, if I cast animate dead, can I talk to them or not really? Are they just no, a that's physical? No, that's what speak you're, you're, you're uh, you need to speak with dead, yeah. That's, speak, okay. that's what speak, is that speak with dead specifically for. Animate dead is just you can make a move and stuff. They don't like. Okay. Um, um, so calm. Which one of them are there? Oh, sorry. Sorry. You're still up in the box with. Yeah, Waldo we want to go out of the door. Uh, you're the only two still there. Yep. Yeah. You gonna open the door? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I guess I open up the door for Cog. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, you open the door and you see a hallway lit up by uh, golden sconces uh, with with torches in them. Um, and you're in like a row of private boxes uh, on on the left balcony. They're each marked with a gilt number denoting boxes 7 through 12, uh, and you are in box number 12, 
that has a plaque that says playwright in Flourish scripts. Ooh. Well, that explains the documents. Yeah. Okay, so what are the plaques on the other doors? Uh, that's if the only plaque. The other door, the okay. other doors are just numbered. Uh, there's no like plaques, but it seems that this was this uh, box was specifically uh, reserved for the playwrights at all times. Are the are the other doors locked? Uh, they don't seem to be. Should we should we just have a look around? I guess just like to go through each of these boxes. Oh. That sounds good to me, and I'll like I'll go to number eleven. Just go down way because you said playwright room is number twelve, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to number eleven and try opening up. How? Okay. How big is this? Is the play like? Is it just uh? Is the stage like huge or? Um, this room you're in is kind of like um. The back half of the room is about five, ten, twenty, thirty. Uh, 35 feet deep and like almost 100 feet uh, wide and then as you the back the back half so towards the main entrance it kind of like has like this shape like a triangle shape and it's just filled with with chairs and seats and like a red carpet in between like in the middle directly uh, attached to the door uh, that lead into this hall um, okay. are you investigating the other what is it five boxes yeah I need to roll things now. Oh god. Oh no. No, start with number eleven. Start with number eleven. Um, it, it, every box looks the same on the inside. The red mm -hmm. velvet's eight feet eight feet high. Um, box number eleven. You find. Rolling in my D and D. You find uh, just a fine layer of white ash covering everything. Other than that, not much. Hmm. Box mm. number 10. Mm -hmm. You find um, a white mask that seemingly is supposed to cover only half of a face. Okay. I'll like, pick it up. To move you sure? Uh, Damn it. I'll, I'll put it in like the sort of compartment. Almost like a bit like Bender. It kind of like a little bit opens up. I'll okay. Put it in okay, okay, okay. Six um, beer bottles drop out. Box number nine. <laughs> All empty. You find um, a severed finger bearing a signet ring. Mm. Time to take the signet ring. Is, Is it a diamond? Take, do we take the no. finger or just the ring? They recognize uh, the. Pass it up here. Oh, kind of like. I finger and all. I put, yeah, pick up the <laughs> finger and put it over, like, put it up to the head. Is it a human finger? Yes. What what's on the signet ring? Uh it seems to be just like a like a family crest. Uh, nothing you, too like nothing that's really jumps out at you, but it seems to just be like some like rich family uh member. Uh the Bezos lost family. A, lost a finger with a ring attached to it. Is it a nice ring? Yeah, I mean, it's fancy as fuck, yeah. Just throw the finger out. Well keep this and sell it or something. Alright. Uh, okay. box number nine, eight, eight, mm. you yeah. find, um, a folding paper fan with a peacock on one side and the words, the writhing cloths written in blood on the other. Oh. That's what the dude said. Ha ha, call back. And lastly, in the last room or last box on this side, you find, um, a hideous symbol scratched on the wall that burns in your mind. I need both of you to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, oh. get uh -oh. fucked, idiots! Oh no! Rut row. Wisdom save. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, rut row. I got a twelve. Three. Twelve. Three. So just come check out the dead bodies with us. <laughs> yeah, if you'd have um, to make a wisdom save down here, to have a plus three. Oh. Mm. Uh See, that was Cog and that was Waldo. The plus three didn't do anything for me, man. Mm -hmm. I can't help when you um, roll shit. Waldo. I can help medium oh. roll. I would like everybody else to deafen real quick besides yeah. Quaver. Oh, Just baby. for like a real quick second. Yeah, boy. Okay. Uh, this is going to be very fucking finicky because you're a robot. But okay. um, this symbol kind of 
fucks with your with with your your, your just the way you see and perceive things. Mm -hmm. um, that thing that you heard the professor say, the mm -hmm. writhing cloth that blackens the stars, the inky tide that swallows the light. Mm -hmm. You can hear that. It's like a faint whisper in the back of your head at all times, okay. and it doesn't go away. Okay. Me out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, that's the rest of the boxes. You can see that the rest of the hallway kind of leads into what seems to be like the main entryway. Um, you can see the, the the main entrance of the building to your right and to your left. You see a door that presumably leads to where the stage is. Uh, there is also on the where opposite the end of this uh, hallway another um, another uh, corridor that will lead you to the other boxes that you saw across from you uh, when you were in the boxes before. Where are the stairs? Huh? Where where are the stairs? Well, down. Okay, so it's like it's like you go down a few you go you, you go down a, a stair, mm. main hallway, staircase up mm -hmm. to the other balcony uh, boxes, okay. and then but if you take a left, you'll get to the like stage area. I oh, okay, so the same room that everyone else is in. Then. Yes. Yeah. All right, we'll go. We'll go. We'll, we'll go that way. Okay. Are, are there That's any props else. on the stage? Uh, the stage itself. Um. Well, the room, let me describe the room for you, because I kind of, you know, you, you were distracted by the bodies. But now that you kind of look around the room, you can see rows upon rows of un upholstered seats facing the elevated stage. Uh, you can see this shallow musician's pit kind of beneath the stage. Uh, velvet curtains that are lowered, uh, two enormous chandeliers hanging uh, beside the stage, down from a 40 feet ceiling. Um, you can, the six lifeless bodies that you've, that you've spotted. Um, you see that there's no props on the stage, but you do notice that the light of the chandeliers illuminate a circle of gluey black symbols scrawled on the stage's surface. Oh god. That definitely looks... Can Do I recognize blood. any of the symbols? Do they look like necromantic in nature or anything? Are you proficient in arcana? I am. I'm I am. Yes, I am. I am. You are? I am. I'm not... <laughs> in that case, Drusilla, as you kind of go to look and see if you recognize them, um, you know that these symbols are used to summon beings from beyond the outer planes. Ooh. Oh no. That's good. Oh, they've gotten f farther than I have in my studies. Darn it. All this for stage play, though? I mean. Well, obviously like not cool. actually. Yeah. And a you stage can see play. that uh, this room. Well, it was um, a play on a stage. It's a trap on a there stage. There's a stage, and then beside the stage, on both the left and the right hand side, there are doors as well. Uh, and there's also obviously the stage itself and the curtains that yeah. probably lead to a backstage area. I mean, area. if the play was about a being from the outer planes, then maybe they just didn't have a special effects budget and they went with practical effects instead. And they had the budget for that. <laughs> A lot of times, it's actually far cheaper to just do the real thing than to fake it. It's really weird. So on one hand, we have the concept that they decided to summon something because it was cheaper. And I'm on the other hand... I'm leaning more, to more towards Rex with that this Thank was... You. This was, was a definitely trap. a trap. The, even the... I mean, why couldn't it the, be both? I'm more curious about nobody, ticket prices for a show nobody, like this. Nobody other than you is that elaborate. Are you all kind tracks. of gathered on the stage right now? Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, in that alive. case, um, the circle that you were kind of standing around suddenly starts to make sounds. Ooh. As oh, around oh. you, uh -oh. three creatures oh. Oh, just God. appear, crawling through what seems like a tear in the fabric of the world itself and just you see you look through the tear and you just see stars and, and planets like a and, drama? sure and through <laughs> these three through this this tear come crawling these horrible beings four <laughs> scythe like appendages that jut from a muddled purple uh muddled purple body the size of an ogre 
The creatures roll forward on squirming tentacle legs, drawing its arms back so ready ready to slash at you. I would like for you all to roll initiative. Ah! Is this, is this devil may cry? It's because it doesn't actually affect combat. It's not an actual action, but as there being some of the tentacles, and I just look at Rexic, I go, are they your friends? No. <laughs> why? Why? Why do I never roll this good in main campaign? Now I'm rolling I'm like dog shit. shit. Damn. Hold on, because I gotta quickly edit some fucking stuff on the scene here. Brian sucked ass. Mm. Oh no, I mean as Brooks as well, like... And um, Brooks is designed not to be good. True. All my homies hate Brooks. <laughs> Brooks is actually more powerful than Even I thought he'd be. Even all people who are not my homies hate Brooks. Yeah, it's true, actually. Rude. Well, saying right. that as one of the people that really liked Brooks as a character <laughs> concept and encouraged me to go with it. So. Ah, oh, my favorite Brussels sprout. Uh, what? I what? lost where the fuck the board is, so bear with. <laughs> Never mind. But. That's a connection that only my brain made. Bell, in the what, video upload of this, can we just have a screen that says technical issues and a cut? <laughs> No, with like yes. the, the BBC like technical issues like yeah. plate with like the, the elevator mode is like do 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 Okay, whatever dude. Okay, no map for this one. Sorry guys, I tried. Fuck me. It's Fuck me fine. for trying. Fine. Jesus Christ. The thing we all fear most. Tech issues. Right. Yeah. So, anyway. The true uh, Eldritch Horror. Let's go ahead with some uh, initiatives, please. Oh, while what I, did I roll. Okay, yeah. For these boyos. Not me forgetting my initiative roll. <laughs> Not me rolling a natural. I had technical, di technical difficulties of the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how that works? That's a good, a good phrase. Mm hmm. Everyone That's else has like... those little medical bracelets like diabetic. Technical uh, difficulties <laughs> of epilepsy. the brain. Technical difficulties of the brain. It's so long my 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 bracelet spirals around my wrist just to fit in the entire oh thing. God. If okay. I ever win the lottery, I'm having that custom made for you. Thank you. It's the only thing you're getting, but it better be made out of platinum. Alrighty, initiative's twenty so plus. Well. 21 with a natural 20. Nice. That's two in a row. I'm okay. about to roll nat ones for the rest of the fight. Uh, 15 to 20? Uh -oh. Oh, no. oh boy. 10 to 15? 14. 11. I thought you said you rolled well, Laura. <laughs> no, I said I'm back you to rolled... my usual shit. Uh oh. My initiative's always okay. garbage. Uh, uh, yeah, you're right. Uh, 5 to 10? 7. Seven. Five. Laura just likes uh, Where's the higher dex between Drusilla my and dex Kong? Is a, my dex is a 12. Mine is... A 13. Hey! We don't have the same dex numbers issue that we always mm -hmm. have. Uh, five for Waldo. Mm -hmm. Is that everybody? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. The robot designed for killing. Five. Five. Um, okay. So, with that like. in mind, um, the first up is Gremnir. These three void spawns just crawl void out of this, this tear in the fabric of the world itself and immediately have their, their like scythe-like appendages ready to swing at you. What do you do? Okay. Um, well, fuck. Uh, uh combat with new characters and deciding what to do and all of those things. Mm -hmm. uh, I am going to... Uh, fuck it. I'm going to draw my greatsword okay. instead of my spear. Uh, I'm going to go to the closest one. Right. I'm going to... These things look fairly hearty. Yeah, and they look... They're large. They're, they're bigger than you are. Okay. I'm going to bonus action cast Branding Smite. Okay. 
I'm gonna swing my greatsword. Go for it. Uh, that's a fucking. Uh, do 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 do. Uh, right. That's a twelve, so I'm going to use my channel divinity guided strike uh, to make that a twenty-two. That hits. Uh, so I'm going to also pump in a smite as well, just a normal smite. Can you stack those? Yep. That's crazy. Okay. So. Uh, Prepare to be need, smitten. Do you need? Uh, Damage roll separate. Uh, I don't. Well, what, what damage type is branding smite? Uh, okay. So I've got. Fuck me. No. Uh, radiant, radiant, and then non magic. Okay. Uh, you, can, you, can, you, give, you can give it to me in all uh, in one go. Okay. That's shit. That's good. Uh, so ten plus. Beth is. <laughs> so that's 19. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Dude, my breath uh, is condensing in the bottom of the mask and it's like wet, let me tell you. <laughs> oh my nice. god. Last time I lifted it up, it like uh, literally <laughs> dripped out. <laughs> That's fucking gross. Oh, this isn't breath, okay? It's not spit. Are they, are right. they considered undead or fiend? Uh, no. Okay. So that's uh, 32 points of damage. 32 points of damage? Yep. You can see that as you impact this, this being with your sword, the body kind of like just makes this like <laughs> noise as, as it just kind of like cuts through it. But as you pull your sword out, immediately... Where the previously the cut was, it just kind of fixes itself. And it just, the creature just looks at you with one of his, like, scythe appendages looking ready to swing. So it doesn't look bothered at all, or it looks like it hurt, but... I mean, you did the damage. It's just their okay. body responding to... Okay, that's mm. fine. That's all I wanted to make sure. Uh... I'm going to attack again, because I have two attacks. Mm -hmm. Two attacks. That's better. That's a 23 to hit. Yep. Um, that it do. I have to check my million fucking abilities. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm just going to do it as a straight attack. Okay. Uh, so that's... How are you, bitches? For another 12 points of slashing damage. 12 points of slashing damage. Okay. Is that your turn? Um, I mean, that's action, bonus action. Am I going to move? Who in the pie is like... No, because I'm going to take an attack of opportunity at this point. I like because I'm in melee. Fuck it, I'll stay where I am. Okay. With that, uh, one of the void spawn... Um, is going to just slither on his little tentacle legs towards um, towards Rexic, and is going oh, to whoa. attempt to um, yeah, just with two of his arm scythes, just try to cut you open. First one is a sixteen to hit. Oh, me? Yes. Uh, 16? Yes. Yeah. Second one is, ooh, natural 19. So that's gonna, it's probably gonna yeah. hit, huh? <laughs> okay. So as these two, like, meat scythes, just kind of like, yeah. one going top right, bottom left, one going the exact opposite, just kind of like making an X into your, into your chest and stomach. Uh, you take... Never, by the way, never say the words meat scythes ever again to me. Yeah. They are. <laughs> you wanna see my scythes. meat scythe? Wanna yeah. see my meat gonna... scythe? Alright, girl, I'll take you over and show you my fucking meat scythe. Okay. <laughs> Why is that you not your accent? take a total of... Oh my robot. god. It could be... Um, what the hell? What the hell? You take a total of... 43 points of slashing damage. Oh, what? <laughs> I will. Me? 
fuck! I rolled, it's literally my entire health pool. I that rolled so oh. ridiculously high. I will. Oh my god. I will spend <laughs> one of my psionic energy dice to uh, make that go down a little bit. Okay. okay. Oh, how god, god dare you! you. Character. Uh, <laughs> I, I rolled ridiculous. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's not. It's not a big help. You could have lied. Nothing though. you ever do is. <laughs> you could. I could not lied, do this. Dutch. Uh, you take. I you take nine points less. <laughs> nice. So that was Thank you. Forty-three to. 32. I'm just killing myself for nine. Thirty-four. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, I just you healed see, myself for nine. You see this kind of like. <laughs> The glow from like the the gem and the red just kind of flash for a second. You get like, this blue sort of energy go around you, like as that hits. Right, so thirty four points of uh, slashing damage total. Bell done. Um, and that is its turn, and it is now your turn, Rexic. So let's see. Do I want to do something <laughs> fucked up because of what that little shit just did to me? <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I can I try and beckon Rexic closer to me? No, you cannot. I tried. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to use right. Crimson Right on my Great Sword. Okay. And I take. Oh, that five... really hurt. Better stab myself. <laughs> five five points of damage. Okay. Uh, and I'm gonna attack it a whole bunch. That's Twice. good. To be precise. A whole bunch. A whole bunch. A whole bunch. Do him a, a bad. Nice. Uh, 26 for the first one. Yeah, that hits. Ooh. And 27 for the second. Yeah, they both hit. Nice. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh, my God, this is so fucking good, actually. Eight plus five, uh, oh, 13 oh. for the first swing. Plus 13? five, yeah, plus five, uh, what is it? Just plus five extra yeah. damage. Yeah, what damage type? Your crimson right damage, you get to pick. Yeah, it's just the same, I guess. What uh... do I get? Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot. I think you have to like pick between like fire, ice, and cold or some shit like that, right? Isn't that oh, how that yeah. works? I'm pulling it up for you. Yeah. I oh, use yeah. level hunter once. So I'm pretty sure you have to pick like an elemental yeah. damage type. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, have. Um... Did you choose uh, flame, frozen, or storm? I, ch I I chose storm and I also chose fire. So okay, I'm so you do... can choose through lightning or fire. I'm gonna do fire. Okay. Yeah, so five points of fire damage, you said. Yep. All right. The impact from the swing of the sword itself seems to cause seems to cause a reaction, but it doesn't seem too bothered by the additional like fire. It, it okay. doesn't really seem fussed by that. It's it's the main impact of the blade itself that that really causes it to kind of writhe and curl. But the the additional fire, he doesn't really respond to. Okay. The second attack is for doo -doo 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 -doo. six sixteen. Okay. How much of slashing. that is fire? Uh, none. And then... 16 slashing. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, and then four fire. Four fire? Yes. Uh, yeah, same thing happens. The initial blade, like, kind of... Kind of gliding through this, this weird mm. squishy, but at the same time also... Um, when looking at it, you feel like... This has to be like soft and squishy, almost like almost like a jellyfish. But then, when you actually make a swing with your sword, it's quite sturdy and hard to get through. Once you're through it, your horse kind of or your horse, your sword kind of glides mm -hmm. through it. But the initial like getting to to like pierce that that outer shell, very rough. Uh, okay. And then again, the fire nah, doesn't really seem to bother him that much. But the initial like the actual sword it's, itself hurts. Nice. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. All right, Chonk. Fuck that bitch. All right. Um. So there's two people in melee range of two of them, right? Uh, correct. Um. We have Gremnir locked mm -hmm. in melee with one of them. There's Rexic locked in melee with with another one, and then there's one more that hasn't been in like hasn't engaged yet. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna 
sprint next to Rexic and attack the... I'm gonna hex the one that's uh, right next to Rexic. Okay. And... Uh, what's saving, or like, what's ability would you uh, like him to have his advantage on? It was just the, like, the strength, yeah, strength dexterity, uh, uh, charisma, dexterity, those, those six, you need to pick strength. one. Strength. Strength. Okay. Uh, and I'll attack it twice. Go for it. With my claws. Ooh. Get up. Kitten claws. Leopard claws. So the first roll is a 27. That hits. Ooh. And the second is a 23. Uh, yeah, both hit. <clears throat> so it's 12 damage plus... need to do another d6 because of the hex, right? Yes. So 13 on the first hit. Very nice. And... 11 on the second hit. 11 on the second hit. And the... Uh... Okay. Whoever uh, Rexic notices that my claws seem a lot longer than normal Tabaxi. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh I okay. like it. All right. Is that your turn, Chunk? Yes. Yes. It what is my turn. What kind of mutant wizardry is this? <laughs> <laughs> the uh, void spawn that is in melee with Gremnir is going Hello. to, instead of um, using his, his, his arm scythes, his chest opens up, and a bunch of tentacles oh. just come shooting out and just try to oh. grab That's you. That's my thing! Or try, not, try to, not try to grab you, but like just kind of slam into you. Um, you guys seen this one on Newgrounds? It's a natural 20. Uh, yeah, Please, apart from that, uh, I hate to tell you this, Dutch. Yeah? Ooh. I'm wearing adamantine plate, so that doesn't count oh as a crit. God. Really? Yep. Yeah. I'm immune to crits. That's crazy. All right. That's I mean, pretty, shit. pretty useful shit. Fair enough. I mean, Fair it still hits me, but... Boba is it doesn't do... Things, I think. God, damn you. God damn you, Thim. Our brains are the fucking same. <laughs> uh, in that case, you take... Uh, you uh, but only 19 <laughs> points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. And I need you to Thank make fuck. a constitution saving throw. Thank fuck. I have that armor. All right, constitution save? Yes. Uh, it's a natural five. But I get plus seven, plus three, so fifteen. Uh, you fall to the ground paralyzed. Lit. So you see oh, Grenier no. just oh. collapse uh -oh. onto the floor, paralyzed, unable to move. Um, this it's will last right. until uh, the end of your next turn. Okay, that's cool. So, uh, that is this guy's turn. Cog. Oh, okay. Um... I'm going to... Wait, are there any of the these beings not in melee with someone? Uh, there's one still unengaged, yeah. How far from me? Well, you're all on the stage. They yep. all appear pretty close to you, so I'd say like 10 feet max. Okay, I'm gonna pull some levers and twist some fucking pull dials now, and Cog. a little, uh... <laughs> a little, um, like, uh, Tesla coil thing okay. is gonna, like, come out of uh, <laughs> Waldo's shoulder okay. and start crackling with energy and I need the, that one to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Um, no one can until I put on the mask. 21. Oh, okay. So, let me see. It... Does it take damage? I don't know. What are you casting? Lightning Law. It doesn't take damage, okay. So like the the lightning like zaps out and kind of sort of almost grapples onto it, but it fights it off to no effect. Okay. So I'm going to do a little <laughs> angry like there's like steam and shit coming out. <laughs> I'm going to use aid at fourth level. Okay. Uh, but obviously because uh, it's an action, I'm going to use two sorcery points to make it a bonus action. There you go. And uh, a little antenna comes out of the top of Waldo, and like a blue energy sort of sparkles out over everyone in the party, and you all gain 15 max HP oh. and oh. 15 current HP. Oh. So you heal for 15, you also get an additional 15 max HP. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, if, we were at, if we were at full health, do we just get the additional 15 max? You just go up yeah. 15, yeah. 
Yeah, well, but uh, you'll, you'll also be, still be at max yeah, so If you yeah, have you'll 40 health, you'll now have yeah, 40 yeah, yeah, health. Sorry. Yeah, 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 okay. Damn! Oh, oh, wait, 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 okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait. I take it back. Wait, it's, uh, it's three creatures within range, so... Oh. Uh... Rexic. Yay. Grimnir, who's now down. And did anyone else get hurt? I don't think so. I'm not I sure. don't think okay, so. Okay, then Waldo. Okay, so Rexic, Waldo, Me. and Grimnir. Uh, heal for 15 and gain an additional I 15 bet. max HP. Still very useful. Nice. All right. Fucking over 100 HP now, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Woo. 43. So. Right. Is squishy. that your turn, Cog? Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bonus action and action and two sorcery points. Big yeah. Cog. Drusilla. Cog champ. Pop champ. All right. Seeing um, Gremnir down and seeing these creatures keep kind of like pseudo healing. I'm going to cast Chill Touch on the one near Gremnir. Okay. It's a range of 120 feet to hit. Why did my uh, brain immediately go to off the table. seeing Gremnir down? I'm going to cast kill, kill Touch on him. No, <laughs> I'm casting on the guy, on the guy attacking you. because I know, but my brain, I don't know why. My brain, in one shots, my brain's like, everyone's going to betray us. All right, us. I don't, it's not very good. Uh, 15 to hit. That hits. Hell yeah, okay. Because I'm level 8, I get 2d8 instead of just the 1. I rolled like ass. Okay, um, 7 points of necrotic damage. Necrotic damage? Mm. And that creature cannot regain hit points until the start of my next turn. Good to know. Okay. And is it an, a, a basically a ghostly skeletal hand? Like, I point my hand out and like a ghost version of my hand comes off of it and goes and grabs him and does this damage and the hand stays there visible which is what's keeping him from healing until my turn it's not undead right no okay there's an extra effect if it's undead tis not tis not um and then i have no bonus actions so i give a shit about and how how far away are the um the people the, the the bodies what's the, the closest body is still in the seats how mm -hmm. how far is it from us about 30 feet. Okay, good stuff. Um, and is there a way I can move back away just to put more space between me and the um, enemies or not really? If you go to the side of the stage, yes. If you go backwards, okay. you'll fall into the, the like, I'll, musician's I'll pit. I'll just go towards <laughs> the side of the stage and okay. just put as much distance as I can. All right. Actually, oh. I'm going to... Do I hit... Can I get to a... A wall, like the wall. Well, no, no, that wouldn't work. Backstage is the walls. The depth is much farther away. Okay, never mind. Yep. Alrighty, uh, Waldo. Oh, fuck. That's me. Where uh, is he? That is you. Me. Who knows? Uh, I will just go up to whatever one that's nearest me. I guess the one that like didn't have anybody in front of it, and was uh, yeah. um, uh, and I will take out my bow axe. And just go. It? whack it. Oh. Whack it. Hit it or it's wet. Mm -hmm. That's a natural one. Oh, oh my god. Fuck oh, yeah. Eight. Big eight. daddy. Nice. Does not hit, unfortunately. Your axe just slams into the stage and you kind of like. To, to, to pull it back loose. And and I will use my second attack. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm rolling really good, guys. 11. <laughs> Oh, also, wow. also doesn't hit. Damn, dude. Man. I'm so surprised that that didn't. Cog, you sit like on top in in like the the dome on on Waldo's head, and you can just you can just feel him like rocking you around as he's trying to smash with all of its might and just uh, just, just rattling just tearing you around. Just tear the stage. The tearing the stage. You apart. really hate theater. You hear this, <laughs> you so. hear this fucking like, like you hear this, this like students. steam sort of come out of him. <laughs> <laughs> He needs fucking recalibrating. Right. This ain't a play, Waldo. You can hit him for real. <laughs> <laughs> is that your turn, Waldo? That, that is my turn, Yars. All right, this guy is going to <laughs> take two of his arm sights and just try and... T uh, actually, because Not you're both again. there, technically, one will go towards Cog and one will go towards Waldo. Oh, Pog. Um, Let Cog, me do stabbing Waldo through the face to get That Cog. just hits, yeah. Just hits. Waldo, that is a dirty 20 to hit. That misses. Does it? My AC is 21. Fucking hell. All right. 
Um, so he hits the guy inside you, but he doesn't hit you. Yeah, that's just for a bit of I mean, I'm just in a, in a it's like, shitty globe. So, like, like basically, he, the head that is Waldo's head isn't Waldo's head. Yeah, like, it's just like a little thing that, that, that caught it's me. It's just like, yeah. It's like a little right He's leg. wearing a hat with Wal with Cog yeah, in it. Uh, it's, like, will, it's like that fish um, from Megamind. Cog, yeah. you take 17 points of slashing I will damage. psionic uh, energy in, because I've had my turn, so I'll get my reaction back. True. Uh, uh, you, you take 5 less damage. You 12, 12 points, points of slashing right. damage. There you go. As it, like, this scythe just punches through the wall of the yeah. fucking <laughs> dome, and just like... Because it's, it's not very strong. <laughs> yeah. You, you now spent, realize I was that making this bit, it was like, oh, yeah. should not have made it out of glass. <laughs> what you've done is you've built yourself a... a small cage. Um... No, it's like it's like cut, like like brass or something, like a brass cut, dome with like cut the cost holes, aluminium. But... <laughs> yeah. So, with that, it's uh, lightweight. Back to the top of the round, uh, Gremnir, you are at the end of your turn. Uh, the paralysis wears off. Yay. Um. The void spawn that has both Chonk and Rexic in its melee is going to. Question, Dutch. Hello. Did I fall prone when I was paralyzed? Um, I technically don't think you do, right? right. Yeah. Oh, if, if it doesn't specify, then no. Uh, no, you didn't. You just, you just That's kind of all I wanted there. to check. Yeah, okay. No, yeah. Um, is going to. Do the same thing the other guy did to did to uh, Gremnir. From its body, these tentacles shoot out and are going to try and hit uh, Chunk. Uh oh. With a seventeen to hit. That just misses. Just misses. Hey. Oh. Damn. Woo. All right. So you you see it coming, and having seen the other guy do it to Gremnir, you kind of like as soon as it starts to kind of open up, it's it's like where you would per per perceive someone's stomach to be. Uh, you immediately kind of like instinctively duck out of duck out of the way, and the tentacles like do shoot out and just and then retract back in uh, as you yeah, dodge let's it. Let's go. Fuck that. Ugh. Step away. You just just right. stare. Uh, that is its turn. Uh, Rexic, you're up. Okay, I'm going to um, use my bonus action. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to use my action to attack first. Okay. Go uh, on, fuck it up. Fuck it up. Big money. Oh, nice. 17, so that's like a... 25. That hits. Oh, sorry. And the second attack is a 19. Also hits. Uh, we have... Ooh. Um... Nine slashing damage. Okay. And then another. Uh, eight plus five, seven, thirteen. No, one. Yes, thirteen. I was right. Thirteen slashing. Yep. And then I'm gonna use a blood curse of binding, and uh, it has to make a DC strength saving throw. You see what? Uh, natural 19. Shit. Six. Plus 3 <laughs> or some shit. So, yeah. Fuck. 22. That's fine. Never mind. Uh, as you attack it and just like wail at it again twice with your sword, um, it's going to use a reaction to uh, just swing one of his arm scythes at you out of sheer, like out of reflex almost. Uh, it, 12 to hit. No! This is, but you you can... managed to kind of block it with your sword before going in again. All right. Can I use a reaction like Sentinel to attack him? Uh, or is that only if they... triggers when you see someone in your melee attacking someone else that isn't you. So yeah, technically, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I will punch him. Right, correct me Yay! if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how Sentinel works. Yes. So you use your reaction whenever it attacks something other than you. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. Abaran would know. Uh, so 19 to hit. I 19 would. hits. I did a lot. <laughs> did you? Can't remember. <laughs> and it's still hexed, really right? Far, right? Yeah. It is still hexed, yeah. So 14, 14 damage. Yet. 14 points of damage. Can I can I use a key point to do stunning strike on no, a, a reaction? No, reaction is just a quick... Okay. Uh, actually, I don't think you can. Stunning I think it's just... strike. 
I think it's just for like your your normal attacks. I think reaction. Okay. Is so pretty like strike oriented. is when you hit. It's just when you hit. Oh, when you hit, then I stand corrected. Yes, you can. All right. Well, then I will send a key point to stunning strike. So you need to make a DC 14 con saving throw. Oh baby. Imagine being a monk with sentinel. What a fucking bitch. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I rolled 14, exactly. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh plus three. God damn it. 11 plus 3. <laughs> I tried. Dude, I'm not thinking about taking Sentinel for Daigon later, dude. That's genius. <laughs> it really is. Sick, yeah. You hit someone other than me, or you try to move away from me, yeah, I get stunned. Uh, Rexic, are you done with your turn? Yep, that's it. Alrighty. Uh, Chunk, you're up. Oh, shit. Um, how, where are the other two? That are not in melee with? Um, like... Well, say that one is on the east side of your group, one is on the north side of your group, one is on the west side of your group. Like how easy. far away you're from me? East, you're, you're at the eastern one. Okay. And like west the one side. to the west, like directly across from you, is like 20 feet away. Like it's all pretty like okay. close together. Is that the one that's next to um, Grimnir? Yeah, west is Grimnir, north is uh, okay. uh, Waldo. What I'm going to do is cast uh, two Eldritch Blasts to the one that's next to Gremnir. Okay. Do I get disadvantage because I'm in melee range with another creature or something? Uh, yeah. uh, no, that's only when you're trying to spell attack uh, the guy that you're up against. If you use your oh, spell, really? you can, yeah. No, I, that's, if, no I you get disadvantage on ranged attacks if someone's in your melee. Like, just if period. In just period? Melee, yeah. Motherfucker. Yeah. It, yeah. It's uh, yeah, it's a big fuck. It's crazy. Uh, because none nice. of us do it. Yeah, no, none of so. us are ranged. Right. We just stab it. I thought it was just if it's against the guy that you're up against. But I, guess so. I rolled a 15, so with disadvantage. That hits. For, okay. Uh, I also have a an eldritch invocation that can pull them 10 feet towards me. Okay. So oh pull, yeah, that's a cool spot. I'll pull them 10 feet towards me and deal six damage to him. And right. I'll, I can cast two of them, right? I think. Yeah. You add your cross. So I'll, uh, do another, yes, you do. I'll tap attack him again. level five in Bullock. Oh, no, I'm not level five, so I can't attack oh, again. Okay. Oh, yeah, because he's multi class. <clears throat> yeah, he's yeah. A, a monk warlock multi class. So, yeah, that's it. Alrighty, so he's pulled 10, warlock like, kind of like he, this guy got pulled away from, from Gremnir and is now kind of like slap bang in the middle of all of you, realistically, like on the stage. Um, so like behind Waldo and, and Cog to the right of, of Gremnir and I think Drusilla no Drusilla is still where she was but mm -hmm. she cast a fucking spell but yeah um, is that a turn chunk? yes it is uh, this guy that you just pulled 10 feet away from uh, Gremnir <laughs> is going to <laughs> his way towards oh. you and is going to fucking do a double Come south attack me. against you I have to say I don't like it uh, 16 to hit. Misses. Uh, 17 to hit. Also misses. Man. <laughs> you just, you're, just, just, you're close. Agile, you're this close. Agile you're this fuck. close. <laughs> just, just dodging and weaving between the two. Straight All right. Straight thing. Uh, Kong, you're up. Okay. Uh, are any of these guys within five feet of each other? I don't think they are, right? No. I tried. How many are within five feet of uh, Waldo? Just the one? Just the one. Okay. Uh, in that case, since he, he's directly in front of Waldo, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. And there's nothing behind? Uh, the curtains. All right. I'm going to twist a little valve on a fucking big tank, and Waldo is going to, like, extend up about one foot, and a, a little, uh, like, barrel is going to extend from his torso with a little lit flame, and I'm going to cast Agonizar's Scorcher directly oh, yeah. in front of Waldo, so he needs to make a deck saving throw. Dex save. Three. I'm a character. Anna. You say three? Yep. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a fail. As this a roaring line of flame just shoots out of Waldo, he takes 3d8 fire damage, which I know is not great. I really hope it's just resistant and not <coughs> immune. And um, that's a one. Even if he's immune, two. it's perfect theater effects. It is. <laughs> Wait, one, two, and four? I just did... I rolled eight <laughs> damage on 3d8. It's the worst day of my life. Wait, one, two, and four mm. is seven, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> Even worse. We Even really had to ruin it for the man, thing. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, listen, mathematics, dude. I, <laughs> yeah, listen. Uh, you, just this fire just blasts out of... Uh, you say Waldo's stomach area? Like, that's... Yeah. Yes. That's he, like, he, cool. like, extends up, up and it just goes... Yeah, <laughs> 
Also, with any of the extensions, you just hear like a lot of like. Yeah. Nice. This is all clockwork. Uh, all those, the all curtain, all clockwork. like the curtain, the curtain that separates the stage from the backstage area, just immediately catches fire. Hell uh, yeah. But oh, the, the, creature, the creature itself doesn't seem too bothered. You can you can hear it slightly like a little bothered. Okay. It slightly like rides a little bit upon impact. Uh, three but, damage um, bothered. Mm -mm. Doesn't seem like fire is the way to go if you want to deal fire with these guys. Fire is not the way to go. Okay. Fire um, is not the way. I really don't want to use more oh, sorcery really points. Person. I'm done. Yeah, you do. <laughs> the I, like, I do a little bit. Are, are they short or long rest? Long rest. No. But I can turn spell slots into sorcery points, so like... Um, is, is the exchange rate good right now? <laughs> it's okay. It's I mediocre. Such a shitty joke, and you all laughed at it. I hate oh, it. I, I hate it. I hate it. That it's pretty good. To be fair, it's pretty good. Uh, no, I, I won't do anything else. I won't do anything else. No. All right, no. Drusilla. Um, Drusilla. Oh man, Yeehaw. I'm so torn, dude. I know what I want to do, but I don't know how effective it's going to be. And I feel like by the time it is real payoff happens. Uh, whatever. I'm gonna do it. Um, I mean, are these things bloodied? Um, two of them do look not bloodied, but they do look pretty fucking beat up. Bloodied is the term, not the description. Yeah, bloodied is the term. They yeah. don't physically look bloodied, but yes, in mm -hmm. in D&D okay. &D sense, the in two D &D of them. In D&D world. Oh, is, never yeah. mind. I can't do this because I have to be within ten feet of them anyway. Never mind. Womp, we'll womp. just go ahead and chill touch the fucker again because i think allowing them to not regenerate is pretty helpful yeah so that guy did move 10 feet to his east because he got pulled so the, the hand will have to like shh. i have 120 feet around the spell there you go. so no oh wait yeah um, no, the hand disappears and then you summon a new one right the hand just stays yeah. there until your yeah the hand faded so now it's my turn again but i'm right. gonna send yeah. another one cool, 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 uh, cool. this time it's a 17 to hit that hits big <gasps> Oh my okay, well, God. that dice is gone. Hold on. <laughs> that's fine. That dice needs to be. <laughs> I need another D8. You're gonna, oh, you're gonna forget about it, and then later you're gonna fucking step on it and fucking. At least later, it's not a D4. No, no later my cat's yeah. gonna find it, is what's gonna happen. So oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. True. <laughs> Vincent, are you uh, wearing perfect. two sets of headphones? Me? What? Yeah, I don't know. No. It just looks like there's one into the main one, and then like two it's underneath. The oh, it's the hat? Oh, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. It looks like headphones. It looks like headphones. It feels much better on the D8s this time. So that's 13 points of necrotic 13 damage. 13 points of damage. And he cannot heal until my next turn. Um. Yay. This guy... ...is gonna use a reaction, just out of sheer, like, anger. From being being damaged this much, uh, and, and a chunk. You're the unlucky re recipient because oh, they, right they, right they haven't hit. There. They you haven't right hit there. me yet. You looked into your melee last turn, so you are right there. You know. Uh, holy to... fuck! A dirty twenty. Is that gonna hit? Yes, it is gonna hit. <laughs> we did it, guys. We hit chunk. Holy fuck! <laughs> Welcome to the bully, the guest. To be fair, didn't chunk pull him into melee? So yeah, I almost did. That's true. Uh, you take a total of 19 points of slashing Ooh. damage. <laughs> Damn! As this arm scythe just whoosh, tears like ac across your body. Ouch. Damn, boy! <laughs> Is that your turn, Drusilla? I think so. I don't really have any bonus actions. And I feel like these are the warm up act for something more terrifying, so I'm saving yeah. the spell slots. Yeah. Okay. Like... Oh, really? <laughs> um, Waldo, you're up. Uh, I'm going to fucking just attack the one that's in front of me again. Just, Go for it. You know, revved up a little bit. And... Got one lad. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. Yes. Finally. Is. There it he is. He did it. Is Cog going to yell at Waldo the same way fucking Davian yells at... Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> yeah. Only deserved it. And it helped. So. Hey, here's, here's, the, here's the thing though. Waldo, Waldo has no emotions, so... That's fair. <laughs> you okay. If you bully Waldo, Whoa, that's fine. Because Davian yeah. treats Onu like he has no emotions. <laughs> that, that's that true. It's a seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Literal, literal rolled a one on my damage die. Kind Get of freaking heckered, dude. Uh, then on my At second attack, that's a seventeen. Hit. It also hits. Yeah. Oh, that's wrong bit. Why is my dice bag all messed up? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> what? Ah. 
if, if I pull out another dice that isn't the one I want, I'm going to fucking scream. Uh, oh, that's a lot better. Uh, that is 14 points of damage. <laughs> Alrighty. And then I am going to spend a side eye on my psionic energies. A side and, eye? And I'm going to do an extra 1d8 force damage. Okay. Sounds judgy. Yeah. Did you uh, make Robo Psyduck? That's another nine. No, it's my psionic <laughs> die. Uh, that is uh, nine extra nine points of force damage. Okay. And <laughs> fuck it, let's do everything. Oh. Let's fucking do it. Uh, and I, because of that, I'm going to also make it a telekinetic thrust. So make a strength saving throw. Just fucking Christ. Uh, oh strength saving throw. Hmm? Uh, fifteen. Ah, oh, I just fucking saved. Dang. <sighs> is this the one that's hexed? That's the one uh, in melee with Rexic and Chonk. Damn, shame. They couldn't knock it prone as well. Unfortunate. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> you is that it? Do you just want to pull out of your bag, or is that it? Actually, you're right. You know what? I'm going to use bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Go on. Uh, yeah. As a bonus action, I'm going to Sonic Recovery, so I get one of my Sonic Energies back. There you go. There you go. That's my turn. <laughs> you basically did all that free. Uh, with that... I did yeah, basically. This uh, <laughs> Void Spawn is immediately going to uh, retaliate and is going to try and. Um, uh, it's going to do multi attack again. One arm scythe towards Cog, one arm scythe towards uh, Waldo. Since you're both. Cog, I'm sorry. <laughs> Fringe. That's so funny. Oh, Waldo's like, out here doing the damage. And uh, it's a 17, just all it's a 17 to hit uh, Cog. And a natural one to hit Waldo. Oh. Can we swap those? No, I rolled yours first. Sorry. Uh, I will. Uh... Is it a side point to do this? Is the natural one to hit uh... Waldo because it's already deep in cog? No. <laughs> um, eleven points of slashing damage to cog. I will spend a side point and make it. You take nine less. Ooh. So two points Ooh. of damage. Okay. Whoa. Nice. All right. Big cog. Uh, back to the top of the initiative, uh, Gremnir. I just cogged no, my pants. No longer <laughs> paralyzed. Cog well, I'm angry. Mm -hmm. Cog, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to walk back into melee with the one that tried to paralyze me. Well, okay. the one that successfully paralyzed me. Yeah, so you're now flanking it because you're directly across from uh, Chunk. I'm going to use my bonus action okay. to let out a guttural lion roar. Ooh. Uh, and that one, and I think if I position myself, can I get that one and the other one that was in melee with them, both within 10 feet of me? Yeah. Okay, I will do that. They both need to make wisdom saving throws, please. Uh, brr, uh, seven for one, and an actual two for the other, so they both fail. Okay, so they both fail, so they both become frightened. Uh, Interesting. Okay. Oh, and then because I'm a conquest paladin... Uh, while they are frightened, uh, let me find the actual description of it. Uh, all frightened creatures within 10 feet of me have their speed reduced to zero. Take four psychic damage if starting their turn within 10 feet of me. And they're okay. frightened of me, so they have disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Yeah. So they can't move away from you because they have their speed They can't to move. Zero. They have disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. <laughs> they take right. four damage at the start of their turn. Alrighty, good to know. Uh, how long does this last for? Uh, until the end of my next turn. Until the end of your next turn, alright. What else do you got in store? Uh, well, that's my bonus action. So, as my action, I'm gonna fucking wail on this dickhead in front of me. Okay. Are you am, I, am I flanking? Yes. I'm gonna Great Weapon Master it. Ooh. So, I'll take the minus five to hit. Uh, that's, uh, natural 16, minus 5, 11, but plus 7, so 18. It's Okay. Uh, this one looking really hurt? Uh, it's looking pretty rough. I'll throw a smite in as well, why not? Okay. 6, 10. Add and things, I'll throw in a smite, why not? <laughs> You'd be like that. Add a little spice. <laughs> Uh, 19 points altogether. 19 points altogether. Did you oh, add no. the bonus plus, damage? Plus 10. The... So 29. As you... You're using a greatsword, right? Uh-huh. So you just take your greatsword and just overhead swing. 
<laughs> just cleave this entire creature in half. Ooh. It starts to like twist and writhe and <laughs> as it, it seems to shrink until nothing remains but a just a black purpley puddle. Yay! <laughs> oh. So that's one dealt with. Two to I'll go. I'll move up to the other one. Just the one that is also in melee with Chunk and uh, Rexic? Yeah. Okay. Can I flank with this one as well? Yeah. Cool. Oh, uh, I'm going to Great Weapon Master this one as well. Whee. Go for it. <coughs> uh, another natural 16, so 18 altogether. It's. Uh, for 11 points of slashing damage. Plus the plus 10? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, 21, sorry. Yeah, that'll also do it. So the second one, same thing happens. You just cut it, cut it in half, and again, it just simmers down to just to, until there's nothing left in a puddle, remaining only the one in melee with Waldo and Kong, like the center of the stage, like the center of the stage, sitting in front of this, like, curtain that is slowly, like, the fire is slowly spreading. Oh, but basically, yeah. oh, I shit. wasted my bonus action trying to scare them and could have had another attack because Great Weapon Master. Yeah, well, yep. hey. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yep. I mean, you killed two of them, okay. right? so there's that. Um, I'm going to move into melee with the third one and then point oh, time shit. Now. Okay. Wait, can I use my reaction? Shh, what, what is it? Uh, Blood Curse of the Fallen Puppet. What does that do? When, like, what, when, does, I wanna... when, does, it, when does it trigger? I want to make that last one that just died make a single we weapon attack against it, the, the other one, the one that's left. Okay, but what triggers that? Uh, like uh, what is the trigger for that reaction? It's just a reaction. It's just when a creature drops to zero hit points. So, okay, when a creature drops zero hit points, what does it do? Within 30 feet. Then I can use my reaction to give that creature a final act of aggression. That creature immediately makes a single weapon attack against a target of your choice within its attack range. So, is the other one within uh, its range? The other one is not within its attack range, though. Okay, never mind then. Okay. Um, right. You could make it stab me. <laughs> True. If you really wanted. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, is that your turn, uh, Beanie? Uh, yeah, that's everything I can do, I right. believe. Uh, yeah. Rexic, you're up. There's only one left engaged with Waldo and Karg at the moment. I'm gonna go attack it with my great sword. Go for it. I absolutely oh. almost said axe. Why did everyone have a great sword? Great sword gang. <laughs> great sword gang. 24 to hit. Hits. That is... Woo! Uh, 12 slashing damage. Okie dokie. For the first one. And the second one was a 23 to hit. That hits. With... Ooh, neat. Uh, another 12 slashing damage. Alrighty. Anything else? Nope. Chonk, you're up. I let someone else kill it. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll run up to the to the last one as well. Mhm. Mm At this uh, point, there's so many like people around it that you'll be able to you'll you'll be flanking it from wherever you position yourself, so you get advantage on okay. your attack rolls. I'm just gonna start clawing at it, dude. Okay. With advantage, roll your attack. Oh yeah. Eat its ass. Go on. Twenty-eight to hit. Yeah. Woo! Seven damage. Okay. Second attack. Fifteen to hit. Uh, that hits, yeah. Woo. Seven damage again. I keep rolling once. It's great. Nice. Love that. I'm, gonna, I'm just Every gonna bonus. Helps. I'm just gonna bonus action. Uh, claw it again. Okay. Hell yeah. Just going ham. Sixteen to hit. That hits. Yeah, Another guys... seven damage. Oh my god. <laughs> keep rolling once. Mr. Fucking consistent over here, Jesus. Yeah. He's uh, cursed. He's not. E it's not even his dice because it's fucking D and D Beyond. He's just. Uh, it's D and D yep. Beyond. Yeah. Where did you piss off? D and D Beyond dude, sucks. Are you send an angry does, tweet. Does. Does. Need, I'll use my actual dice. Yeah. So, D and D Beyond sucks. Get the actual dice out, bro. Fuck it. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Is that your turn? Always, always the real dice. Mm. That is my turn. Yes. Cog, you're up. You muted? I'm muted. I was. <laughs> I'm just. I'm surprised this thing's still standing. Okay. Uh, I mean, this one just had very like the other two were pretty focused. This one, 
the the first whole round of combat didn't take any damage because Baldo missed and you I uh, did you a had little to, bit of damage with the fire. But that's about it. You, you had to yeah. say that, huh? Yeah. To redo uh -huh. that. This guy had initially, initially a whole round like pretty much damage free. Fucking. Because Koiba sucks. So now we surround him and beat him like a mm -hmm. hobo on the street. Fucking. <laughs> Waldo's hand extends <laughs> and a little like. A little little uh, tube comes out and puffs poisonous gas into its face. I need to make a con saving throw. Oh, natural one. Yes. Hey. Two d12 poison damage. I was checking to see if it may, it may have been immune for poison, but it does not. So tough luck, Maya. Wait, this is a d20. What am I doing? Fifteen twenty of damage. Oh, 12 points of poison damage from poison spray. Nice. Yo. All righty. Anything else? Uh, nah. All right. Uh, Drusilla. Yeah. So this one's still left? Mm-hmm. Looking very... R Actually, wait. Forgot something. Uh, because oh. you damaged it. Um, it's going to take a reaction. It's going to take a reaction, Cog, to swing at you. What? Uh, that's an 11 to hit. That's probably not going to hit. Oh, thank it? God. Can I swing no. at it again? Sentinel? Yes, you've had your turn. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep clawing. I just haven't stopped this entire time. <laughs> yeah. roll, roll another one. Okay. You roll no, one for damage, bro. 20, 26. That hits? This time. And then 1d6. <laughs> no. no. It was. It was. It was. It, was, it, it came was. up in the and beyond. Seven. Oh, seven. No. Seven. Seven again? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop. All right. Fair enough. Uh, Drusilla, you're up. All right. <laughs> Part of me is like, it would be so in her personality to when it doesn't need that much, go hell extra and just do some bullshit crazy ass spell, but it seems like such a waste. Mm -hmm. Um. Up to you. Fuck it. We'll cast an actual, actual spell because Holy we haven't done that yet. You can do um, that? You can cast I'm as a wizard. I'm gonna <laughs> cast Ray of Sickness Ooh. at first level on it. Uh, it has to make a constitution save. Natural 20. Bro. Well, fuck you. Um, Does that mean, mean half damage or no damage at all? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Save? The constitution save was just to see if it stays poisoned. I rolled to hit, oh. but then that's just if it gets like, okay. Right. So my ranged spell attack, I rolled an 18. Hits. Okay, so it's, it it saves from being poisoned. Gotcha, and gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. What's the damage on this 2d8? Okay, like everything else. Are you for real? Double one? Is it a one and a one? Is it a seven? Yeah, it's a double one. <laughs> I use my spell slot. I've been doing like 13 damage with a cantrip, and then I'm like, I'll use a spell slot. Two. Two, damage. Two points you know of damage. what? That's karmic intervention. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunate, <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> You were trying to be extra, and God said no. Anything else uh, with your turn, Laura? God said no. I, I, don't, I don't have fucking nine bonus actions, because this is an action, isn't it? Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's one what action is, for me to fight things. All right. Oh, well. Yeah, I can't do shit. Waldo. Oh, you know oh, it's... Finish. Time to hit with gonna hit it. <laughs> Time to bonk Yo, with that's big 25 stick. to hit. Hits. He never oh. saw it coming. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, for nine points of damage. Nine points of damage? How do you want to finish him oh, off? Hey! hey! We did it. Again, you did it. Again, you hear this, like, clanking up as he, like, puts up steam coming from, like, his arm and just, like, sudden, like, just falls out of nowhere. Like, you know, like, like a spring and just suddenly lets go. It's like, yeah, like fucking hammers it down. <laughs> <laughs> it just, like, slices it just in half. Oh, yeah. And obviously, so you get a victory train whistle. All right. You actually, that... actually, what you do is you get a horn that Waldo has and you just hear a. <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> no, it's, it's like a fog horn, like a ship horn. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> nice. All right. And with that, the final void spawn defeated. Thank God. Stage once again empty. Curtain yeah. slowly spreading the fire. Me <laughs> <laughs> should put that out, or this place might burn down around us while we're investigating. Well, they'll just pull the curtain down either. so it doesn't spread anymore. And I'm going to take a minute using a blowtorch and flux and a little magic to mend all of the holes that got punched in my fucking dome. 
thought you were making will... the blowtorch just yeah, stop yeah. the fire. I was like, I wait, will... what? No, I'm staying. I'm staying in the dome, dude. I'm just I like will, I will out all these down, holes. I'll take down the curtain, like trying to like put out the fire, just like. Yeah, you can. And as you take down the curtains, uh, obviously you reveal the backstage area. Um, My home. Which. Oh, done. <laughs> I'm about to reveal my backstage area live yeah. on screen. <laughs> <laughs> Which, um, the backstage area, you can see that both on the left and the right hand side of the stage, there's staircases that go down into like these like <laughs> corridors, several rooms kind of spread around. Um, but before we continue, I suggest that this is where we take our break. Hey! These uh, things coming out, in, maybe? Uh, a few minutes. Shall we, as a. Costume change, boys. So, <laughs> he didn't even make it to the actual break. <laughs> nope. It counts. It, it counts, counts. man. We're, breaking. We're doing the it break counts. now. So, uh, yes, we'll be right back. Stick around, guys. Hit the follow button if you're new and all that good stuff. And uh, we'll continue this one shot after the break. BRB.
pulled through Boca and Hello. Like, oh. Hello. <laughs> I did it for Howdy, y'all. Hello. Hey. All right. Welcome back. Yeah. Did, did, did Laura just like, did, 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 where, where did that blood come from, huh? She had, a, she had a brat. Okay. Uh, no, I had a snack. snack. I had enough time to clean. What the fuck clean? happened to Koiba? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because this shit. Look, Easter's coming up. There's budget cuts. Lucifer yeah. has Wait. to film lots of jokes. <laughs> right. It really does. Funny. Oh my god. What? Are you always in a skirt? Oh my god. <laughs> my sexy little Easter bunny. Oh, I'm so oh, yeah. <laughs> My sexy oh, little my Easter god. bunny. <laughs> I'm oh, a little Easter fucking, bunny. You can't fucking make this shit up, dude. <laughs> oh, God. All right. <laughs> you know what oh, they say? They, they breathe like rabbits. They do. Oh, wait. No, Easter's in, Easter's in the next uh, poll, is it? Hang on. No, it's Christmas. No, it's, it's not. Christmas, I would say. It's, it's famous. Santa hat, you loser. It's famously oh, Christmas. Too. Too. Oh, my God. I hate you. Right. No, so school much. girl. I hate you so much. All right. School girl, Prancer. So, Oh. <laughs> with the uh, curtain being t torn down and the fire put out <laughs> and the backstage area having been revealed to you what do you guys do? I would well, really do you like go... to take a rest we barely did anything yes but I think it's a bit early for us to be resting already oh, I hate you all I have to agree how long that I, I literally didn't even Eight get hours. touched. <laughs> I did, and I still say it's too early to take a rest. See, Me too. see, I like you, and it hurt a lot. Okay, it looked uh, like it hurt. I'm yeah, I'm gonna wasn't heal good. myself. I don't recommend it. Four with my lay on hands. Does anyone uh, else need healing? Nah, I'm good. Yeah, I could do with a little pick me up, and I'll. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you're offering it, I'll take it. Pop open a hatch. Oh, on how about you? Of, uh, how about you looking? Me? I'm not bloodied. You're not bloodied? No. I'm a little bloodied. I, I'll stick my hand in the hatch and just hold his head <laughs> and uh, lay on hands yeah. for 10. Ew. For 10? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I, okay, I'm stupid. If you'd like, before we go on, since we don't have time to rest, I can make a bodyguard for you. Looking at Grimnir. <laughs> Knowing you, I'm not sure that idea is... How long Elaborate. <laughs> well, I mean, and I just point to the the body in the like front row. Well, I mean, he's not doing anything right now. She's got a point. <clears throat> Waste not, want not. Exactly. He's not being helpful. He could be helpful. Let him be helpful. If you want to, sure. Yay. I just like yay, and I go over and I get within ten feet of whatever the body that was closest. What does he look like? Dutch? He? She? They? What? What does um, the body look like? Dead. The body itself seems uh, a few days old, uh, starting to, you know, smell a little bit and uh, little dressed bit. in what look like pretty fancy, like like noble robes, um, fancy like reds and golds, kind of like around, wearing a pretty fancy necklace, um, kind of curly. Black hair. Um, is it human? Uh, yeah. Okay. Curly black hair, just like 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 pale there we go. skin. I'll walk over to it and cast animate dead and turn him into a zombie that I get to control for twenty four hours. There you go. So this this hey. person in the chair, the just f the the face of fear and horror still locked in its face that doesn't nice. change, but it now just kind of like. I get it. Gets up from the chair and just kind of. I'm just gonna and I'm just gonna like just do this with my finger, and bring him over to Gremnir, who is muted, and then just be like, "Here you go, some extra protection. I'll even let you name him." As it walks over to Gremnir. That's very still curious. muted, Gremnir. Yeah, I think he's talking to Hello, someone. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, sorry, I was just I brought over a zombie for you, and I'm like, "Here's your new friend. You can even name him." He can help protect you. Oh, I think he's, so he's pretty fancy annoying. looking. I like the look of abject horror. Right, it gives him a little something, you know? 
Do you not want to name him? I mean, he's going to be looking out for you. It's the least you can do. At least you can do. Someone else. Let's let's call him Raffy. Sure. Reanimated friend indeed. I love it. I like it. I hate it. Now, which way are we going? That way or that way? Points yeah, basically, the right, there's a the choice right, the between the either left. going left off the stage in the backstage area or right. Yeah, Do we so split up? The group. If we ask Rafi, will his head explode? No. Um, He can't really talk. I've tried. They're not really for conversation. <laughs> That's right off. I just look at him and go, yeah, I know. It sucks. I know. <laughs> oh, baby. I slouch in my pilot seat, get comfortable. Yeah, Waldo, well, no, you can drive. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So left or right? Um. Wait. Um, I will Wait. divine sense. Huh? As we go left. Feet. As other, we go than, right. other than Raffi, is there any undead celestial <laughs> within sixty feet? Um, no. Nope. Me. Within 60 feet and line of sight, uh, though. Well, yes, I guess technically, yeah, technically Drusilla will me. show up on your, on your undead radar. Yeah. I would assume at this point I probably already Yeah, you, you're, you're aware. Like, this is this is not the first even time. Even a friendly vampire. I, I don't know if Drusilla has told the rest of the group, but Grimnir would know at this point. Like, yeah, divine yeah, sensing yeah, yeah. around you all the time. Yeah. Heads we go left, tails we go right. I mean, sure. Tower. Works for me. Yep. We're going right. I stride on right. Okay. How dark is it, by the way? Uh, and well, people said D &D several D &D doors line the dimly lit hall that wraps around behind the stage. Uh, there's okay. some dim lighting. Uh, within the backstage area, um, as you kind of go off stage, there is a door to your right. Uh, at kind of the end of the corridor. If you wrap around left, there's three rooms that are seemingly do like attached to the stage uh, with entrances and there's another door all the way across the hall on the other side uh, of this area oh we're gonna need a Vincent. lot more coins <clears throat> Vincent you're not wearing armor right <clears throat> no so what what is, does your AC come from is it just dex from being dex a monk. and wisdom I think monk dex yeah the wisdom. monks have unarmored defense dex and wisdom put together yeah okay Plus your... yeah so my AC is 18 Okay, no I'm just because mage armor, like if you don't have armor, mage armor will give you 13 plus dex, but it's probably just going to oh. be all the same, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, it'd be the same. I... Yeah. Right, Are there any sounds? Cool. Is there any noise coming from any like of the doors or is uh, there any as noise you walk at all? like along this corridor, make a perception check. Nineteen. You hear a, a soft hum coming from behind the door to your right. I'll just, uh, go like, shh. Behind this, there's, there's some noises I hear. Don't know what it's like a humming. I love the noise. Like, like a, a, a person humming, or? Is it like a person humming, or like more um, machinery? Yeah, you recognize a tune, actually. This seems to be um, a person oh. humming, like this, like, children's lullaby. Oh man. This is very fitting given your like dress as RTM. Like you probably know the lullaby. So that's what you hear from coming from beyond the door. Is there light coming from underneath it? Um, no. Hmm. Well, let me just, oh, I hate it. should we go say hello? You stole all your steaks, right? I, I turned to Grimnir. <laughs> How many do I have? Do I have just the one? I have a steak. I don't think it's no, like I have, a vampire I have or anything. I just don't like kids. Alright, well, I guess I'll I will try pass and slow... a steak to everyone in the group apart from Drusilia. <laughs> <laughs> Good, I wouldn't take it. I'd be like, oh. I load mine into my 
uh, pneumatic powered stake launcher mounted, in, <laughs> sure. mounted into Waldo's Perfect. left shoulder. Waldo sure. used to be a chef. Your... <laughs> I hate you, Ethan. <laughs> Miscellaneous ballistics. Oh, it, ballistics we went balance. so long. We met, Oh, we went so long without making a steak pun. Yeah, we did it. We, like, we made it to the break without one, so like, that's yeah. commendable, oh. I guess. That's That seems like a win. <laughs> Look, I made him snore his drink a little. Ethan in the party? Matters. Absolutely. Um, so, do you like? Do you go into this room, or do you just skip okay, it? Yeah, I'll, I'll yeah, open fuck it. Let's, yeah, go. let's just go in. Okay. Ooh. Um, as you enter this room, you see a room full of uh, furniture, uh, painted scenery, construction materials, uh, fill the floor and <gasps> shelves of this room. Uh, you seem to be in in what seems to be like the prop storage. Um, you hear this soft, shit. disembodied voice humming to like kind of this this children's tune. Coming from like the back left of the room that you heard before. Um, <clears throat> what do you do? I'm gonna go near it and see if I can find out where the voice is coming from. Make a perception Does check. Does the voice sound like a man, woman, child? Uh, uh, a pretty thing. brutish woman, if you had to like hazard a guess. Okay. A brutish woman. Zara. Oh, hell yeah. 18. On yeah. 18 on a perception check? Yeah. Um, you pinpoint the source of the sound. Uh, a um, half-orc woman wearing a grey cloak and a brooch that uh, resembles, shows that she's a city investigator. Two silver-capped fangs um, sitting in the corner, rocking back and forth, just humming to herself with her hands over her ears and her eyes closed. You also, as you kind of walk over, spot on one of the shelves um, a vial or a bottle of uh, labeled Sovereign Glue. Which, um, are you proficient in Arcana? Yes, I am. Okay, you recognize this. Uh, it's it's a, a viscous, milky white substance that can Ew. perform a permanent adhesive bond oh. between any two objects. Um, it is You know that it is stored in a jar or flask that has been coated inside with oil slipperiness oh, no. to make sure that it doesn't actually fuck with the, the bottle itself. Yeah. Um, Has this bottle been touched in yeah, any you know way? That, uh, one ounce of the of the glue can cover a one foot square surface. Uh, takes one minute to set, and then once it has done so, the bond it creates can can be broken only by the application of universal solvents, oil of eth etherealness, or with a wish spell. What? Wow. They've like used it. They used it. Permanent glue. Yeah, they yeah, used it in Critical Role campaign two to great effect. Does it look used? Uh, At all. Yeah, um, definitely an open an open bottle. Like, like it has been opened before. Do you reckon there's about two ounces of the liquid still in it? Uh, also, I'm assuming the little weird what, what, the little weird monsters didn't count towards my sanity thing. Sorry, sanity thing. So I don't I don't the think thing that... we deafened for. Do yeah, yeah. That doesn't that? that doesn't count towards the void. No, things. so that counts now. I'm gonna attack her. Okay. Oh, of course. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to stop her from attacking <laughs> her. Okay. Um, how do you try? Like, you see her? Like, I mean, you're you're. Rex, guess... am I safe to assume that because of what you think you see, you're not hiding the fact that you're attacking at all? You're just. Argh! Yeah, it's literally. Okay, Grevnir, I'll give you a chance to like try and grapple her or something. Make a make an athletic check. Do I grapple check. or do I cast whole person? Oh, whatever. Well, if you want to do that, you can do that too. That's fine. I mean, do I know? Do I know Rex as well? Is she? Quite you've, wise? At this point, you've been traveling together for a while. Like you know her pretty pretty well. Yeah. She is pretty strong. I will but use whole she... person. Okay. So a wisdom saving throw, please. I am not very wise. <laughs> fuck for that. Three. Nice. <laughs> there you go. So before you can can make the swing at this this what for the rest of you looks like a half orc uh, woman. Yeah. Well, for Rexic also looks like a half orc woman just with extra steps. Um, <laughs> Rexic, your entire body just goes, <gasps> and you cannot move and you cannot speak. Nothing, because that is paralysis, right? Correct. Uh, yes. Yeah. So you, you can cannot speak. You cannot speak. You can speak falteringly. So very very, it's very hard for you to speak. Um. What do the rest of you do? Um, are are you two okay over there? I am going to pick up Rexix and carry her <laughs> out of the room. Okay. 
Wait, what's going on? I'm going to um, go up to the. I don't know. I think they're fighting. Woman. I think Rexic was about a might of that orc woman, but I mean. And again, this, this so much for, so much for the investigation. Hands covering her ears, eyes closed. Just... Can I see if her hands have glue on them? Make a perception check. Oh my god! Oh, no. Why? Is it, I was like this. Me and Koiba got it straight away. Yeah. Like, perception. Uh, like Fourteen. Forward. As far as you can tell, no. There's no glue attached to this orc woman oh, or half orc woman in any way, shape, or form. Walk up to her and kind of tap her arm. Um, okay. Hello. She, Lady! Um, <laughs> okay, she kind of like, as you uh, tap her arm, kind of snaps out of for a little bit. Um, hello? Are you okay, Still then? rocking back and forth, but like stop the humming and uncover their ears, but still kind of like, the, that rocking back and forth keeps going. Are you okay? I don't know. I think Belle just got run over by a train. <laughs> yeah. I can't get out. I'm stuck. There's no exit. How did you get in here? There's an exit door just there. And I'll like I'll point to like that stage and oh And she'll look you have to be a and she'll good look climber, at you though. and say mm -hmm. Are you are you crazy? That's that's a wall. I'll walk through the wall. <laughs> as it were. She'll like How did you Hello? Don't leave me! Hello? I, and I no, walk no, no, back. No, 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 it's okay. Hello. Just come, trust me. Make a persuasion check. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me, a stranger. While this uh, is going on. Persuasion? Persuasion. Me, 11. 11? I am not a very persuasive robot. No, <laughs> this is a trick. Are you, you're not real. This is a trick. Are you I... an investigator? <sighs> Yes. Well, what did you? What, what were you investigating? Strange things happening. This theater. It was. It was me, Percival, and Rose. We got sent. I haven't seen them in two days. Percival, I've been, I've been Rose. I've been stuck here. I can't escape. There's no exit. Percival and Rose. Yeah, two, two different people. Guy. She didn't recognize her own dead bodyguard by any chance, did she? No. I mean, there's there's definitely an exit. If you want, we can take you there. Make a persuasion check. Tempted to charm her, but it's a waste of a spell. Oh, no. That is a, a two plus zero. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Okay, no. well, then we're just gonna leave you down here. Don't leave me. We have to keep going. Well, if, if you won't believe there's an exit. We can find that's... one. Not yeah, that we one, have We one. just came in through the door. There's an exit. You just gotta... If you just don't want to leave, then don't follow us. It's as, it's as simple as that, lady. While this is going on... Yes. I want to have words with Rexy. <laughs> okay. I've, I've got about a minute before you're unparalyzed okay so what the fuck was that, that? <laughs> <laughs> so flat so Rex, you can reply but it'll, it'll be very like faltering Stuttery. okay skin suit are you okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah skin suit to hear you out on this but <clears throat> on the off chance you're wrong maybe explain before you swing right now i'm choosing not to put manacles on you so don't <laughs> fuck this up wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and i will drop the spell okay Rexy, what do you do that is not an orc something is wearing her skin as a suit that's Terrifying. Mm hmm. That, hence me trying to kill it. Okay. How do you know this? I just do. <laughs> you just do? Mm hmm. So if I go in there and I divine sense, I'm going to tell that that is not a person. 
Yes. And if you're wrong, I don't know what to do with you. <laughs> oh, what do you mean, what to do with me? I trust you to stay here. Oh, fine. <laughs> I will slowly go back into the room while watching Rexix to make sure that they don't follow me. Okay. <clears throat> I will usher everyone away from the half fork. <laughs> okay. Well, I will I'll divine follow. sense. Mm. Nothing. Seems pretty normal to you. Rack six might have had a break. What do you mean break? They're trying to convince me that this half orc is something in a skin suit, but I do not sense anything outside. I mean, of technically, just a we're all in skin suits. That doesn't make any sense. That's not me. Not I'm in a robot so... suit. <laughs> That's not helpful. <laughs> no, you're a skin suit inside the robot. Uh, I do okay, this is levels of inception I'm not comfortable with. Okay. I could be wrong. I Just do not have concepts. For a secondary affirmation, Drusilla, mm -hmm. this is very in your wheelhouse. That half orc is alive, yes? Oh, absolutely. Like, I could, if I go in there, can I, could I hear her heartbeat and, like, yeah. her, like sense blood when I was in there? Yep. Absolutely. Oh, definitely alive. Definitely alive. And probably clear. very tasty. But clearly nothing wrong. <clears throat> well, I Not mean... that I can tell. Other than the obvious mental break. Yeah. Okay. And, well, apparently something's wrong with her eyes because she can't see the door. Ah! Uh, was about to kill this person. I can fix that, but well, I don't that think seems a bit worth... extreme. I, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. Bring this lady out. I want to hear his idea. What's your idea? I can maybe dispel a, a magical effect on the half orc, but it's uh, is it pretty costly. Worth saving that for Rexic if this happens again. It depends. I mean, is Rexic going crazy, or does she have a magical curse on? I mean, that's really the difference. Well, if the half orc is also just crazy, then it's also a waste of your spell. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It. All right, fuck all yous. It was a good <laughs> idea, though. I will go over to the half orc. I lady. can maybe lesser restore, but I don't think that'll work. Da, da, da. Oh, I'll hold out my hand to her, my paw. Make a persuasion check. I'll just say to her, I can. I can lead you out of this room, but you need to close your eyes. At persuasion? Mm -hmm. Uh, so 16. She'll grab your hand and closes her eyes. Okay. Trust you. Grab my hand. I will lead her up to where the door is, and I will very slowly and gingerly lead her through the door in case there's some sort of magical field or something. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guide her through the door just fine. Hey. Okay. You can Wait. Open your eyes now. She well, how does Rex her... react when we get she, out? She opens her eyes, looks back at the door. So there was a door. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I see it now, but I... There is dark magic here. I'm losing it. No, you're okay. It is the building. Oh, no. you. she's definitely losing it. <laughs> but helpful. before you lose much more, what else have you seen? I came into the theater with my two fellow investigators, Percival Winters, Rose Elkhorn. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen them in about two days. The theater troupe, led by the playwright, Bertrand Gilead, fled backstage when, when we arrived. The Watch suspects there's a labyrinth of halls beneath the building, but I don't know where the entrance to that would lie. I was looking through the playwright's office when a burbling puddle of eyes and teeth slithered out and attacked me, and I took refuge in the storage room, but could not see an exit and have been stuck there ever since. Have you, have you eaten in these two days? No. I will pass her a ration. 
And this playwright, did he touch anything of note? When he was running away, something he dropped. I don't know. I'm not sure. And she kind of like starts eating, eating the ration. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, she's like, now that you have a proper look at her like in, in a more lit up uh, area, she's definitely wearing like official City Watch like investigator gear and... Um, Probably part Skin of that suit. investigation unit that they sent in that you've been told has not returned okay. since. I, uh, I I don't know about you guys, especially with uh, you know, given what's going on with uh, with, with Rexic and everything, we should probably get this wrapped up pretty quick before we end up like uh, you know. I would yeah. be afraid to bring her with us in case this develops further. I um, is there a place in here that? You think it's safe for me to lay low until... Until I think you should leave the building and probably go take a nap. I think we should all stay together and escort her out of the building. Yeah, I mean, the front door is not too far. I would be hesitant to send her on her own and I do not wish to split up right now. Especially with some of us seeming unnerved. I will look at Rexic. How dare you? <laughs> I'm so offended. Because <clears throat> you know I'm right. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, so we're looking for a labyrinth under this place? Yeah, I, that's, I that's, that's the suspicion the watch has, but I don't know where the entrance may lie, but... Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Logic. All, All right, well, let's get you, uh, let's get you out of here. Yes, I I need to report back uh, to to the city watch. That I've I've it must have been days. That, yeah. And she'll like kind of start scratching her head and kind of like react instinctively starts like the rocking back and forth again. But this time while she's standing, I just put a hand on her shoulder and stop her. Well, uh, if we find you know Percival and Rose, we'll, we'll we'll have you you know reunited in no time. Yes, please. Um, all right. Um, I think I'm about ready to leave this place. Oh, are we all escorting her to the main door? Sure. Sure. Yeah, yeah I mean you can do, do so with, with 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 ease, but when you get to Nothing the door, uh, with, oh. when you get to the door, you do remember that it was boarded shut from the outside. I will ah. kick it. Make a strength check. Can I help? Absolutely. Advantage. Wait, advantage? How many fucking other changes are we gonna get, huh? <laughs> 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 uh, strength check. Uh, 26. 26, See, you... yeah, you just, you kick the door and the door, including 12, the boards that were used to, to, to like hold it shut, just fly fly open. You hear, oh, watch out! As as <laughs> your, your friend, uh, fuck, what was his name? Uh, Robold or something? Yeah, something like that. Robold? Because the first name is Robot first. Uh, right. yeah. Robot, yeah. As, as Robot's kind of dodges out of the way of the, the, the door flying towards him. Bow, bow, Hello, friends! Bow, bow. You found your way in, I see. Oh, who's this? I lean over to the half orc. I would stay away from him. He killed a man. Go directly to the guardhouse. Do not stop. Do not talk to anyone else. Okay. Thank you so much. You what, are you, what, are you, what are your names? I'll let them know <laughs> that um, you're here investigating and to perhaps have a, a, a set of guards ready just in case. Have them have everyone wait outside. Okay. Do you have any weapons on you? Uh, yeah, she's, she has like a, a, a couple of daggers kind of like uh, on her belt. I will hold out my hand. <clears throat> to what? To like one of her daggers or... Like, I will hold out my hand. I asked if she's got any weapons on her, and I would just hold out my hand in front of me. What do you... What are you we insinuating? had a very traumatic experience. We have seen people come out of this building and do very bad things. I for your like own safety skin, and the safety of everyone else, you need to hand over your daggers. Make a persuasion check. Fucking uh, persuasion. Mm-hmm. Uh, Twenty-two. She like unsheath her daggers and puts them in your in your hand. Okay. What are your names? I'll make sure to let the city guard know that's technically a trespassing, but 
I'm sure we'll I'm sure that's that. that's whatever it is. You've already done more than we could have we would have been able to. You've saved me, so I'm just let me let me know your names and I'll make sure to report that to the guards and let them know what I've seen and um to have guards ready to Has anyone in the group at any place. point given a false name while we're together? Is anyone making any attempts to hide their mm -hmm. identity? No. Then I will give everyone's names. Okay. <laughs> It get you get to mine. I'm just like I am the weaponized arcane legionary generation type, generation D type O. Waldo, <laughs> <laughs> right? So enjoy Koiba's Not. strategy of rather than having one semi cohesive <laughs> costume, just wear as many as you can. Yeah, that guy is having a costume. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. You guys have discovered my bit. <laughs> <laughs> I must impress on you. Yes. Do not <laughs> let the guards come in. Okay. Make sure someone watches outside. you too. Mm -hmm. I'll probably if possible, have a physician look at you. I'll probably and a guard. Um, maybe two. Lock myself into a cell at the keep for the time being. Sure. In that case was... I get worse. You would be safest there. Thank you. Don't... Oh, uh, this one guy tried to scratch his own eyes out. So maybe like I don't, you know, cuff your hands or something. Um, so like look at their own hands. Oh, now you've not now, but when you get there, you know, put your hands in your pockets and you'll be fine. And uh, she'll take your names and she'll uh, she'll be off to the keep. All right, well, so where did you save that, that, that poor that poor woman? Uh, just, what's, what's going on in there? Any any juicy details? Any gossip? Death. No. Everything oh, fine. I love death. Isn't that right, Garvin? We, we, we love death, we do. Mm. It's Everything... an empty theater. There's not much going on. Oh, some squad Everything's dull. fine. Just the death of culture. Just some guards got lost. I don't know. Well, they murdered Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. They might have themselves. Well, me, and, me and Garvin have uh, lots to discuss still, so if you don't mind leaving us be for now, um, good goodbye. Hey. Take, take care. Oh. All right, we gotta find the labyrinth underneath this place. Um, I would start looking right under the stage because I know lots of times there's lots of I trap agree. doors and hidden rooms under the stage just for theater effects. But so thematically, it would just make sense to have even more hidden, like like layers. Like just, it's very meta, you know. It's meta. Okay. Sure. <clears throat> like so to the stage. Way back to the stage. I'm not really a theater indulger. I've only been in fights. Because when we were downstairs, you said there was like three rooms that looked like they were kind of under the stage. Like attached to the backside of the stage, yeah. Oh, backside. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, maybe start in there. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I also have this, um, these glasses here where if I use it on an object that a creature touched, I can locate the creature. <gasps> it's, That's uh, fascinating. Oh. Is there a limit to that? Yes. Didn't we find a document oh, in, once, the, in, uh, in the in the? But is we, there a limit to how oh, yeah, these yeah, I have they the document. It? We found. Um, we don't know Cog, if the playwright touched that document. Me and Cog, a program that they handed out. Was, me and Cog found out that it was in the playwright's room. Uh, oh, the that special box was for the playwright. The playwright. It gets harder the longer. It has been since it's been touched, but it's, it's not the last possible. thing that touched it, right? Though, because then you know. Mm. Uh, yeah, if it's last thing it touched it. <laughs> just, well, no, it, 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 it'll be Rexig, right? Rexig has the document, and uh, I have it. Yeah. Yeah. What's the exact description of the item, uh, Vincent? Uh, as an action, you can use the goggles to examine an object to identify the aura of the last creature that touched uh, it. Yeah. Shit. There it is. And the glue. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> And basically, the, it gets harder. Like the the DC is like thirteen plus the number of days since the last contact occurred. Okay. Yeah. So that wouldn't work for the documents because you see but Rexic I, like I, holding I, I, it. I, I but now we know yeah. not anything to touch else things we right don't away. Touch. In, yeah. in anything else that seems significant, don't touch it. Do we get exactly. told like the um Vesco went like to the play like, through Dutch? Just a uh, character. Did we get told that that investigator went into the the playwright's room? She right, said she was investigating the playwright's room, or like, yeah, playwright's the office, office. Sorry, office even, that's what I meant, yeah. uh, and then something jumped at her, and she had to flee. Okay. She didn't tell you where the playwright's room was, though. Oh, didn't we went to where it was? Cool. She just said I was investigating the playwright's office, and then this thing that's... jumped at me, and then I got and, uh, attacked. 
Yeah. It was the first room we Jesus jumped in. Crazy. No, that was his like you were that was his booth. That was just the booth. Not his uh, office. Okay, office. Okay, 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 yeah. okay. I attacked her. Yes, you right. did. <laughs> Before we found the storeroom, we had to pick left or right. So maybe we just go the other way now and hope Yeah, we went right the first time, so yeah. let's go left. Why not? Wherever Rex it goes, I'm going at all okay. times. <laughs> um, so you're going left, so you're now on the other side of this like hallway, and as you get to like the, the, the end of the hallway. To your left, there's a door into a room kind of like opposite of the the, the prop uh, storage room that you were just in that you can see like across the hall. Uh, mm -hmm. And then there's also these three rooms like attached to the back of the stage still that you also have not explored. A any of the rooms marked? Like signs, plaques, anything? Um, Give me a smidge. I'm also going to be sticking to the shadows, just try and He's be a, a sneaky boy. boy. A sneaky okay. cat boy. With bright white mm -hmm. fur in the shadows. Gray fur, you know. Fair. <laughs> uh, Midland. No, none of the doors are marked, really. I love like that we this have one this... to your left specifically is the one that you're like by is not marked. No. And we have the sneaky cat boy, and then there's just this fucking lion walking around. <laughs> yeah, there's the plate. two, the two fucking <laughs> Holy opposites. Well, so first door, I guess we start here. Waldo, <laughs> if you do the honors. <laughs> Waldo, huh? open the door. You have oh, open, open the damn Hawaiian door and put your whole Hawaiian flower <laughs> necklace down. Open the door. Uh, you open the door. It's not locked, and you see into the room. Uh, this is a uh, a room filled with uh, racks and and uh, mannequins that are dressed with flowing dresses, monstrous oh. masks, a vast array of hats, coats, and garb. Uh, this seems to be the costume storage. Is there a costume that looks super like fancy Victorian goth lady? Like corset sure. and gown or anything? Absolutely. I immediately go put it on. And is there a costume that would fit Waldo? Are we all just probably the, not. Like, Waldo is quite big. I am 17. Are you just doing this out in the open? Just like. Yep. Okay. Not too many Goliaths. I got undergarments on underneath. It's fine. Yeah. That might be a. That might. Uh, as you kind of rummage through I the room, away. you know, you're, you're picking out your outfits. Uh, just stare. doesn't seem to be much else in this room besides just costumes. I, mm. As I like twirl around in my new like Victorian style, I'm like, well, this was absolutely worth it. <laughs> I, I have to find the blood of whoever was wearing it last. <laughs> Can I find, is there a, a, like a feather in it? Sure. If I could put that absolutely. on the... the, the... <laughs> Put it on top of the dome that has. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> is there a costume for Raffi? Oh <gasps> yeah, because he's a no. He has nice clothes on though. He was a fancy guy. I think. Yeah, yeah he could be a pirate. He's dressing like nobles. Like noble but he could be clothing. a pirate. I want to find a hat that looks like this and put it on. Him. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> There's something really there. weird about undressing the undead. So. Uh, I don't know That's why I'm just that. putting a hat on him. I'm not undressing him. Yeah. I mean, they undress the dead when they put them in caskets. So it's not. It's always. Yeah, but that's like that. someone's job to undress the dead, you know. Yeah. That's so weird. And that job. makes a difference. Yeah, they do it all the time. I'm sure they know how to be respectful and like, you know, when you die, you're like, that's you expect. Oh, I'm gonna be manhandled by some dude who gets paid to manhandle the dead, not oh some gang of uh, mercenaries gonna show up to the theater and start tearing your clothes off after you die. Well, well I mean, I guess we do get paid to manhandle the dead. We just manhandle them before they are dead. So we manhandle the living, and that's fine. And then Real they turn into dead. though, once you've died and your soul is you to whichever plane you're going to, your body's irrelevant. It's a skin suit. Anyways, oh, it's fine. I'm not undressing Raffi. I'm just giving him a hat. Can we? Oh, let's move on. I, I, we don't need to be in the costume department. Can Raffi use daggers. Uh, the, the stat block for him, his only attack is a slam, like, melee attack, just like, bruh. But if we give him a weapon, I don't know, that's a DM question, could he no. use it? Like, yeah, yeah, no. Could I, could I, sovereign, does, ah. could I sovereign glue daggers in his hands? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you can manage we can it make him Edward Scissorhands. holds the dagger for a minute so that the glue sets, then yeah, sure. Can we make him Edward Scissorhands? <laughs> it's a it's funny joke, but I, I think it's a lot of effort it's for like, knowledge payoff. <laughs> And a then waste of is. good glue. Exactly. <laughs> it's you, a one shot. When are we gonna use it again? The glue in that yeah. Room? No, uh, Re Rexic has it. Did you take the glue, yeah. Rexic? I did not. It's oh, no, because no, no. no. Rexic was going to, and then was busy trying to kill an innocent oh. woman. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So that glue is still in the in the room. Oh no, Edward Scissorhands. An innocent skin suit. <laughs> Zombie, Raffi scissors. 
Um, <laughs> so, Captain Raffy says, "Do you move on hey. uh, down the hall? Next room. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, up, open up the door. It's real. Open up the door. This room is also filled with costumes, but also a lot of mirrors and a row of vanities. Uh, and you notice that the floor is covered in a trail of pinkish, pinkish sludge that smells foul. Soylent green. This seems to be, or once upon a time, was a dressing room." Does it look like what the monsters turned into? Like Make puddle? a nature check. Ooh, okay. Nature. I have advantage. Mm. Does it taste of bubblegum? Ew. Who uh, 19. 19? Yeah. Uh, can definitely tell that this trail, or this, this, like, this like a residue, was left by like a, a, an unnatural creature. Mm. Do we reckon that this is the thing that the investigator saw probably or at least it's it's snail trail seems like it fits does it lead anywhere yeah where does this seem to be going uh it's just kind of kind of circling this room hmm. uh, it seems to be pacing the is there anything in the room it could be like hiding behind do we hear it is it on the ceiling i look at the ceiling <laughs> make a perception, <laughs> make a perception check you open uh, a little like oh, not... do you oh, have like a little up. commander's hatch where you can like Peek out at the ceiling. Yeah. Wait, how bright is it in here? Uh, dimly lit. Okay, uh, 11. As far as you can see, there's nothing in the room no, that really would interest you, whether, whether it's creatures or anything else, really, for that matter. Is there slime on the walls? No. I don't okay. think we need to investigate in here yet. Yet? Yes. We never we know what we come back might if find. we don't find our way down, but... That's true. Let's keep I going. Think, I think... Yeah. This horrifying thing should be our last option. <laughs> if there's any monsters in here, it'd be a real shame if they came out right about mm -hmm. now. Nothing. I shut the door. <laughs> okay. I'm still in here. <laughs> <laughs> I lock the door and leave him there forever. No. Walter the walk through the locked door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You hear you hear that obviously, fuck all again. I don't <sighs> Do you just go next? Or just go next? Yeah, we, we shut that door with everyone on the outside and Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no one and we left go next. behind. Um the next door leads into a room no that houses a desk behind. scattered with parchment, ink ink pots and books at the back of the room. Ooh. Around the room are a bunch like of shelves with okay. books, as well as a bunch of books kind of stacked around the floor. Um what do you do? You like to... It seems like the Looking, yeah. like an office. Nobody will... touch anything. Oh, good point. I will. I will look. Can I? I have to sort of look around the room. Can I just see any more slime trails? Mm, no, food? you cannot. And I'll just. Then I'll just look around the room. See if, see if there's anything that. Pink my your glasses. Um. <laughs> Why well, you never wear well, the glasses I, mean, I bought uh, you, son? The one thing that really like immediately piques your interest is the desk, obviously. Uh, make a, make a, actually no, no check required. Um, a, you can find on this desk, uh, and obviously Cog sees this as well because you know mm -hmm. Cog's there always. Um, a bunch oh, of uh, oh, personal oh, notes belonging to Bertrand Gilliard, uh, outlining. His desperation to find a new idea for a play and describes how he found tunnels beneath a theater and a tome within them. His descent oh. uh, into madness becomes more and more clear as you read through the notes, ending it with, I completed my magnum opus, The Horror Within, and oh, it will free the minds of all who see it. Uh, the tome described by Bertrand in these notes is also on the desk. <gasps> oh, oh he's all the right. last person to touch that! Chunk, we need those glasses on the book right now. Oh, now! Yeah. So you see, I just take these glasses, like these lenses that are carved from Sabiris dragon shards. Ooh. Interesting. So this tome is a black leather bound book with like the back, the spine of the book, kind of dressed with these like golden, uh, golden finishes. All corners of the books have the same like golden finish. And in the center, just on the, on the front of the book, there is an eye, half like clear black and the other half like a, like a red iris and half of a pupil uh, and a bunch of arcane runes kind of like drawn around is it, it. is it human leather <laughs> seems like a normal like normal leather <laughs> do i do i know what the arcane symbols mean are oh, your prison arcana yeah what last uh, touched the book i didn't touch it 
She's just uh, looking at you can I'm just looking at it. No, 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 but it wasn't, wasn't, it wasn't um, Chunk looking at it with his magic glasses to see yeah, what... Yeah, she's oh. describing the book. For yeah, 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 describing what the book looked like. Okay, okay. Uh, if you look at the like runes on the book and you're proficient in Arcana, you do a see or you do understand that. Um, so this is for uh, for Bell. Um, Me. This describes a the runes describe a uh, complex ritual to call forth a cosmic entity called Shigolg, the writhing clot. I will. Uh, which one of you are all looking at the tome right now? I mean, I, de I definitely yeah. am. I, 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 yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm looking at the So I guess all everyone you make a wisdom saving throw. No! Yeah, you, you all get plus three, remember? Oh, oh god, I rolled so Natural good one! Here. Fifteen, baby. Uh, Twenty two. Fifteen. I'm gonna a, wis get a wisdom save? Yes. yes. A natural 26. ten, so twenty one. Okay. Uh who rolled fifty who rolled lower than fifteen? I rolled a fifteen. Lower than Did fifteen. Okay. Me. Rexic. Bell Me. and uh, Duke. Did you write your plus three, Duke? Yeah. Dude, I rolled a natural two. No. <laughs> Rexic, Rexic's gonna me. murder us all. I I Rexic's really gonna turn on us. We're gonna put them down. <laughs> okay. Um, Some PvP hmm. happening. Not my fault. I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm just a crazy little uh, little crazy. Just crazy. Rexic. <laughs> yeah. Yikes. Don't uh, suck your teeth like that. It doesn't <laughs> bode well. <laughs> you God damn it. gain a short-term madness. Ah! <laughs> You've odd. seen too much shit in this theater, <laughs> and it's chipping away at your sanity, starting with the whole skin soup thing. But now, you, um, for the next ten minutes... Oh my god. Uh, I need to roll a D100. Fuck my ass. Oh, goodness. This is going to be fun. D100s are always fun. Always a good time. <laughs> For the next uh, 10 minutes, oh, you experience vivid hallucinations okay. and have disadvantage on all ability checks. Oh! All Oof. ability checks. Um, oh, boy. Cog. Yeah. You. At least he's contained. Yes, you also, you gain a creeping madness because of the oh. things you've seen. Instead of my own mind. Um, you weak ass mad boy. Sense something standing right behind you, but when you turn around, nothing is there, and this <laughs> feeling, this feeling constantly remains. No matter what way you're facing, you constantly feel like there's something right behind you. It's in the helmet with you. <laughs> Which I guess in your case would be inside the helmet, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so yeah, do with Call that. Do with do with that as you as you please. Um, no. okay. The rest of us feel great. Um, chunk. Yes. You're looking at gonna, the book using your item. I was gonna use the item. You want me to put this in the chat or something? Uh, no. Just give me the. Like, Basically, you need to. DC is DC twelve plus one for each day. That's thirteen. Been. Thirteen plus the number of days since the last contact occurred. Okay. Um, and I make an insight check. Make an insight check then. Which I get an extra D4 because of this item as well. Nice. Which is kind of cool. Ooh. <laughs> That's not a good. And a D4, where is it? Please. That's not a great roll, my guy. Uh oh. Mm. Roll a four. Uh -oh. 15. 15. He did roll a four. Yeah. 15? Uh, 13 plus two days equals 15. So you just. Pass it. Oh. And oh. on a success, uh, I learned the creature's type. Okay. And can immediately use the goggles to cast Locate Creature to find the creature. You uh, cast Locate Creature. And um, let me quickly look up the specifics regarding Locate Creature, if it can go uh, through objects and stuff. Cast Locate Creature. I can't wait for and to start talking about the fucking mushroom people. Uh, <laughs> directly uh, behind uh, Cog! Like is it, are the walls bowl. bleeding to anyone else? You know? Oh my god. No. Hmm. Look at creature, it's ten foot above us, like. Oh. Uh, <laughs> that's that's behind terrifying. Me, right? Yeah. Um, you... So does Rexy use they them pronouns or? They do now. <laughs> it was just a thought, that's all. Why would a hybrid insinuate they them pronouns though? Because it's a hybrid of 
two beings, right? A the person and an animal. Uh, yeah, but uh, I, like gender is a binary. So I can kind of see where he's come from. It doesn't work out yeah. exactly the same, but... Um... But they do now. You, you sense, you sense uh, what you assume to be Bertrand. Um, under the building. In the lobby. Okay. So he is apparently. If the, the, it seems Bye. that the labyrinth does exist, and he's in it right now. Can I gauge like the distance, like from how far? Or I don't even know if that's a thing. Uh, the... you just know that he is within a thousand feet from you because that's oh, the limitation okay. on spell. Okay, and in that direction, just like straight down. Yeah, like you can see him like through the floor, pretty much. Like he's he's underground somewhere. How to get there, you don't know, but you you definitely well, you, you've pinpointed him. Virgin is underground somewhere. Don't know where. Probably the labyrinth or end of. It doesn't give you any. Any idea how to get into the labyrinth, though? Mm, no. Doesn't, you know, like, there's no, like, glowing trail lit up to, like, where he is or anything? No? Logic, logic would surely suggest it's either in his room or under the stage, though, right? Mm. Mm. We are currently uh, it, in his room. Uh, so we should check here and then under the stage. It says I can learn the creature's type. Uh, What's that even? Humanoid. Humanoid, okay. Yeah. For now. For now. <laughs> <laughs> He's busy All right, uh, storing uh, um, on tentacles. Are there any are there any trap doors in here? I don't know. Start looking around for trap doors. Make an investigation check. I will follow whatever Rexic does. <laughs> How big is this room? Um this room is <laughs> old. Rice. Two for investigation, by the uh, way. Oh my god, no, you have no idea. One. You don't even know what fucking day it is. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, 40 by 80 feet. Big room. Pretty big, yeah. Big room. Are we spreading out? Can I... Spread with out the... and search for clues. Can so I cover open more up ground? the book? Oh, God. I'm mad enough as it is. <laughs> uh, is anyone else also kind of like investigating the room? Maybe. I mean, can I... Can no. I open the book? Rexic is blindly swinging parallel to the door with her greatsword because she thinks there are arms coming through it. Nice. Uh, I'm just gonna say, like Kodla? step away. <laughs> the 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 tome. Yeah. Can I open it up? So you're looking back at it again. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm not. Like I'm that. gonna uh, can genuinely forge choose not to look this time. Like, That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Can I construct go mad? I've decided that in this case, yes. There's some semblance of sentience within yeah, Waldo that can also corrupt. Not for much longer. I yeah, you can wear sunglasses. Look at him. roll a quibble? Nine. <laughs> oh, did you add your plus three? It won't make a difference. Yes. But... Oh, fuck me. You're not rolling well today. Okay. Uh, you, Waldo, rolls. besides oh. hearing this whisper in the back of your head constantly already as it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. Uh, now also gain a short-term madness. Oh. For the next... Just short-term, don't worry. For the next ten time. minutes... Just ten minutes. Oh no. You, uh... It's only a hundred turns. <laughs> Think of the damage you could do in a hundred turns. <laughs> you... How many people could you kill? For the next ten minutes... Maybe. We'll just feel the urge to do whatever someone tells you to do. As long as oh. it's not obviously self-destructive. Oh that that makes sense anyway. That's amazing. Well, that anyway, Which I guess kind of works already because, you know, Cog yells yeah. at you to do things, you do things. So yeah. I guess yeah. that kind of already... But now it's not just... You gain a temporary but madness. Now, but now it's just anyone. Service anyone submissive. that says, Waldo, do something, <laughs> yeah. you do. As long as it's not obviously self-destructive. Yep, yeah, that's fine. For the next 10 minutes. Okay. Is anyone else around Waldo as, nope. as we're sort of spreading out to search the room? I'm just now trying to put as much distance between myself and Rexit because I don't trust that she won't okay. accidentally just like stab the shit out of me. And Waldo, we'll say at this me. point that you begin to realize that, oh, looking at book bad. Me? I realize yeah, this? Hang on. No, no, I, 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 Waldo. Oh, Waldo, I have ahead. this question though. Mm -hmm. Is it the act? So if I'm still continually looking, like I've looked at it and then this, like. <laughs> Because I don't, I assume I don't feel like anything's happened to me, right? I feel Each time mad. anyone so much as glances at the tome, 
they need to make a, a, a wisdom save or lose a certain amount of sanity points. Right. Um, I, I guess as you start it. looking at it, you're still doing yeah. the same act of looking act at of it. looking at it. Sure. That, that, that was like, because sure. sure. in my brain, I wouldn't have still like thingied at it. Can I still touch it and open it up? Or is it like, I'm, I'm... That seems like a bad crazy. idea. That seems like a one. terrible idea. You can try. Waldo, Waldo has not well, I've had, to. I've, I've had no reason to like not, but I will like start to like actively move towards it and kind of like looking towards it. If if you can try, if again, man's wants to tell me to fucking hmm. not, and I, I'll reach out my hand, and I'm not, I'm a loud fucking robot. I'm not a fucking. I mean, I would assume that way. falls under Cog's wheelhouse. Yeah, I think. Yeah, Cog, you notice that obviously you notice that Waldo is reaching uh, for the book. Reaching for the book. Don't, don't touch the damn book. And <clears throat> okay, after uh, like after a look to the book, oh, after a second, no matter what, <laughs> immediate submission. <laughs> I, like, I just turn. He's pavloved. Hello, hello. Sort of jolts up. Hello. <laughs> and blades spring out of Waldo's like waistline and mm -hmm. just like <laughs> around Waldo within mm -hmm. a five foot range. Okay. As I cast a uh, sword bust, hey. desperately trying to get whatever it is right behind me, <laughs> and failing miserably. Yeah. As he does, I'm just like, okay, you both need to stop swinging sharp things around, okay? Uh, I hit. Uh, I uh, swear, uh, I almost had him. I he was he was right there. Gonna, there are hands gonna, coming through the door. No. No one else concerned about that. Right. I'm, no. I'm gonna take Drusilla and Chunk aside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. They're all losing. I, I Wal Waldo seems fine, but the other two. Hello. <laughs> seem a little. Yeah, we're gonna have to keep close tabs on them. Do I need to restrain? I would rather not use another spell, but I have manacles. Um, we gotta get underneath this place. Yeah, maybe not just yet, but if it gets any worse, because like we might need them if whatever made that. And I point to the goo trail. Comes back. Can I? Try and find the trap, trap door on the floor. Can I like do an investigation? See if there's any trap doors on the floor. Sure. After I've tried to, I can't fucking. This mean that we could push the book <laughs> in front of each other. And Boys, guess worse. what? What? It's a natural one, baby. No, oh, nice. we're not ending the trap door. Uh, man, so my Amy's yeah. glasses back on. <laughs> <laughs> I just right, kind of... let, let, let's let's go to the rooms by the stage. I'm sure we'll have better luck there. I mean, this is one of the rooms attached to the stage. Should we look on the Let's stage itself? Let's go to itself? the next room. Okay. And it, because Let's there's one go more to the room, next right, room. Sorry? There's one more room on there's this side? There's one more room, yeah. Let's go right. to the next room. And Let's if go that to doesn't have room. access, we will walk onto the stage and punch our way through. <laughs> punch our way through? <laughs> well, you see, Waldo, like... Waldo doesn't really have, like, a head, right? Mm -hmm. Because the ball is in there, but you just kind of, like, yeah. see him shrug like that. Like, one show you up. Right, let's go to Fist the next room, Waldo. Spinning. Okay, let's just go to the next room and Waldo just walks. Am I used to Waldo just listening to me anyway, or is this our um, character? I think, okay. okay, it, yes, if it makes sense. So th if you say let's go to the next room, he probably would, but also not as very like... Yeah, it's a little more this, deliberate. This seems a little more like you've said a command that he's doing rather than it being like, okay, we'll go and then Agreement. just kind of doing it eventually. It, this is very much you've said a thing and he is gone. Grimnir is very content in the fact that Waldo is finally listening to him. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's what it would be. You, it is that like, oh fuck, I I have made king grounds with this man. <laughs> okay. Um. So you go to the next room. Uh, yeah. There seems to be another dressing room. Uh. One thing that is different about this room compared to the other one is there is this very large cracked mirror in the middle of the room. Love that. Oh, I've got fucking Tasha's kissed fucking PTSD. Right. <laughs> I'm just like, oh no, no. I. <laughs> and classic Waldo fashion. I'm gonna go to the mirror. <laughs> you gonna go to the mirror? <laughs> As you look into the mirror, you see like a rusted, corroded version of yourself, arm barely Ooh. hanging on. You see the dome on your head is gone, uh, cog not there. Worst day ever. Um, what do I see? What do you see? Because <laughs> hey, you're you in there. You see uh, <laughs> what? 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 What color is your? Uh, are your, is your skin? Uh, red. Like okay, just yeah, a classic cobalt, right? Like a light. Red, the yeah, red, pink. red of your like skin uh, is completely <laughs> just covered in like these green uh, veins. Your Ooh. jaw hanging loose, one eye Ooh. fogged over. 
and just oh, all you see yourself no. do is just as I'm floating oh, no. eight feet off the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like to well, I mean, the the group. Uh, if you manage to spot the reflection of them in that mirror, they look normal. Okay. I will just stand up from the reflection. It's the inverse mirror of Erised. Yeah. Was that? Will... Uh... Do, 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 do Dampier have a reflection? It's a good question. I don't know. It doesn't set question. specify on my character sheet. The yeah, rolling um, yeah, <laughs> under um. racial traits. Sure. I have dark vision. I don't need to breathe. Damn, I can uh, walk on walls. I can they bite people. Don't have the shadowless ability, so apparently they do. Hmm. Yeah, they don't share the shadowless ability, so they do have a reflection. Oh. All right. I I will. Interest. You see, Waldo like back up quickly from the mirror and just kind of look up. Okay. Just look over. Yeah, I mean, like, there's, there's there's sort of a reassurance to the fuckery of the mirror, being mm. that, like, I didn't see Waldo, <laughs> but I'm clearly sitting in Waldo, so I, I I can kind of make the separation there. Yeah, fair. But the fucking guy behind there, the is there any? You, did you see the guy behind you in the mirror? <laughs> <laughs> no, there is no guy behind me. Is there any pink slime yeah, in the room? This like, room? No. There is if you're a wreck, Snake. Hey. Just, like, seeing pink slime everywhere. There's Can't not. Wait for Rex to start hallucinating. The rest of this room, like, the only point of interest in this room really is this mirror. But other than that, not much here. Well, that's a bust. I want to look behind the mirror without looking in it. Like, just go and look. Because is it like a standing? Or it's, it's like not a attached standing to the mirror, wall? yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to go look behind the mirror. Nothing. It's oh. another mirror. <laughs> you got two trapped. mirrors facing each other. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, no, see nothing. everyone's adverse reactions to this mirror? Um, I mean, you see, I jolt back up. Yeah. That's the most emotion he's shown this entire time. Fuck it, I'll go have a look. Why not? <laughs> okay. Oh no. You see yeah. your mane completely removed, your armor <laughs> cracked and chipped, the right half of your face completely covered in tentacles with eyes kind of like <laughs> oh, <laughs> the left side of your face completely like caved That's in gross. and 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 uh dry as you walk, you can see that the, the, the figure you see in the mirror kind of has this like weird limp to him. And as you look down at your legs, you can see that your legs are also replaced by these purple tentacles. I will smash the mirror or attempt to. It's already cracked. It's already so. cracked. I'm just going to try and strength check. I'm going to use my greatsword and just try and cleave it. Go for it. Uh, strength check. Mm -hmm. uh, 18. Yeah, uh, I mean, the mirror, it's just like a standing mirror, so you take a great sword and just smash it, it falls over to the floor. Do I see the same reflection in all the pieces of mirror? Yes. I'm just going to start stomping on them. Oh <laughs> my god. Like, trying and turning every like bit of this mirror to dust. <laughs> okay. By the time you're done with that, it'll have been ten minutes, and uh, Rexic will no longer see hallucinations, and Waldo will no longer feel the urge to... Do everything somebody says him to do. Tells him to do. Oh, but uh, I still feel like there's someone behind me, huh? Yeah, the creeping madness stays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The walls uh, aren't bleeding anymore. Well, that's good. A good sign. How do we get down to this labyrinth? I don't know. We haven't found anything. No idea. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little thingamajiggy. Oh, we're going oh. to um, You were told that the playwright and his uh, boys, his uh, troop, fled into the playwright's office when the guards arrived. Okay. Mm. I guess there's one place left to look. We, we and not roll a one on investigation! What's huh? a one? What's an investigation? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I mean, who's All right. the most intelligent of us? Me! I mean, I, mean I, I easily that think I can trust. From experience, who actually is the most intelligent? My, fucking my, robot. Stat, is, my stat is 20 for intelligence. Oh, Jesus Christ. Definitely nerd. Drusilla. Absolute nerd. What, Drusilla, white <laughs> loser. Will Drusilla is book smart, very much so. Yeah. <laughs> I studied for years purely to make myself a vampire, and I learned a lot while learning to become a vampire. If I can assist you, will you look for some sort of passage in the playwright room for me? Sure. 
I just, you guys were trying, and I just, I didn't want to, you know, come across as that, that bossy person. You know, you were doing Wait. it, you were doing such a good job. So I just wanted to leave you, you guys to your, your thing. Okay. She's such a good friend. None of us I, I, have noticed if, either. If, if, if we're going somewhere, Waldo and I should, should, you know, lead the way. You can do that. All right. Uh, in that case, Drusilla, uh, investigation check, please, with advantage, because uh, Grimnir is. If happening. I now roll like a one and a two, I'm don't worry, cry. Cog. Like I have a twenty intelligence. Do a, do a, do a quick don't worry, roll. Cog. We're right I behind mean, you. I mean, it's not a one and a two, but it's not much better. Um, so the investigation. That's somebody come. Uh, uh, math is hard. Fifteen. Uh, you go to a pile of books, and as you kind of move the books aside, uh, it reveals a trapdoor. Found it! Trapdoor! <laughs> Always check the books first. Books are your friends. We... <laughs> Unless you actually do have friends. In the Is process of searching Dutch, do we end up looking at the desk? <laughs> no. Okay. Is it locked? Is it trapped? Uh, we don't know that that's check. a bad thing. Can I assist him? Because I'm fucking there. Sure. Because you're always there. Exactly. Are those different uh, money years? Investigation Maybe. 15. Uh, does not seem to be trapped nor locked. All right, let's go. I can move him up. I can move him down like that. <laughs> Do we think it's worth bringing the book with us? Or Absolutely oh, wow. not. I don't want that I thing I would not touch that it. book. No, that's a bad idea. I, this is the one time I would agree to leave a book behind, but I don't think that one is our friend. That one is not our friend. Why are you guys so against this book? Well, you saw what it did to them. No. Yes, what it did to them. I don't know. It gives she me was the talking about, She was talking about blood on the walls. She's Trust been me, losing it since we got in here. Okay, I don't think thinking they've been losing it since we got in here. Suit is losing it. I just think that's being. That's crazy. losing it. Your no, it is skin, not. You are it was a possibility. Me. And Leave the book. Wrong, and It'll be it here go. when we get back. If I was let's crazy, go I down there. Me. Mr. DM, I'm not crazy. Did I notice that the book changed them in any way? No. I. I, I would like to start to go down. Okay. I'm going to start just heading, like, open up the trap door. I'm just going to start heading down. It's like, right. Trap door. Do you all follow? Yes. All right. Yeah. The temptation. As you enter so the um, the trap door, a crumbling network of tunnels winds beneath the theater. These tunnels, the ancient architecture suggests that these are the remains of the city's first streets and buildings buried under centuries of time. After an hour, the silent passageways converge upon a 60-foot-high subterranean cathedral cathedral hall. Dusty stained glass windows loom above stone columns and arches. At the head of the cathedral. A dozen cloaked figures stand before a knot of utter blackness. The figures chant and throw themselves onto the ground in worship. Two pink piles of sludge with mouths and eyes all over slurp God. across the floor. That's the official wording in the in the slurp? Thing. They slurp, slurp across the floor. Slurp uh, across I, the floor. I know what this is, and I uh, hate it. And they babble in a dissonant chorus. Oh, of course they do. Yeah. As soon as you enter, you immediately feel as if you're being watched. As if they didn't already. Shigal mm. detects you, or Shigal detects you right away. Uh, and a human man dressed with a cloak and robes matching the rest of the crowd, and a black goatee on his face and wild eyes, immediately turns with a lot of flair, uh, invites them. Ah! New followers! Come, come, don't be shy! Yes. Worship the great Shigal with us and revel in his brilliance! Praise uh, the sun! Those that knew who Bertrand Praise was before heading to the theater. Um, so those that passed that check at the beginning of the, yep. who remembered uh, who Bertrand Gilliard was, recognize this to be Bertrand Gilliard. That is Bertrand. How goes the worship? God's going marvelous. Come closer. Ah, come closer. Um, Can I repeat out no. the word? The other figures that you see, you are the cast of of the horror within, uh, and these two sludges. As you kind of approach. You just hear this, like, <laughs> echo through the cathedral hall. Uh, and with that, uh, I'm going to whip out the map real quick. Oh, 
I mean, I'm gonna, I'm going to comprehend Bye. languages. I assume there's no uh, language. You, no, even comprehend languages does not get it. So, I know what these things are, and I hate it, and I hate you um, for putting. No, you didn't even put them here. I can't hate you. For yeah, this. it's a one shot. He didn't make. Yeah, it. I didn't do shit. You are right here. Oh, wait, we're about to in combat. Hello. Uh, let me just quickly boom. You are right what here. What is that? Oh, this guy. Oh no! What guy? is that? Oh my um, god. Oh, you're basically oh god. like you, you enter the corridor through here. It's a bit zoomed out. I'll zoom it further in once we actually get into combat. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. to have a scope of, of the uh, place. Oh, you combat? need to make a token for Rafi. Uh, I do. Hold on. <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> Sounded so fed up. Zombie ah, token. He's like, ah, oh, damn. You I always have to make creatures. more. There I always have go. to make more tokens for you guys. We like to bring there extras. Is. He's crawling. We like pets. Fuck it. He can crawl, I'm, um, I'm down. Just like Brooks. Brooks you is not a pet, thank you. <laughs> pet number one. Zoom in a little bit. There we go. So you're collected down here. Uh, over here, we have Bertrand and the rest of the cast of the... Um, of the uh, Horror Within. These two sludgy, mouthy creatures kind of like cruising around. Um, as you get closer... Um... Shigolg immediately kind of makes just these writhing, screamish noises, almost. Oh, good. And Bertrand kind of turns around. I see. They're not here to worship. You're here to stop us. Well, that cannot stand, as I'm sure you all understand. So, uh, and so with sweet. that, the so two, uh, before you can do anything. Oh. These two, let me quickly check what their uh, full movement is. Is it's like green gloop. Uh, immediately move like ten feet to towards feet. you. Are they the oozes? Yeah. Uh, move ten feet towards you as well as uh, Shigolk, the writhing clot in the back of the room. Ooh, what a name! Twists and, and 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 writhes as um two. Of the um, um, these are what I think they are. This is as both Bertrand and another cast member immediately transform and get turned oh, into of more course. of these oh. 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 creatures. Um, okay, the extra I'm pieces make sense now. Yeah, hold on, yeah, there's so many. I numbered these, so this you is probably not take... Skewton. Hold on. Noch nicht, nicht guten. There's so many things, dude. I can't see which one's which. This is night good. <laughs> they immediately get turned into two of these creatures, and the rest of the cast immediately just ducks down to their knees and just ah, starts starts to panic. Uh, with that, I would like for you all to roll some initiative. Yo, do you think ah! I can roll like a good number for like a check? Like, oh my god, I, I rolled the I same. I rolled the same shitty number as I did for my last initiative. I rolled really badly again. I hope. I hope I that Walter rolls better than me. Good. Cool. I, I rolled loved, okay. I love the way this cake is. Bear coming. with me, because there's a lot of initiative that I, I mean I don't throw initiative for the boys, but like the slimies and all that. So give me a Boy second. Nine. It's a table. This is. Complete. I rolled okay. <clears throat> Do I wanna hang on? What 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 should the ear situation are we thinking? Like down or are we thinking oh, I'm know. thinking up until you get bloodied and then and then down. Group them. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. What? High alert. High alert. Whee! High alert. There we go. Whee! There we go. Look, we're in high alert. There we go. High alert. Yeah, Does look, Walter uh, also uh, act as an alarm clock? Incredible. Now where's your little like bandex leotard? You're right. With a little like Pom pom on the end for a bunny tail. Okay. Yeah. Initiative twenty plus. Uh, twenty five. Sorry. Twenty five. Oh, there it is. Okay. Fifteen to twenty. Seventeen. Nineteen. Nineteen. Where's the high dex? Your two? dex is higher than mine. My dex is thirteen. My dex. Okay. My dex is also thirteen. Which one goes first? Roll off. Oh, roll, roll off. off. What is who? Who at seventeen? Me. Um, Wait, no. Right. Waldo. I got a six. I rolled 11, so I'll go okay. first. So Kog goes first, and then Remnir? Remnir? Remnir. 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 Um, 10 to 15? 10. Oh, Laura. 
Go oh. up. <laughs> oh, Wait, no. which, of, which of these, uh, which of these um, figures is me and Waldo? Because I said I insisted that we would be leading. Uh, yeah, well, I made two tokens for you just for the sake of uh, uh, the initiative yep. order. But I'll probably like, like this is, wait. Uh, I'll probably put your token like here and just make sure that I, you know, yep. you're always where Waldo is. But just for the sake of an initiative order, yeah. we'll, 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 All I, right. I have to add you. So this is, this is Waldo. We got, we got okay. Rex, Rexic, we got, we got Chonk, Grimnir, Drusilla. And then and there's the ghoul, Raph. Or he's a ghoul, but he's wrong. Yeah, there's Raph. Yeah, it's yeah. Um, so and what is your Peggy. roll, uh, Hold on. What is your roll, Laura? A seven. You play. Back to those Laura rolls. Yeah. Okay, so I'd rather anything, they be an initiative than in a spell attack. Before we do anything. Yeah, yeah. Watch them be in both. Yeah. Initiative mood. There we go. So first up, we have... Uh, we have... Donk. Oh, fucked it up. There's so many people. Holy moly. Ah. Chunk. Shit, okay. Then Kong. Oh. And then I think this is Remnir. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, I have... then we have Waldo. Just. Then. Just try try not get in front of Waldo, okay? We have Sea Monster, aka Shigalk. I forgot to name him. See, my bad. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> um, then. A sea monster, uh, but we're on land. This guy. This uh, isn't the beach. This is a bathtub. Gibbering mouther. <laughs> yeah, I was right, and I hate it. Mm -hmm. AKA your mom. <laughs> oh Hold, my on. God. Hold on a second, and then we have. If everyone, if anyone was here when I went wild sheep chase, <clears throat> I think Belle, you were there for that. I was there for. Yeah. Wild sheep yeah. is like a fast level. It's the level. thing that the wizard turns into. Yeah. Uh, I'm and then, uh, Raffi, what, what oh, Raffi moves on my initiative. Right. I think. Okay. Hold on, let me double check. We'll just say that he does. We'll, for the purpose of this, we'll say that he does. No, fuck it. I think it's because I can use a bonus action to tell him to do things. So he, so he doesn't have his own initiative. I can only make him yeah. do things on my bonus action. Oh, he doesn't like fucking... act. So you can remove yeah. him. He's well, you can keep the token in there, but... He's not sentient. Aww. He's just a fleshy spiritual weapon. Yeah. Yeah, basically, that's like, legit what he is. So, uh, this is quite a large room, but uh, you're all collected right down here. Yay. Um, not a little bit. These commoners, like the, 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 the actors, they just drop to their knees and they're just, like, cowering in fear. They're just in the way. They're just from in the way. Us or from the monster? Uh, just as soon as two of their own, including Bertrand, got turned into these, like, mouthy, slimy goops, they just, they panicked. And they're just cowering in fear now. Except that, that furthest it. back goop mm -hmm. isn't on a, like, it's between two tiles. Is that triggering you? Yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. That's precisely what I needed. Oh my god. <clears throat> Alright, um, so... With that said, Chunk, it's your turn. What do you do? Um, I am going to uh, use two key points to cast uh, Darkness. Ooh. Ooh. Um, like a Shadow Monk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Between, you see the, the, the goo on the left? We're all, basically where all the commoners are, just on that, like, be, basically between the monster and... Where I'm gonna end up being, which is um, next to that. Hold. The big daddy sea monster. What's the radius on darkness? Fifteen foot uh, sphere. Is it fifteen foot sphere? Let me tell you. What it's fifteen foot radius for darkness. Radius, fifteen foot radius sphere. Fifteen foot <clears> radius. <throat> Wait. Oh, radius. Hold on. That I makes it thirty, 30 feet. Thirty across. foot diameter. Fifteen feet every direction. Okay, yeah, so I should be able Center to. Center wall is fifteen feet. So, so yeah. three tiles. Like this. So here. Yeah. 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 See that? I, I learned how to fuck. use how to make how to make radiuses, guys. I'm learning to. Oh, oh, now no. all you gotta do is learn maths. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Uh, so yeah. So that's fear. That is that is darkness. It's darkness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, what I'll do. So that's my action. And my bonus action, I'm going to. I'll just turn to the the group and be like, "See you guys later." And then what just. The you see me just disappear, 
like and just oh, into like the so shadow. Sick. Okay. That's so cool. And, and people wondered why I thought this plus rogue was broken. <laughs> and I jump into like not in the, in the middle of all the commoners, but in in the commoners. Uh, where you can be next to the slime as well as the commoners. I can't really... Oh, like the right side? Yeah, the right side, where the... Oh my god, Ethan. This plus oh, rogue plus select... tabaxi. Hell so Soko, when I dm Soko played this as a as a rogue multiclass. Okay, so I put the and radius down, and now I can't fucking control shadow. my fucking boys, which is annoying. Are you still selecting with the radius? Like, Yeah. Oh, yeah it's gone. Cool. If you hit N again, though, does it reappear or no? No. no. No, Maybe no, you have doesn't. to like okay. pick a color for it or something. Like I select, like boom, it's set. And it just, mm. 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 Maybe it's just for you to see it in the moment, and then you yeah. you have to do it each other. Is there is there another right tool click? you can do that like is just like a paint thing to put like a is, circle? This is just a ruler, right? So you can't. Yeah, I guess this is just to ascertain how many things just would be affected measure, by yeah. something rather than yeah, being guess. able to okay, actually leave well, it down. Uh, we know that that's there. So where are you going? Yeah. Uh, so where I can be next to the two commoners and that slime, that little square, like straight forward. Uh, the one uh, north of that, like north uh, west. Yeah, perfect. These things are like oh, the I'm laughing so hand. I'm so mad. Why are you mad? The laughing hand. Because I said don't get in front of Voldo, <laughs> and the first thing he does is get into the direct line that is five <laughs> feet wide and a you know a hundred feet long that I could have lightning bolted. Oh, Actually, shit. he's not in front of Voldo. Are you invisible? He's off to the side. Uh... Were you invisible or stealthed? What are you doing, uh, Vincent? Me? I'm in. I'm in the, so I use the. I'll tell you right now. One sec. Okay. He's in darkness now, right? I'm in darkness uh, now, yes, but yes. to get there, I used. I uh, used. Where is it? Shadow step. Yes. So a so bonus action. Into... Yeah, as a cool. bonus action, I can teleport up to sixty feet to an unoccupied space. I can see that is also in dim light or darkness. And since are I... you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh. I think because of your subclass, you can see through this darkness. Even I have though... double sight, yeah. Specifically for that. Ooh, that's sick. All right, yeah. So you appear right there. Is that your turn? And uh, that's, I think that's everything I can do. All right. Yeah, that's it. Next up. You are the only person that Hog. can see through this. Human. Human. <laughs> you, don't know where he is. You, don't, you don't know where I am, so you can yeah, do it. True. But do I it. can't see through the darkness, so I wouldn't be able to target the lightning bolt anyway. Also oh, true. Shit. I'm going I mean, is to. Light, is lightning bolt a creature target, or is it just a straight line? It's a straight line, but well, then you don't need to see the other end. My sight is obscured. They could move. I don't know, so I'm not going to bother. That's fair. I'm going to grab a fucking, you know, like old um, car windows with the manual, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just start cranking on one of those, and sparks and and like cogs turning, and there's stuff like surging through Waldo as I cast enlarge on oh. Waldo. Okay. And I love it, the all those of this. joints start extending and his arms like extend out and his go sort of like it. waist telescopes up and I'm now like he doubles in size. So, so I'm, I'm now large? like Yes. Yeah. Jesus. And I am now like yeah. 20 feet in the air or something. Oh, uh, you'd be uh, 14. He's so right, 14 feet up. Dude, it even like, as, little, like, yeah. like shake when you when you drop him. Like, <laughs> That's, That's so fun. So That's yeah, the, the creature, uh, everything it's wearing, anything it's carrying, change size with it. It Waldo now gets a bonus D4 when attacking, okay, uh, nice. and has damage. advantage on strength checks and saving throws. Beautiful. Just get, I just get uh, D4 bonus. damage. Yeah. Is it D4 damage or yes, D4 to, to hit. hit as well? Okay. Extra D4 no, damage. You have advantage on okay. attack rolls. Do I? Yeah. I don't think so. No. No. No, that's shit. shit. It's uh, damage and strength ability checks and saving throws. Yeah. But you're big now, and I'm more out of reach, so let's go. True. Wait, weapons are an ability check, though. No. Right? No, they're attack rolls. That's a specific, that's a separate thing. Yeah, that's its own thing. It would say yeah. attack rolls. Every spell specifies attack rolls when they mean attack rolls, and this one doesn't, yeah. so they don't mean attack rolls. Pretty simple. That's true. Mm -hmm. Right? I big. Okay. So, Waldo big. I mean, it's only a second level spell, you know? Like, so Big. we're not expecting miracles here. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to do with your turn? Uh, nope, that's it. Grimnir. Okay. Uh, put you anywhere. well, shit. Uh, 
I'm gonna run to the closest one on the left hand side. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know how high these things are, so I'm going to attack it with Great Weapon Master. Okay, so that's a uh, fucking 2019 to hit. 2019 to hit? It, it's a 19 to hit because <laughs> I minus. Uh, five to the, yeah, that'll hit. Because <laughs> minus 5 to the attack roll. Uh, yeah, it's 17 plus 7 minus 5 maths. 19. Uh, I get to reroll that because of Great Weapon Master. Oh. Uh, so, 11. Uh, 15. 25 points of slashing damage. 25 points. Hold on a second. Sheesh. Hold on a minute. Mm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Is it bloodied? Give me just a sec. I have a Is lot of slime? shit open right now. <laughs> Is um, it slimy? <laughs> 25 points of damage? Yeah. Okay. Oh. You were... Ah, no, you were just outside of it. Never mind. You... Yeah, no, 25 points of damage. All right. Uh, it, is is, it... it is bloodied, yeah. Is it really bad or is it just bloodied? It's bloodied. What is? The, the Uzi? Uzi boy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't know which weapon to use. I'm going to stick with the greatsword. Uh, can I great weapon master twice in one turn? I think I can. Mm -hmm. Cool. I'm going to do that again. Uh, 17 to hit. 17 hits. Eight, five, four, nine, 13, 23. 23 points, points of damage. damage. Alrighty. As you're is it like, still up? It is still up. As you like get close to this creature, it just it's it's just this ball of ooze covered with mouths and eyes, and it is just constantly humming and gibbering this like incoherent babble that just doesn't stop. Yucky. It it's still up. Correct. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what do I think is a better use here? Fuck. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast spiritual weapon behind it. Hold. <laughs> I'm going to keep rolling this dice, because this dice is doing very well for me. <laughs> Spiritual weapon, there it is. Ooh. Uh, that's a 23 to hit. 23 to hit, that hits. For... 8 points of... Uh, 9 points of force damage. Yeah, and with that, that, that is enough to, to kill it. This this, pub, this, this ball of, of, of ooze just... Pops and covers the ground in like this this pinkish sluggish uh, residue that you've seen uh, upstairs as well, but is no more. Fuck that thing! How much movement have I got left? Um, how much is your total movement? Uh, thirty-five. Then you'll have ten feet left. Uh, I will move. 10 feet forward, because I don't want to get in Baldur's way. It's too fucking late now. Okay, is that your turn? Uh, yeah, that's my turn, that's everything. Waldo! I'm gonna fucking stomp into that wall that's on the right hand side there. This little fella? Yeah. Fucking okay, just look down at it and just... Boop! Go for it, attack. Slam. Smash it! Hell yeah. Bop it. Bop it. Ten. Twist it. Twist it. Ten? Oh my god, I only, I only just looked at the D&D &D Beyond overlay. 
I am so squishy compared to there almost you are. everyone like 10 here. Quiver? Yeah, 10 yeah. hits. 10 hits? 10 hits. Oh, nice. Dog's pretty, pretty squishy. So I get an extra D4, yeah. right? I have 40 uh, I HP so. and an AC hmm? of 11 with that mage armor. I want to <laughs> cry. I fucking hate this game. <laughs> to be fair, I have an extra plus 50. Don't forget your D4. Yeah, I, I know. I rolled, I rolled a 1 on my D8 yeah. and then a 1 on my D4. So that's Beautiful. 8 points of damage. Luckily, you only need a 10 to hit them. And then I will say as well. Okay, bro, second so no, attack. Just staying still. Second attack. <laughs> yeah. We're trying, so still. like, there's a lot of, like, cross chatter going on and trying to, like, hear numbers and stuff while there's a lot of, like, blah, 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 blah. Just try and keep that in mind. That's a fucking crit, lad. Oh. 20. Not Ooh. 20, baby. He's dead, dude. He's dead. Here we go. Big fucking Fuck him up, baby. Go. Fuck him up. <laughs> no, okay. He's not dead. <laughs> Do I double the D4 as well? It's a dice. Uh, it's a die that you roll yeah. for damage. So yeah. Uh, I will. No, I won't do that yet because. Fuck is that? That's ten points damage. Ten points of damage. Yeah. Okay. No, you know, it's so difficult for me. It's something. With a nat nice. twenty, huh? I rolled a one on the one again. That's wild. You need to stop doing that, sir. That's yeah, dude. Maybe dice. just don't. It is that one your turn? Yup. It is now uh, Shigolg's turn. Shigolg. Oh boy. That piece of shit. That guy. Oh, he I've is going this video. to. Um. Oh. Oh no. That's not a good That's noise. Mm hmm. I need all of you to make a wisdom saving throw real quick because you've looked oh. at, because you looked at it. God, Nobody's it within ten um, feet of me there's, as well. There's darkness between us and it. No, but so you we saw can't. it when you entered the room. You have looked at it. So when we when we went, do we get the plus three because we entered the room when we're next to our boy? Yes. Because this is when this is when we okay. looked at it. You were still next yeah. to us. Yeah. yeah. That helps me cool. very little. It but... doesn't help me, but it helps. Yeah, it doesn't help me either. Mm -hmm. Helps me. It doesn't help me either. Okay. Actually, I don't know. Me. I have an insane bonus. Uh, oh, maybe. No. So anyone roll lower than 15? Let me just do I math. rolled exactly 15. Okay. I rolled 11. So 11. 12. 12. Oh, God. 11. I didn't. So Chong, oh. Cog, and uh, Rexic. Rexic. And Waldo. Oh, and Waldo. Oh, my. Yeah, everyone Waldo. but me and... Oh, boy. Just oh, pop with a force, <laughs> I love that I've resisted oh every one of these so far. I'm just like, nothing faces me, bitch. I have failed. I'm already undead. Oh. What's scarier than I'm that? already <laughs> dead. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm going crazy. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Hold on. I got a fucking... <laughs> something happened that I didn't think would happen. So I need to quickly look at my uh, information here. I don't like here. that. No. I don't oh, like that. No. <laughs> no, Someone no. hit zero sanity. And he rolled like a one on the D100. There was like a 1% chance of something happening. And he rolled. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's just a thing about... Uh, Red 6 is about to become our enemy. Can't wait. About to die. Someone turns on okay. the party. Oh, baby, big Waldo. Um, first of all, big wall, though, big problem. Um, I love my we'll start life. with uh, Gremnir. Big wall, though, in Little China. <laughs> I got a 15. Oh, you got never mind. I'm stupid. Never mind. I lied. Wait, who else, Phil? I, I Kong, rolled an after Rexic. four. Oh, Chonk. It was Chonk. Chonk. Right, so Chonk. Right. Okay, it Chonk. Was Chonk the whole time. You, um, Hear a voice just endlessly whispering in the back of your head. The writhing clots that blackens the stars. The inky tide that swallows the light. Just over and over and over again. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, Dark Darkness. Darkness is concentration, by the way. I don't know if that has any effect no, on that. Uh, Rexic. Yeah. <laughs> you have officially oh lost all your sanity. Oh, oh yeah. I did! No. Achievement you unlocked! You gain an indefinite madness that will last until oh, no. you're cured. What indefinite madness? Um, How does one cure madness? One of those states will do it. Uh, yeah. And what this madness entails for you is that there's only one person you can trust, and only you can see this special friend. 
Oh, oh no. no. You okay? Oh, you found like, Jesus. Like one person from the party. It's a literal imaginary friend. Rex has finally found Jesus. Cog. Yes. You've also lost all your sanity. <gasps> what? Welcome <laughs> to the party. At least Cog Are is contained. Are you fucking serious? I am. At least Cog is contained. He so you also real gain well. an indefinite madness. Hmm. You now live according to this, to this mantra. I must bend the truth, exaggerate, and outright lie to be interesting to other people. Okay, oh. that's not so bad. Okay, that's At least right. I don't have an could imaginary have, could have friend. Could have gone worse. Could have gone worse. Yeah. Yeah. Could be seeing imaginary Jesus. Yeah. Could have yeah. gone worse. Um, okay. I mean, I also wrote less than... Well, you did. What? I did write that down. You are not completely insane yet, but... Hey! I'm fucking You're getting quite, close. Uh, you're getting close to it, but that does mean that you gain a long-term madness. Which will last for the next ooh, 90 hours. So that is 90 hours. Oh, hours. Yeah, so many. Um, that's like, that's like oh my what, four, God. four and a half days. days. Four days, yeah. No, it's four days. No, just four days. Just yeah. under four days. Under four days. Your character oh. yeah. experiences, I guess this is, you know, we can translate this to robot language. <laughs> Uncontrollable tremors or ticks, or let's say malfunctions, which impose disadvantage on attack rolls, ability checks, and saving throws that involve strength or dexterity. Oh, you already fucking sucked. <laughs> you suck so hard right now. Right. He's they, got, they got a fucking no sanity thing, and it was like, oh, I guess I got a magic friend. Yeah. I did, yeah. and it's like, oh, you're fucked for 90 is days. Infinite madness is more of a gameplay hours. thing, whereas long term madness is more of like a gameplay limitation thing. Like, yeah, no, indefinite, but... it's like, unless you have you like, a restoration, you're not going to get cured. So, role play, you have to stick with that role play for like, yes. bare time. Yours is just that you can't hit things. You could, um... you could take a four day break. Okay. She's still going to be seeing shit. So. Sure. But okay. with that, with that out of the way, I um, Shigolg is going to oh my God, use to my an ability called Star Blast, um, and is going to just aim at the big fuck off robot that just appeared. Uh, that Fair. just grew in size. Good luck, loser. 120, oh, 120, 120, 120 feet range. Yeah. So, uh, that'll reach. Let me quickly. I need more monitors, dog. Straight up. Ugh. So this guy, he's going to sit here. He's going to look at you. And he's just going to fucking shoot a beam of just starlight out of his, out of his, just this writhing body. Um, can he, can he see through the darkness then? Would that he not... has, um. The darkness is I'm not. It's not covering me because I'm here and the darkness is here. He has blind sights, uh, and, uh. That there's some reasons why he can see through. Yep, let's that's just say. fine. Oh, cool. Um, Yay. Terrifying. Let's see. <laughs> terrifying. 19 to hit. Chunk. Misses. Uh, chunk. Uh, oh, Chunk. Uh, uh, no, not Chunk. I, I'm Waldo. fucking stupid. Waldo. Misses. Misses. Mm -hmm. All right. Get Fair enough. Idiot. So Dumb. the beam of starlight Dumb. into like idiot. this, like uh, this, like pillar over here behind you. Um, it hits, my plate, it hits my shield. It just raises my shield up and just. Oh, okay, it's just you like. Oh. Yeah, cool, sick. Um, that's his turn. Jibbering Mouther number three. I does not see. Four. Does not see this guy because. Um. Darkness. Four. 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 He only has a 10 foot movement speed, if I'm not mistaken. So he's just gonna he's just gonna take the long way around, I guess. He's yeah, just ten, violent. Yeah, 10 feet of movement. So he's just gonna move could 10 dash. feet to the right, and that's his turn. Could dash. Oh, he could dash. True. Oh, oops. Makes it 20. Oh, Pog. Oh, oh wow, dude. <laughs> if anything, you sound more vulnerable uh, than that. Rexic. You're up. Uh, I'm gonna go to the one that Cog is currently and and Waldo. Waldo, uh, Waldo is attacking. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast, well, to do the Crimson Right, and then I'm gonna attack it, and I'm gonna do lightning damage as extra damage. Go for it. Cool. <clears throat> uh, 19 for the first attack, and then Dirty 20 for the second. 
both hits, yeah, absolutely. Um, okay. Slashing for attack. Ooh. That one fell on the floor. Let's quickly check what number that is. That's number one. Uh, All right. 12 slashing. Okay. With ooh, three lightning. Three lightning. All right. And then. Uh. Eleven slashing and two lightning. Alrighty. And that's my thing. It's your turn. Okay. Mouther number four does not see Chonk. Hey. One, two. It's going to move to here. Opportunity do I attack? get do I get to attack it? You do get an attack opportunity. Yeah. You don't have to take it though. You and don't have you to do take have it, sentinel. but you can if you want to. You have sentinel, so if it, you do hit it, it won't be able okay, to so move, you, and it will know you're yeah, there. You get a chance to attack him, it. Chunk. With yeah. Sentinel. Yeah, I will. I will. Okay, do it. No pussy. Uh, eighteen to hit. That hits. Which means that because you have sentinel, he cannot move, right? Pretty sure. Yes. So he stays there. All right. I do 11 damage. 11 points of damage. Very nice. But now no um, Yeah, but I mean, he isn't it still now, technically? He does, I will say that he does now know that there's something in that darkness hitting him, and he's just going to try and attack into that direction yeah. with his advantage. Uh, because yeah, he can't see you. Say, I guess he's basically blind, right? Um, <laughs> so he's going to try Should and uh, make a bite attack with one of its many, many mouths uh, with his advantage. Many, many mouths. So many, many. Advantage, advantage. That's going to be a uh, nine to hit. That's going to miss, isn't it? Yep. There you go. So you dodge out of the way of that real easy. Okay. That's his turn. Uh, number one, which I believe is this guy. Yes. Does anything happen on the beginning of this guy's turn, per chance? Let's <laughs> hope um, it's getting real warm. I could just hear it moving. He's going to... <laughs> mm. Multi-attack. <clears throat> First going to bite at uh, you, Rexic. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Uh, it's a nine to hit. Uh -uh. And then is going to use an ability called Biting Spittle. Ew, Ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Uh, sorry, Blinding Spittle, my bad. Little clipper. Uh, he spits a globule of, um, of of slime, kind of like between you two and behind you. And as that explodes, uh, I would like for both of you to make a dexterity saving throw. What's the I... range on that? What's the range? Because um... if it's like 15 feet, I'll, I'll be affected as well, probably. When I mean, you're 50 feet up, though. Each yeah, 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 yeah. But it'd be a... within 5 feet of the flash, so it's just okay, going to be... Um, I, you said did, I, did you say I had disadvantage on saving throws? Or was it just a boost check? Strength, wasn't it? Strength and dexterity. Uh, strength and dex. Attack for ability dex. checks and saving throws that involve strength and dexterity. Oh, dude, that's so brutal. Oh, man. What the fuck? I, I, are, you, are they within 10 feet of me? No. 11. 11? You are blinded until uh, the end of your next turn. What did you I mean, roll I rolled 15. Yeah, Don't you're fine. Uh, but uh, Waldo is blinded until the end of his next turn. He's already basically. Doesn't make blind. much difference for you. Doesn't does make it, much does difference he? for him, but yeah. Yeah. Um, that fucked. is this guy's turn, Drusilla. And with that, okay. also, our boy. Rafi. Yeah, because I double checked the text on Anime Dead, and it just says, um,. You decide what action the creature will take and where it will move during its next turn. So, yeah. do you want to just say it goes on? It will say my that it goes turn, on your but like turn. following me it makes it easier like, for yeah. me as well. So yeah, we'll just yeah. say that it's on your All turn. Right. Um, so for me, I will first being like, we seem a little outnumbered here, and cast summon undead because it's one action. Motherfucker! Um, but I'm summoning a ghost specifically. I'm summoning an undead spirit in its ghostly form. Ooh. But you, and it also will move on my. It says it moves after my turn, so it, me and Rafi are all just like boom, boom, boom. How can yes. I not do this in, in so, Undead summoning undead. Yeah, just making more friends. We need friends. 
friends. Early access. I, can, I, now, I now can no longer unlock the fucking token menu. So this is early access software, guys. So we'll it's just have fine. to remember there's a ghost remember. body. I'll remember there's a ghost. Um, Did you use one of the slimes that we killed and just... Yeah, if you want, we can... Uh, well, I killed it, so it's like, it's like gone, gone. Oh, oh, yeah, but one of the ones around the outside. Like right? I, can use, I, can use, I can use this boy. I mean, those are yep. there for a reason, but this guy just died, pop, so yeah, we'll just oh, yeah, pop okay. that boy in there, yeah. Um, and so that's my action. Mm -hmm. And then Rafi will go. He can only move 20 feet. He's a slow boy. He's mm -hmm. a shambling zombie, but just go 20 feet forward in a straight line. Just headed towards big guy. Um, and then my new ghost spirit. He can move 40 feet and he can move through objects as if they are difficult terrain. So does mm -hmm. that mean it, your movement speed's halved in difficult yes. terrain? So it like so takes like 10 feet of movement. So through this pillar, for instance, would take him 10 feet instead okay. of five. Um, so he's right there. Uh, five, five, 10, 15, 20, and then diagonal, 25, 30. Put him next to, like just to the square to the right of the green slime that's facing big. Yeah, because that's 30 feet of his movement. And he can do 40, so we'll just stop him there. Okay. Um, and he's going to make a ghostly touch attack. What's it called? Hold up. Hold up. We... Uh, mer there we go. The stat blocks here. Uh, yeah, it's called oh, deathly touch. Mm. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 hits, yeah. Alrighty. He deals. 10 necrotic damage and the ooze needs to make a wisdom save. Uh, no, he doesn't because the ooze is fucking dead. Well, then never mind. Yeah, it says the creature must exceed. Uh, but I guess, yeah, if he's if he says he doesn't make those, he doesn't make those. Eh? I'm ready. Oh, no, he's dead, dead. That's he's dead. Thing. He's oh. gone. He's dead, dead. All he's right, dead. my ghost, he finished him. And then mm -hmm. that'll be my turn and all he's my creatures' dead. turns. My minions. Okay. Chunk, back to you. All right. You're right um, here. Well, I'm gonna just try and cut this slime into small little pieces real quick. Go for it. Alright, so I'm gonna attack it twice. Mm-hmm. Uh I don't do I get advantage because he can't see? I don't know. No. No. Uh, okay. he just has disadvantage against yeah. you. Okay. Pretty sure. So the first one is a twenty to hit. That hits. It's eleven damage. Very nice. Then the second attack. Oof. Natural 19, so 28 to hit. Yeah. And 7 damage. There it is, dude. The 7 is back. Nice. And I will use my bonus action to shadow step. Uh, is there is, is this entire room dim light, by the way? Yes. Nice. I will... Uh... Back towards my friends, like uh, near that ghost that was like you want to go here. Suddenly, yeah, there you go. Near a ghost. Huh? It just looks like a ghostly version of of me, but like not exactly. Just like fancy Victorian lady ghost. Okay. Because of okay. my dress I'm wearing. That's what it looks like. <laughs> All right. I love it. You guys just see Chunk just appear. From like kind of like the shadow. Like it's like a little outline of just fur, and then just like appear. <laughs> Love it. Um. Hello. Hey. I think it's about time. And that's my turn. Um. No, it's not. Stop no, it. Not. Uh oh. She goes. Gonna, gonna use a legendary shit. action. Yep. Uh oh. God damn it. Oh, I love um, it. You love to see it. I oh, I'm still grouped up in one area. Don't like that. I'll and he's fine. going to Hopefully. use liquefy once again. Ugh. Oh, like Bastard. I'm no longer innocent. Were they ever? That's two more dribbling melders that will just go in the back of the initiative order. Are they still in darkness? Do we see this happen? No. Uh, no, they're still they're in darkness technically, but Shigol can I see. I see this happen. You do. So yeah, two more commoners, or two more like uh, actors just got brutally turned into more of these slimy pricks. Only they were lawyers. Uh, that's everything you wanted to do, right, Chunk? Yes, that is everything. Cog. So the the slime that's 15 feet or yeah or so in front of uh, 
Let's go. Waldo, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know, pull some levers, push some buttons, and that little Tesla coil comes out of his shoulder again, and mm -hmm. lightning zaps at it, and it needs to make a strength saving throw. Strength save? Ah, that's natural too for... What? Four? Okay, it is pulled oh, for ten feet. Ten feet towards us. <laughs> And takes 2d8 lightning damage. Oh, shit. Ooh. Nifty. Oh, seven. It's number three. So it takes 12 points of lightning damage from the lightning lore as it's dragged towards Very Waldo nice. and zapped. Nice. Uh, and with that... Mm, I can't see any of those three that are in the darkness, right? Correct. <sighs> Actually, you can see this one. This one's just outside the darkness. <laughs> I'm sorry. This guy is Wait. just outside the darkness. How far? So, okay, okay, okay. The... Waldo is taking up those four squares, like one that's touching the, the slime in front, right? Yeah. So is that other one within 15 feet? Technically, yes. So could I use a sorcery point to twin, twin spell my lightning lure? Sure. Uh, and, and it also makes a strength saving throw. Uh, 12. Okay, so it fails, and it's also dragged in. And should I roll damage for it as well? Yeah, I guess I yeah. should. Cause... Oh, double three. So it takes six points of lightning damage as it's pulled towards Waldo. Alrighty. Very good. Say your turn? Uh, yeah. Gremnir. Right. I can... Think. Okay, correct me. Does the spiritual weapon with twenty foot of movement have just enough to get to the like top left next to Waldo? I kind of take up those four spaces. They're quite no, but like the mm. outside yes, of those. Yes. There. Okay, the spiritual weapon's gonna go there and hit the one slime it can reach. Okay. The natural seventeen hits. Uh, for eight points of force damage. Okay, okay. And that's my bonus action. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck, man. You guys seem to have this handled. <laughs> Can I? Okay, I have thirty-five foot of movement. Correct. If I go around the outside of the darkness, because I don't know what's there, how far up can I get? 20, 25, 30, 35, here. Would I see either of those two slimes visible? They're, all, they're both in darkness, right? They're both in darkness. Okay, I can't see them. No. So, I will... You do see this fella. I do see that fella. <laughs> um... Um... I've just got to decide what I want to do here. That's the problem. Too many things at level 8. Mm -hmm. oh, damn, I'm so glad we're level 3 in the main campaign. Damn. Right? <laughs> I, I love knowing that death can well, take Well, because it gets easier moment. when you're high level because you've been you've taken time to learn all the things that get there and you have more of a sense of characters' yeah, patterns and whatnot. So even when you're high levels in long campaigns, you're still quicker at deciding because you just know it better. True. Fuck. Uh, I'm gonna... Do I go with a weak attack or do I just get into his melee for the next turn? Either way, I think it's a terrible idea. Okay. <laughs> uh, I am going to throw my I mean, fucking... I would say go for the weaker attack just because next turn you can still move and then... I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull out my blood spear okay and throw that okay at uh shigol at, at shigol yeah okay. i just want to check something first i have so many fucking things i can do um i have so many cool things does this specify that i, ha I have to Sorry, Dutch, I know that I'm being a pain. You're fine. 
Vincent's dramatic curtain blowing is getting me through this. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> Very mood appropriate. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> the shanted streets of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The French uh, ghosts are coming for you, dude. I'm not gonna throw the spear. Okay. I'm gonna while I'm moving, I'm gonna stall my greatsword and pull out my longbow. Okay. And then from where I am there, I'm gonna shoot twice. <laughs> Go for that. First one's a uh, fucking nineteen. Hits. Second one's a natural one. Doesn't hit. Really? Damn. It's crazy, right? Crazy That's, AC on the. Yeah, he's really crazy. big. He's really big, Dutch. Yeah, but you managed to still <laughs> miss him. It's crazy. Uh, eight points of piercing damage. But the first damage to Shigol has been dealt. So, you know, there's oh, that. Oh, God, you're right. First okay. and last. <laughs> Every little and now we'll die. And now I, I mean, I'm looking at this Is motherfucker and I end my turn, yeah. Right. Waldo. Waldo. Oh God. Let's God. go. Um, so, I knew there was one there. I'm, no, I'm blind. But I knew there was one there, and I've got no reason to believe there isn't one there anymore, right? Like, where? There's well, two right in front of you. Yeah. But I'm blind. He's blind. Oh, true. Yeah. The, last one, the last one he saw was there. The last one saw was there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. No, it was in the it was in the empty space, right? Yeah, but it doesn't yeah. fucking, like it's still within. I that, mean, I'd like, be in there like I got him right in front of you, Waldo. Yeah. So I'm you just know? gonna. I mean, sure. I was like. Okay. Yeah, attack, but yeah, you I know, had disadvantage on the attack anyway. Anyway, so like, who fucking cares? Yeah, yeah exactly. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we can see or not. It's okay. Halloween. It stacks this one day every oh. year. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, well. Oh, actually, we attempt. Trick or treat. Does an eleven hit? Tree. Eleven hits. Yeah. Hell Ooh. yeah. Now roll better than oh, one and one, please. Oh, okay. You got it. One and two. Here we go, baby. Nice. Oh, that's a lot better. Three. That's actually a lot better. Uh, uh, 13 points of damage. Um, 13 points of damage? Yeah. To the one that's like, on, I guess, the right hand one, I okay. guess. It's the one that's like the most in front of me. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna mm -hmm. slash it a little again. Disadvantage. It's 14 foot tall. The natural one the... for an 8 oh. total. No. Uh, I will then action surge. Oh. Okay. Fuck um, it. Why not? Why not? Get another attack action, so it's another. That's going to be an 11 to hit. It's. Get him, boy! Oh. He's bigger and stronger and blinder than ever. The, the best combo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 12 points of damage. Swinging wildly. 12 points of damage. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Everything is a threat. Cool. And then I'll, I'll, I'll... Yeah, fuck it. I'll just... I only know those ones <laughs> to keep on swinging at that same one. Yeah. That's oh, God. Up. Cool. It's another 11. I've rolled like three fours. That it does hit, yeah. Dude. I'm really angry because I just rolled a nat 20. <laughs> um, doing great. I mean, you would have rolled double ones anyway, so... That's true. Uh, I am then also going to... It's 11 points damage. Is it still up? Mm-mm. It's dead. Bang. Cool. Then I won't... Then I will not waste any sign of power. That's the four attacks. I will... Did you say that... Did... 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 Would you have told me that there was more than one? Yeah. I, I mean, I'll, I'll be like, should I move? I cannot see. Hmm. I'll... Uh, nah, stay put. Okay. And I will stay where I am. Okay. That will be my turn. Yep. Chigolg is going to... Moon Let's get up and fly. Oh, wow. good. And he soars all the way. He soars gracefully. Oh, good. Over here. Oh, good. Yes. Oh, what, what you running for, bitch? 
lands right behind most of you. <gasps> oh, fantastic. Oh, he's giving me the runaround. Well, <laughs> yeah, I'm I just realized he has a flying insane. speed. He can like hover, like, and just go. Oh, and don't. Send it. don't uh, and why do I visualize him like the there of worlds? Is going to multi attack. Once with a void tendril that he just, like, one of his tentacles just whoosh, Raffy, no. lashes I hate that. at uh, the big robot. The uh, robot? That's a natural 19 plus a million. Plus a million. A million. No, why only the full number? Uh, plus eight, so 27. Uh, the, that, that just hits. That <laughs> just hits? All right. Um, why is this pretty fucking hard? Take. It's my first bit of damage today. That isn't in my brain. <laughs> isn't brain. all damage to cog in your brain? No, because it's not on my actual head. You take um, 17 points of cold damage. 17 points of cold? Mm -hmm. Cool. And then. Ooh, I've done the heat nine. He shoots out another star blast. Um, not towards you, um, uh, Waldo. But it that kind of like on the back of this creature you see a bunch more eyes and mouths and one of the eyes opens up facing you, uh, Drusilla, and is just gonna shoot a beam of just pure starlight oh, at you. Oh why? Oh, That's rude. How long did you say I was blinded for, by the way? Was uh, it just at the end third? of your next turn, so you're good now. So I'm good now. Okay. That's just me. Uh ooh. Um twenty five to hit? Yeah. I'm a squishy ass wizard. I will psionic. Where the fuck? My AC is eleven. I will. Uh... That's a lot of dice. I'm not. Um, I don't like. How it. much do you take off, Quiver? Uh, I take, take off, off nine. Okay, so twenty-two minus nine is thirteen points of radiant damage. Okay. Uh, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. I don't win those. Oh. Uh, fourteen. Uh, you fail. You are blinded until you're at the end of your next turn. Great. Fuck me. That's your that. turn. So now, Rexic, you turn. You look back and you see this, this, this huge creature of tentacles and and eyes and mouths just landed behind you, lashed out at, at Waldo and shot literal starlight out of his ass crack towards. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! Wait, okay. What do you um... do? Oh, why not? Why not? Okay, I'm gonna. Like oh. Resident Evil <laughs> monsters, butthole houses an eye. I'm gonna cast uh, an amplified version of the Curse of Binding. Okay. Ooh. So it needs to make a DC 12 strength saving throw. DC 12 yeah. strength saving throw? Yes. I feel like this thing has a plus 12 so it's strength yeah, saving throw. Yeah, uh, uh, probably. Uh, well, 11. Yes! <gasps> Yo! Yes! Okay, Cock it champ. is, um, <laughs> it is now, ha now has its speed reduced to zero and can't use reactions until the end of my next turn. Uh, is he, um, like, is there a condition att attached to this? No. Like, 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 you know, charmed, exhaustion, frightened. Is it like a condition or is it just... No, it's just off? their speed is reduced to Next. zero and they can't use reactions. Fair enough. It lasts for a minute, but at the end of each of its turns, it can make another okay. strength. Good to know. It is... Exactly that, so you can't be like, oh, he's immune to paralyzed. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I was just making sure. But, uh, okay. Aha, cool. Yep. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, then I'm gonna hit it. <laughs> Go for it. With my, with my sword. But you're right here. I love that you basically saw this giant monster killing your friends and went, now you can't run away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're all gonna die. Okay, attack. Nope. Oh, one of those was a natural 20, and the other one is 21 to hit. Hits. Okay, I'll roll the natural 20 first. Not 20. Go for it. Fuck yeah, okay. 16, uh, 21, no. 24, no. Fucking. No, I was right the first time, 21. 21, 21 slashing. Okay. For the first hit. And then. Twelve for the second one. Twelve for the second one? Yeah. But it can't fucking move, so... Okay. Alrighty. Uh, he's Thank going you. to take a legendary action and um, oh. just lash at you with one of his tendrils, uh, Rixic. That's fine. Do it, 
pussy. <laughs> uh, 28, or 20, 28, 23 to hit, sorry. Yeah, that's, that hits. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it doesn't matter because it, it's not a concentration thing. So. <laughs> uh, 14 points of cold damage. Nice. I'm fine. Okay. Is that your turn? That's my turn. All right, now uh, this uh, Gabarin Muthar is going to... Yeah, let's try and bite Waldo, to be honest. To be honest. Do it, pussy! Oh, dude, 10 to hit, Pog. Oh, the misses. All right, that's it. Drusilla. Yeah, we'll do my minions first. So, right. Rafi, the thing's right there. My just turn minion. around and try and just... Rrrr. And zombie on him. Uh, that... So he rolls... That's not very good, dude. Nope. He rolled a six to hit. Doesn't dude. Hit. You don't got shit. Okay. Um, Ghosty Boy. Mm -hmm. I want to move him because he can move through those columns and still have him to that square to the right of Shagol in between the two pillars. This would be 20. Yeah. 25. Yeah, right there. Right there. Yep. Uh, and he is going to try his ghostly touch. Go for it. Uh, not so good. Um, it's. What is it to hit? I just wrote damage. I have to pull up the stat block again. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Deathly Touch. Oh, it's my own modifier. Yours will, okay, so 18 to hit. 18 to hit? That hits? Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, oh, max damage. He takes 14 necrotic damage. Ooh, necrotic. And I'm guessing he doesn't have to make a wisdom save? Uh, Well, it depends. What's the effect? It just says... Your spell modifier to hit creature, it's this damage, and the creature must succeed on a wisdom saving throw against my spell save DC or be frightened of the be spirit frightened. until the so end. So frightened yeah. is the effect. Uh, he's immune. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. No wisdom save for him. No. Now my actual turn. I'm blind. I'm panicking. All I know is it was right in front of me, so I'm just gonna like blindly reach forward and reach out to touch it to try and cast blight. Reach out and touch faith. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it has to make a constitution save. Um, uh, 24. Yeah, well, mm. he takes half damage. <laughs> Let's hope I just roll really good, uh, really good on all these d8s. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. 3, 6, 10, 15, 22, 28. 31. 35 reduced to half. So 17. Of necrotic damage. Alrighty. Uh, as a... Unless he is an undead or a construct, then the spell has no effect. He is not. Um, okay, cool. That would have been sad. As a legendary action, he is going to... Uh, just lash at you with a fucking tendril. I figure. So I were saving vampiric touch for next turn. Uh, 16 to hit. Yeah. You take, uh, ah, 11 points of cold damage. Could have been a whole lot worse. 57. Sorry? You take 57. <laughs> All right, and... Is that your turn? I'm not gonna... Yeah, because I'm not gonna move because I'm blind. I can't see. I'm just gonna try and keep it close so I can keep pumping magic into it. All right. Uh, these two... Mouthers. Gonna go here to get out of the darkness because they have no idea what the fuck is going on. They're gonna be so mad. And is then going to dash because <laughs> they now see uh, this boy over here, which is uh, Gramir. And it's their turns. Chunk. I'm gonna stop cast a takeaway by this darkness. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, I have to make a concentration check for my spirit. Oh, you do. Yes. Undead. Uh, the DC is half ten, damage. Half damage or ten, ten, so ten. Okay, ten. I'm fine. Natural seventeen. There okay, keep, continue. Right. Uh, and I will. Uh, what will I do? Um, uh -huh. I'm gonna. Cause I saw I saw those goos moving up towards. Uh, Grimnir, so I'm gonna run all the way up to next to him. How much movement speed uh, do you have? 45. 
Speed. He's a speedy boy. Want to go here, or where do you want to go? Yeah, the the northern. Uh, this yeah. One? Yeah, perfect. Okay. And I'm going to uh, just. Uh, what am I going to do? Attack this guy a bunch. Go for it. And, uh, Number swing five. at him with three claws. Mm hmm. 13. Hits. Hit. Nice. Yeah, there you see his lost fuck. Nine damage. Nine points of damage. 17 to hit. And it's... another seven damage. Dude, the seven, that's just it's classic. In that's a classic at this point. <laughs> and I'm Are gonna. Roll, rolling ones on a d6 constantly. Yep. <laughs> and I'm gonna bonus action attack him as well for, with my claws. Go for it. 24. Yeah. And 10 damage. Oh, okay. Not All right. One. <laughs> is that your turn? Um. Yep, that is. Okay. Cog. All right. With the uh, like what? With the darkness cleared. Mm -hmm. Can I get an idea of? <sighs> mm, ha do I think that there's going to be more gibbering mouthers coming from those commoners? You've seen Shigol turn two pairs of commoners into these gibbering mouthers, so they're. Do you have reason to believe? Have that's... we seen them turn though? Uh, he was a darkness, right? We yes. saw two of the yes, first, when we first, first initial two. Uh, yes. Uh, okay. Bertrand and one of the cast members, you saw them get turned into these slimes. Okay. Um, what would a 20-foot radius at the center of those commoners look like? Oh, God. <laughs> these poor commoners. Down here in this basement, uh, there's no radius? rules against genocide. Yeah. It's four tiles. Oh right? my fucking god. <laughs> so it's only yeah. half a circle. Diameter is the full circle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> so, like, could I get a 20 foot radius that doesn't hit any allies, but will hit, like, the furthest? It's, it's four tiles. It's four tiles. If you, if you moved the circle, like, left two and up one from there. Yeah, like, more diagonal yeah. up left corner. I mean, the spiritual weapon. That'll hit your friends up there, though. I, if I put it a little more to the left, then I could maybe get like that slime uh, near uh, Gremnir, right? And and all the commoners without. Like, I might hit a spiritual weapon. I don't know. Spiritual weapon doesn't have health, so. Yeah, that just hits this. Time. All right. I'm going to cast so Vitriolic all, all but, Sphere. All but one commoner. And one slime. I I want to. I, I care more about the commoners than the slimes. So okay. fuck the slime. Get that one commoner. Sure. He's about um, to commit genocide. Okay. I need them all to make a. Okay. <laughs> I take a. I take a big, big like, a weird jar, and I attach a fucking tube to the top of it, and I start pumping a little mechanism, and uh, one of one of all those uh, fists retreat. Like, you know, his shield's on his arm, his fist retracts for a second, and like a, mm -hmm. a big, like, uh, oh. circular, like a bubble blowing thing comes out, and a huge sphere of acid oh my God. starts to get blown through this huge circle, and it is launched at the commoners. Oh my God. <laughs> and they all need to make a dexterity save. Guys, no transforming for them. This is a genocide route. 15. <laughs> 15. It's genocide for us. Yeah. Drusali is just seeing her lunch melt. Yeah, uh, none of them make the same. I can't see. I don't. They take. Oh, well, you can't. can't even see that. This is gonna take a while because they take 10 d4 <laughs> damage. <laughs> Holy fuck. There's uh, a 10 no. d4. Just roll 4 d10. So the now. minimum is 10. Yeah. Yeah. They will die. Have... <laughs> you have 10 health. You killed them all. Don't even roll. No, do roll. Dead, 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 yeah, dead. Well, do let's, roll let's just, for the slimes. While he kills them all, let's roll. Yeah, for the slimes, yeah. <laughs> they have 10 health. Yeah, but the slimes and stuff. Holy slimes shit. Have so all these commoners, dead. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> you wouldn't vote. No, Wait, there's one commoner that survived. You. He was behind the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey man, there's no I'll Geneva Convention where we're going. I'm like shit, so I'm glad it doesn't matter. I'll be honest. No Geneva I Convention here, baby. I can't wait to find out that like in Campaign Two, this group is used as like a horror story of why you don't <laughs> kill civilians. Um, avoid killing civilians. Okay. Like Two hundred years before. They saved the playhouse we and the guards killed them. So that's uh, <laughs> <clears throat> okay. They're all dead. All right. Yeah. I guess I will use. I'll, I'll just. I don't know, fucking poison spray, <laughs> sh fucking Chagol or whatever his name is. Sure. Oh, my With uh, I have to, I it's I have to use a sorcery oh. point to make this quicken. Oh god! Mm -hmm. I, um, I hate can, how much it shakes. I can like hear that. James talking to all the trick or treaters downstairs. Oh, I want to see what the kids are dressed oh, like. I'm so sorry. Okay. That's right. Con He's saving okay. throw for for Chagol unless I'm he's safe. immune to poison damage. Yeah. Fuck the children. Oh, unless he's poison Rude. Damage. Yeah. I would I would this not is the one say. D is more important. He is. He's immune? Yeah. I would not say like that. All right. <laughs> well, no, don't fuck the children, but fuck the children. Okay. Is that your turn, Cog? Yeah, that, yeah, that, they murder. all just yeah. melted in acid. Yeah. <laughs> the no, screaming, writhing bodies are still no, there. Just, uh, as, the as their bones just dissolve. <laughs> At least he made it quick in that it only took six <laughs> seconds and not like 12. Or At something. least he made it as quick. They spent six seconds screaming in pain. <laughs> it could have been more. One by one, their pain receptors <laughs> melted into one another. It could have been more. You make human soup on the floor. <clears throat> it could have been All right, more. So, anyway, uh, Remnir. Are either of the slimes in front of me looking bloodied? Uh, the one that Chonk is adjacent to. I will. I will step diagonally to flank the chunk. No. And if the mm -hmm. commoner takes an attack of opportunity, he can eat my ass. No, he's not. He's not in combat. He's still like. Ah. Cool. He just uh, saw great weapon, it. master. <laughs> yes. I'm going to put the longbow away. I'm going to draw my spear instead of the great sword. Okay. Uh. That's a shit roll. That's better, not great, but. Better. Uh. Uh, fucking. A 11? That hits, yeah. Okay. So I do. Uh. 18 points of piercing damage. Okay. Is it still up? Aye. I'm gonna do it again. You free? Uh, fuck it, me, okay. Uh, 10? Hits. Thank fuck for that. Uh, the, sorry, I, I should have specified that's Great Weapon Master. Otherwise, it would have been a, a 15. Yeah, yeah, fine. Does need uh, that Uh, 17 points of piercing damage. Yeah, that'll do it. Okay. Because I'm Damn. using the Blood Spear, mm -hmm. and I reduce something to zero hit points... I gain oh, 2d6 yeah. temporary hit points. Oh, nice. You told me about that item, it's dope. That's sick. So I gain 7 temporary hit points. There you go. And then, I'm because I killed something, I can bonus action uh, attack the next one with Great Weapon Master. Also true. Uh, that's fucking much better. Okay, hello. Uh, that's a, a 19. Hits. I didn't specify Great Weapon Master, so I'm not going to... Great weapon master it. Mm -hmm. right. uh, da, 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 da. It's fucking 11 points of piercing. Alrighty. Very good. Is that your turn? Yes. Okay. Uh, our boy Shigol is going to use his last legendary action oh. before his turn. One fucking commoner. To <laughs> shoot a. No. Uh, he's going to avoid 10 drill. The guy inside the helmet that just destroyed all of his boys. <laughs> so, Fuck, I'm so dead. This tendril <laughs> lashes out of his, uh, out yeah. of his like writhing body. I have um, not, not you. 20 to hit. 30, 20. Ah, doesn't hit that. <laughs> you sure about doesn't that? hit me. You and me are the squishiest ones here. Lions are, oh, well, are, are immune to dirty 20s. It doesn't, it doesn't hit me. Uh, 12 cold damage. Um, oh, chilly. Mm. Chilly. Oh, oh no, it's chilly. Huh? 
It's your turn, Waldo. Oh, it's me. Mm -hmm. I'm that Waldo. guy. Waldo. I'm that guy. So Take if I turn around hand. right, mm -hmm. I'm going to hit this man's. Am I flanking? Do I? Technically, do I... yes. Do I now just get to roll a normal dice? Yes. One. No oh, advantage yeah. for you, but also no disadvantage for you. Yay. <laughs> Can I fist to be like a three? <laughs> I, I was, just I realized. Was, I was close enough. It's a five, so that's 12. Does not hit, unfortunately. Mm, well, I'm going to attack again. Go for it. Is that different glasses now? No, it's the same glasses. <clears throat> okay. I only just realized I mean, that Cog's no, full Vincent. name is Cog Champ. I mean, these ones are different glasses. <laughs> Cog no, Champ. Cog Champ is a nickname. That's why it's Cog, Cog Champ Getwick. Oh these my god. I love uh, it. 18. 18 to hit. Hits. <laughs> Champion of BattleBots. That's why he's called Cog Champ. Yeah, we're Champion of BattleBots. I will um, use my psionic energy. Uh, that's, 11, yeah, that's 11 points of damage. Okay. And then also another. Uh, what bad is it? Eight? Plus three. Yeah, another eight points of force damage, and then make a strength saving throw. Eight points of force damage. Strength save... Uh, la, 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 nine. Uh, it's not prone. No, it's not. Damn. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is not. There was a small chance it could have been, like, <clears throat> one of the few things it I, uh, can you know, I respect the attempt, but uh, yeah. no. <laughs> no it, it's a free thing for me to do to be... To, Yes, it is, it is. That's fine by me. All right, is that your turn? Um. Uh, oh my god, say yes or say no. <laughs> fucking, I've got He's... a bunch of shit to look through. All right, I'm seeing <laughs> what's on. Shit on and it's reducing his brain power. Yeah, no. He's overheating. I'm, I'm also looking through a bunch of shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've not played this character before. The latest trick or treater okay. was dressed as Luigi. Not Mario, but Luigi. Luigi! The better of the brothers. 10 out of 10. Yeah. The better of the brothers. Absolutely the better brother. Dude. Fuck Mario. I, I would. <laughs> I, mean, I, I wonder how that mustache before. feels. I hate you all. I was going on a mustache ride. So, Koiba. That's my turn. Okay, thank you. <laughs> now, Shgolg, the writhing clot. Is going to multi attack, void tendril, and star blast. Is star blast an attack or a spell? A ranged star spell attack. Ass. So, oh. could I count, try counter spell it? Yes, technically you could. Okay, I will attempt to counter spell star blast at third level. Like Third level, that would make it a roll-off. Okay. DC um, equals 10 plus the spell's level. All right. What, le what level is the spell? Uh, it's a DC 14. Okay, so just if it is an ability check using my spell. Okay, so with a plus four. Yeah. Oh, 17. Nice. All right, so the Star Blast does not happen. As a little, as a, a, a little, a little laser comes out of the side of the the <laughs> ball, and like an anti magic zap stops the star blast mid flight. Okay, I love it. Uh, the void tendril is, however, going to uh, just twat Baldo. I try to twenty two. You cunt. Yeah, just hit. <laughs> to enjoy Castro's <laughs> porn star, brother. Uh, well. 14 points. Oh, no. 16 points of cold damage, Waldo. You okay? And, uh, I mean, his star blast got fucked, so. Rexic! That goes to hit. Bell. Bell. Oh, that's me! That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rexic um, is you. Did it make a saving throw? No. It needs to make another saving crown. Oh, fuck me, daddy. Uh, what was the saving <laughs> It was 12. 12? Like, what's, yeah. what's um, stat? Strength. Strength. Uh, 14. There you go. So it's fine now. Um, But I'm going to hit it. And go I'm going to use Crimson Right. Okay. So I take three points of damage. Nice. Okay. 
Oh, neat. Okay, so 23 and 27 to hit. Both hit. It's going to be lightning damage, by the way. Okay. So that is uh, 13 slashing plus 6 lightning. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Plus uh, 14 slashing. Okay. Plus 3 lightning. All right. That's it. Oh, you made the, it mad. Uh, about that lightning damage? I made it, I made it mad. Mm -hmm. Well, it can fuck itself. He's Little going to bitch. use a legendary action. Do it! Kill me. Uh, and <laughs> star blast you. <laughs> Do it. Uh, Do it. Ooh, I'm crazy. I don't give a fuck. To hit. Yeah, that hits me. Uh, hold on. Star blast is. Existence. There we go. Well, I it was dare fun you. knowing you. Thank if you. If you die, what happens to your imaginary Jesus? He finally ascends. <laughs> Having had the blood sacrifice and needed. I've ever just turned Love like it. ten people into acid goo. <laughs> it's just yeah. like you really like points of radiant damage, Bill. Twenty nine. Yeah. I'm not dead. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Okay. The worst bit is they would have taken 5d4 on the next turn as well. So <laughs> even if they had survived, they would have continued uh, to this, smell uh, it. Yes. <laughs> Gibbering Mouther is just going to try and nibble at fucking Waldo. Look at his ankles. Nom, nom. Oh, 16 doesn't hit. That's going to miss. Drusilla! Uh, zombie first. He's mm -hmm. going to again try and hit um, the... the you should, Chigolg? Ch 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 I can't remember Ch his name. Chigolg, there we go. Um, 15? No, 16 to hit. 16? Yeah. Just hits. Hey, Lord. he finally hit something. Um, Rafi! You go, Rafi. He does six Rafi. bludgeoning damage. Rafi. Six points bludgeoning damage, all right. And now the ghost is going to do his deathly touch again. Mm -hmm. No, no, that's a 12. Nope. Uh, okay, my turn. Again, still blind, and I'm like, well, it worked before, because I could touch the thing, but now I'm really hurt, so I'm gonna fourth level vampiric touch. My last fourth level spell. Okay. Um, uh, the, uh, touch your grid, blah, 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 blah. make a spell attack. I have to roll. Okay. Wait, there's a bad because you're blind, sadly. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. I know, it's, yeah. it's a Hail Mary, but... Uh, are you still blind? Go, maybe. Uh, oh, actually, what, is until it Until the end of this turn, turn right? The end of. I was blind last turn. Yeah, so no, you're oh, good. Oh, right, right, right. You're good now. Okay, okay. Oh, thank fuck. I really did not want the disadvantage. Yeah, imagine getting disadvantage on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if you just pull oh, everything that's oh, in your water. Oh! Oh! What? Natural 20! Oh! Yes! Hey! This is the best uh, one to get a nat 20 on the double some fourth level okay, vampire touch okay, dice, maybe. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes! Roll some damage. I'm waiting for a legendary resistance or an immunity. Hold up. I need one more d6. Oh god, Dick is good based on damage you Legendary do. Legendary resistance only okay. for saving throws, not for attack rolls. Yo, any, any... Oh, yeah, but this is, thank this god is it's you, a crit, though. dude. Thank, cause I you rolled can hungry whatever you want. On 4d6, there's mm -hmm. a 1, a 2, and a 2. But one of them's oh. a 5, so that's... 5, 7, and 10 wow. doubled to 20 necrotic damage. <laughs> and 20? I heal for... Oops, I rolled dice, I didn't mean to. Uh, I heal for half of that. And uh, Let me see. The How target do you takes want a... to finish off Shigol oh, the yes! Yes! As I reach out and I'm just like and my my voice, which normally has been pretty bubbly and high pitched, so I'm just gets kind of like creepy ring girl for a second and it's just like heal me. Uh, and I just drain like its essence and it gets all like black and like kind of desiccates a little bit and uh, you just see me looking Oh, it's still pale and ashy, but less pale and ashy, and some of my wounds <laughs> close up a bit. Okay. I love it. Well, I'd say that, that was horrifying, but I just no a bunch of comments. The tentacles start squirming up in the air. Oh! Point and... of order. It's fine because the ghost didn't hit him, but the ghost is gone now because there's a concentration spell and vampiric okay. touch is also concentration. Uh, so the ghost is gone. Chigolg's huh. body just twists and turns and then... And, and, and just sinks into the floor until nothing is left but just a puddle of, of goop with some, like, small tentacles still. 
and then I just like straighten my hair and I'm like, that was close. <laughs> so, it was close. with that said, you've defeated Chigolg of the Writhing Clots. As you leave the, uh, the area, slowly, as the influence fades, everyone who was driven mad by seeing the horror within recovers and returns Yay! to their previous mental state. All player characters, all of you, recover from all your madnesses, except for the indefinite ones. No. <laughs> um, Great. Which is mine. And Bell. And Bell. Mine. Of exaggerating Part, uh, everything forever. Um, I always think that someone... Professor just... Lang regains his senses and his wife is elated and makes good uh, on uh, pays you handsomely and is forever in your debt as she um, should the city watch because you helped Hildreth um, will not charge you for trespassing in fact oh, if there's any previous crimes on your uh, on your on your list Hmm, one not of those, this city. One of those will be expunged. Oh, well, um, Robot, peasants. who was a member of the audience in The Horror Within, turns himself into the City Watch, uh, and eventually gets exonerated when the circumstances Yay! of the play come to light. But he carries a guilt, the guilt of his actions of killing, strangling that guard Yikes. to death. Forever. <gasps> That's that such there. a brutal way to... Oh, that is. Um, and with that, the Monvo Theater never reopens the building gets torn oh. down yes that's sad. what about that one commoner that survived the genocide uh the, the, he regains his <laughs> he, he, rega he regains his senses and like you escort him out with you and he so just, what you're saying sorry is about your friends <laughs> if sorry, we had if, I, if we if i hadn't murdered all of those commoners they would have been fine they would have been. Yeah, they would have been. Actually we all cheap. unanimously <laughs> turned to this guy. No witnesses. They would have been no witnesses. <laughs> you I, can I, never leave or know what happened leave. here. That darkness what? at the start was just me trying to protect them. Actually, we we, <laughs> we push him. We push him into the pool of acid where all his other friends were. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh so that was the horror within. Hope you guys enjoyed. It was great. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Hope uh, everyone in chat enjoyed. Next week. On Dungeon Good Select, uh, we'll be back with our regular campaign, and back to our regular Vincent schedule program. will be there too. <gasps> Yay! Because Vincent was supposed to be a guest on uh, Dungeon Select next week, but hopefully Soko, more clothes. But Sokoli, Sokoli, <laughs> hopefully Soko, he uh, unfortunately couldn't make it this week either. So I was like, Hey, Vincent, I know you're guessing next week. Would you want to just play this week as well? And he was like, Yeah, Soko fuck it. Yeah. Next week as well. Um, oh, yeah, maybe... Soko is not here next week. No. Okay, so oh, I don't need to make another roll for yet. No, you're good. Um, <laughs> we so have a... Vincent will be here uh, next week as well on a different character, of course, uh, and will be the first guest for, 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 for campaign two. Yay! Yay! Exciting. Are you Pretty playing exciting. Chomp's grandson? <laughs> 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 I Wait, only play, play like 130 oh, years. Play, no, play Chomp's grandson and also be a bald tabaxi, and then I'll have my life off meeting, and I will just like have a beautiful romance uh, arc. We actually, yeah, we're gonna f finalize things, but I have some ideas based on just based on what Vincent told me he's gonna be playing. I have ideas on how to like. I, I know exactly what oh, I'm gonna do. With say it, but there's no such thing. There's no such thing as a beautiful romance between two. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you so much <laughs> for uh, vibing with us. Um, tomorrow is we, Monday. We agreed, Dutch, tomorrow while you weren't the, here. the start of a charity select. Yeah. So I don't yeah. think there will be a divinity because we're doing the like collaborative yeah. golf with your friends yeah. stream. Unless we... It's for oh, Nesquaz, yeah. guys. It's so, for Nesquaz. Nesquaz for me. Yay. We're going to be doing that on all of our personal channels. But there will be a bunch of charity streams on this channel throughout the month of November. Uh, I'm going to be doing one shots. The first one will be, I think, on November 10th. Um, Ooh. We're going to be doing a one shot uh, with some people in the community and also some Dungeons that cast members. So, um, you know, if you're, if you're watching and you want to play and, you know, we know you and all that, huh? you might be just hitting me no, up. But... Huh? Looking for players, huh? Um, I, know, I know Shatter has already signed on board for that one, Hell so yeah. it's going to be fun. Um, not sure what I'm going to be running yet, but uh, hey, fuck it, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, no Divinity tomorrow, but there will be charity streaming happening tomorrow. There'll be a lot of us um, live doing good things which for charity. Which is gonna charity. be a good fucking time. So this will be back, this channel will be back live on Thursday for Discourse and shall we say the duo that was supposed to be on Discourse last week is gonna be yeah. on this week. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. It might have to be pushed back a little bit because I'm working in the evening. That's fine. Um, I don't know what time Unless you want to go back to the original plan, which was plus me, but I couldn't do it last week because of. Oh, being true. Yeah, I guess that works better for you, for you, Koiba, because you don't know with work. I can just, yeah, we can just put, put Bell in there. Yeah, no, I mean. But I think I'll be working a lot of Thursdays anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Yo, three person discourse, damn it. <laughs> Uh, no, because we don't have the scene for it. <laughs> we don't have an overlay. Don't have an overlay. Yet for. Have yeah. mercy on Ethan, man. Oh I, I, I need more than four days notice. Uh, exactly. So, uh, we'll, figure, real we'll, life we'll figure Discourse yeah. out. I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Guys, chats, uh, Twitter, and all yeah. that stuff. I'm going to go give candy to kids now. Yeah, sounds good. Bye bye, Laura. Take care. Bye. 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 Catch you guys uh, on Thursday. Have Next year, you're going in a French uh, outfit, much. That's the plan, by the way. Yes. Oh, that's right. We didn't discuss this. We are.